Yo, 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 hundo. Mic check, mic checkity check. One, two, and three. Hundo, hundo, hundo. Happy Saturday, everybody. Welcome on in. Oh, yep, Comcast, right out of the gate. I knew it. Right when I went live, I told myself, I know it. It's gonna immediately, it's gonna immediately occur. Good thing we're just chilling. Maybe I will decide to get it out of the way while we're just chilling here. Ah. Uh... Well, a very happy Saturday, everybody. Say hi to Comcast. It's doing its thing. Lately, it's been uh, it's been kind of doing its thing in the early part of the stream, and then it'll get better. It'll get better. Uh, good to see you, Super Kingsley Sub. How you doing, Solitary Scott? Silly Dabbit Thrumbo. Hey, Jaybird. We got our March Madness. See, it's already... Yep, there. Fixed itself, and then it immediately went in the tank again. Oh, gonna be a fun day. We got one thing that needs to happen before we start our hundo today. Well, two. Now we have two. Now we need to wait until Comcast allows me to uh, run a hundo. Shout out to Comcast. And two, I need to finish my banana. And as soon as those two things uh, align, I, I will start the hundo. How long that will be, I guess, is anybody's guess now. Yes, boy, it is just a roller coaster of kilobytes. But how is everybody as we chill here and uh, await the starting gun that Comcast, you know, will apparently give us at some point today? May maybe. And maybe if we're lucky, we might be allowed to stream. We can sit here, we can, yeah, soak in the uh, lovely bracket that Mr. AIM Pine has here. Thought we'd kick off every day by reviewing our uh, tournament challenge. We have a P-Town Rocks March Madness Tourney Challenge. As I munch on my banana here. And Mr. AIM Pine is laying us to waste. Look at this guy's bracket, he thinks he's so cool. Did have a couple, a uh, couple missed picks that came in there though. But holy moly, he's got a perfect southern bracket. Look at that. Look at that bracket at the bottom. Green from top to bottom of it. That is sexy right there. Now he's got a problem here with Kentucky. Hey, Kieran, how you doing? Very happy Saturday. Welcome into the hundo. Got a little bit of a problem with Kentucky. Oh wow, he went with South Dakota State over Iowa State. Ooh, that was a risky pick. But you gotta, you gotta go for a little bit of risk, right? Crimson Avix, Super Cano, P-Town Rocks, Jared, all tied for number two. Nerd Dad, all alone in number six. Synthwave, Voodie, Super Goat, Magical Leo, Army, Tirith, Retro Dad, Master, Why Not Take a Shot, all tied for number seven. Look at that. The maximum points, though, is held by Super Cano. You might notice, a, because Kentucky is going so far in Pine's bracket, their maximum is 1560. 
For example, I have 1760. I actually have the second best chance of winning at the moment. The, uh, the more important thing to go by is your maximum points by the time you get to the end. And uh, this person here, why not take a shot? 1780. Subliminal, 1770. These are people, tr very last place, trolling for days. Actually, these are the people that I would say have the most likely chance to win. You're not looking so good. Which one are you? Where is Yuffie's team? Hey, that's you. Oh, Yuffie's bracket. Oh, yeah, your maximum is 1600. You're trolling for days? Yeah. Yeah, but but that's the thing. You Your maximum points are actually pretty good. I mean, you're not looking too bad at all. But uh, shout out to AIM Pi, 99.9 .9 pick percentage. That is pretty impressive. Well, how is Comcast doing? That's green right now, now that I return to it. Now, now it knows I'm back looking at it. It's going to go in the tank again. We know that, right? I got half of my banana to go. We got, we got two things that need to happen to start the hundo. Comcast needs to stop being naughty. And my banana must be consumed to start the hundo. A little coffee ASMR for you. You guys want to see P-Town Rocks' bracket? Oh, well, my, my Auburn number four pick didn't work out very well. Yale upset Auburn, huh? James Madison. We had a lot of upsets yesterday, didn't we? Upset Central. Boy, I didn't. I missed a lot of this news. Must have ended the day yesterday with a ton of upsets. There's the Oakland over Kentucky. Yeah, Grand Canyon over St. Mary's. Holy cow. Yeah, these were all at the end of the day yesterday, I think. And so I missed them. Tons of uh, mayhem, apparently. A lot of 12 over 5s. Both uh, James Madison. Well, and he got 13, Yale. And Grand Canyon. Wisconsin and St. Mary's really fucked your bracket up. Yeah, well, hey, that is the season. That's how it goes. But a fun, uh, fun uh, March Madness we've had. And to celebrate it, we're going to do a March Madness special today. So we're going to name all of our characters. Why did that look laggy? Is Comcast doing his thing? No, it looks fine. We're going to name all of our characters after March Madness teams and see if we can predict the, uh, the champion. Who do you guys want named what? We need to decide before we start here. So that we're, we're ready to rock and roll, because we got to name Cloud and we got to name Barrett right from the start. Now, I had a couple thoughts. Number one, we could name them after... We kind of want to name them things I can recognize, you know? <laughs> because I don't want it to jeopardize the hundo too much. You know, if we just name things that are... You know, maybe if their name starts with the same letter as the team name starts with, like Cloud Connecticut, Barrett, uh, Baylor, I don't know. Is Baylor even in the tourney? I don't know. You know, Red, um, what could Red be? Or Richmond, I don't know. You know, Richmond's a college that sometimes is in. Yukon? <laughs> All right, I love Yukon for Yuffie. That's great. We're going to do that. Okay, we got Yukon figured out. All right, lay it on me. Lay it on me. What are our other uh, names here? Shall we look at the teams? We better look at the teams, right? So here, for example, are... 
some team names that we can we can consider. Cloud Creighton or Colorado. Cloud should be Duck or the Oregon Ducks. Well, he is kind of a. I'm not getting any strokes of inspiration here. Baylor? Baylor is in it. We could go Baylor for Barrett. I think that's a pretty obvious one. Clouderado. Do we have enough? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's ten, though. So we got Baylor. Clemson? Cloudson? I don't know. None of these are really... None of these are working as well as I hoped they would. Tifa. We have Texas. Oh, well, Tifa needs to be Texas. Tifa a and M. You know what we could do? You know what we could do? We should honor AIM Pine being in the pole position. He should be Cloud. I think that's a great idea. We're gonna name Cloud... We're gonna name... We're actually gonna name it AIM Picks. Because that is his name in the tournament. What is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If I put a dash in it, it'll still work. Or I could go AIM Cloud. I could do that. That's another option. Aerith equals Akron. Is Akron in the tournament, though? Arizona is my champion. Alabama is in there. Arizona, yeah. I like Arizona with that spelling. That's kind of Aerith, right? I kind of like that. Let's do that. Arizona. All right. Well, we got we got a good start. We have AIM picks here to honor our our, our leader currently in the tourney. We have Baylor. We need a Tifa, and then we can start. So what should our Tifa be? <clears throat> what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Our options are Texas. Tennessee. Well, those are the only T's, actually. And they're playing each other, too. Hey, Thirith, how you doing? TCU. Tifa C? <laughs> that's not bad. I mean, that's at least somewhat clever. Tifa C? I mean, you're doing better than anyone else here, CJ. You should be the president of the naming club. I, sh I, should, uh, I should upgrade your title. There was Texas Tech. Like, Tifa Tech. Could have gone with that. Oh, there is Texas A&M, too. Yeah, Tifa A&M. Yeah, you're, you're doing well. Barry Lore? <laughs> Alright, that's better than my... I was just gonna go Bear... I was gonna go Bear... Bear... You know, Baylor, straight up. Okay. These, this is going to be very, yeah, very confusing to people watching this VOD like 10 years from now, exactly. It's going to be great. AIM picks. Berry lore. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Tixus? I don't know, that sounds funny. I'm not sure. I think Tifa C is the best one we got so far. Tifa C. 
Well, we, we still have a red and a Sid to think about, but we can think about that as we go. Well, well, I'm afraid I'm gonna get to red. Better, we better get red done before we start. We better get red done. That one... I don't, I don't know if we have an R. You know, Richmond was the only one that came to mind for me, and I don't think they're in the tournament. Rhode Island? No, there's no Rhode Island this year. They've made it in past years. We could go an N for Nanaki. There's Nevada. There's North Carolina. Uh, we just, there's just no good options for red. It's a real problem here. Red Furry? Hey, Blue, how you doing? Red Canyon? Oh, Grand Canyon? Red Canyon? That is the best one yet. Red Canyon. We can, Maybe we can do something with red. Yeah. Red A&M? What about that? Red A&M? They're kind of a red school in a way. I mean, they are. I think they're colors. I think that's those are the two best ones so far. Red State. You can always go Red State. Cop out a little bit. Alright, I think we'll lock that in. We could do Red Carolina. That's not on the throw the letters for it. Red Tide? Alabama Crimson Tide. Yeah, that's not a bad one. We'll go red something. If we did red tech, we would have what is canyon? One one two three four five six seven eight nine. We would honor one of the upset teams, which is kind of a nice idea. Alright, well I think that gets us off to a nice enough start. Rexus, there you go, Rexus. Another nice idea. Well we can debate the uh the name for red as we go. And uh, congratulations again to Mr. AIM Picks number one, and best of luck, everybody. There are a lot of games going on today. And may your brackets remain unbusted. And so, on that note, I think we are ready to rock and roll today. Got the FPS displayed. We're going to be doing the Tifa date, should be a ton of fun. If you guys have never seen a hundo with the Tifa date, you can learn all about how to set it up today. i to refresh my stream. It's very laggy. Comcast, I think, is, uh, is settling down. Red Diego State. Now, is there room for that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Not quite. What if you did 1D? Red Diego State. Sid Madison is James Madison in the tournament though. Yeah, and they have didn't they upset someone? Yeah. Honor another upset. Not bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, it's ten though. Hmm. I can leave off a no. Maybe it's Sid Madden. Sid Madison. They fucked Wisconsin. Oh, and you're very mad about that. Yeah. I know, you're very mad. Alright. Well, one more bite of the banana, and then we are ready to rock and roll today. I got plenty of coffee prepared. I have a caramel macchiato from Starbucks I got. I have lots of water, electrolyte, Powerade, banana... I will probably make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and a bagel and cream cheese at some point. And we're going to enjoy a Saturday of March Madness Hundo Fundo, and we can talk about the upsets as we go today. We can have some fun. Date Tifa, which I know Zayden will be a big fan of. And I need to grab one more thing, and then I think we are ready to go.
All right, all right, all right. Three. How are my splits? They are good to go. Did we are are we all on board with uh, Tifa today, or do we want something different? How you doing, Thornado? Good to see you, Zai. Everyone trickling on in, Gawa. Good to see you. Hope your weekend is starting off great. Let's have a good March Madness special. You want Jesse, huh? I know, Jesse's your girl. I remember that. Three, two, Jesse, Aaron. No one's all about Tifa, huh? Well, we can always go with our big braided Aerith. I do have plenty of Jessies if we uh, want to go that route. I have a very fierce looking Jesse. Intentional Jesse, skip, skip, just saying. Just to honor Jesse. Here is one of my Jessies right here. If I was going to go with that with her, that would be the one I'd go with. If I was going to go with an Aerith today... Hey, Lo, how you doing? Where are her pants? Who needs pants? You can't tell me you, you stream in pants, Zayden. You don't stream with a cam. I know you're naked there. You're in your birthday suit. So another Jesse. Where are her pants, though? Maybe they maybe she took them off for aerodynamics on the expressway. Just a thought. Just a thought. Oh, it, it is the go. I stream in my stream in the nude every single day. It's a great life. You could always go with a Sephiroth. Looking very imposing and powerful. But, all right, I think... Oh, we always have Tifa, too. I have a lovely Tifa on the beach. That's always a really nice one. Can't sleep on that one. Starry Tifa, always good for a nice, comfy hundo. And it is Tifa. You know, we are going to date Tifa today. I guess we should have Tifa on the live split. Here we go. What Tifa do you guys want? Here's number one. Tifa 1 is this one right here. I hope you're not lagging too much. Here is Tifa number 2 on the beach. Here's Tifa number 3, Starry Night. And Tifa number 4... Halo Tifa. Which one what is your vote? What are we going with? One, two, three, or four. Two, four, two. Three. Oh, you guys are all over the place. What one what, what was two? Starry. Oh, we have two for two, two for four. Two for three? Now you guys are just trying to make this hard. What was number two? Which one was that? Two is the beach, right? Yeah, the beach, okay. We'll go with the beach today. da na da na da na 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 da da na 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 da 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 na 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 da da na da na da na 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 na. Thank you, Zandin, for getting us off to a nice start. I've been waiting this whole time for you. Where you been? We've been wanting to start. We've been begging for you to show up. You finally made it. Thank God the hundo can begin. Let's have a good March Madness hundo fundo today, and hopefully Comcast leaves us alone.
Well, thanks a lot. Good to see you, Zandin. Appreciate you. Thanks for the good luck. Just decided to play Dragon's Dogma 2. How you liking that? I heard some, uh... I heard some good things about it. I also heard it has a lot of microtransactions in it. And I also heard a rumor on the street... ...that Feareth Alfard has put in for a VIP... ...badge to the VIP arena. Think you're big enough to fill those VIP britches, Feareth Alfard, huh? Well, kneel down, my friend, as you are knighted on the left and the right shoulder. The 75th Petonian VIP of their name. And arise. VIP entry to the lounge, holder of Sharkuchi boards, PBRs, and mango white claws. I prepared some bagels and cream cheese for you in the lounge. Make sure you stop by your leather seat, overlooking the arena. And remember the one rule, no absconding with mayo into the lounge or you will be ruthlessly dealt with. In cruel and unusual fashion, befitting a lover of mayo. And thank you very much for your 100,000 channel points. Uh-huh, yes. You, you know the rules. You're, you're gonna fit in great. Well, Cloud is our what? Our AIM picks to honor our champion of our current tournament. Shout out to AIM Pine. Uh, there we go. Oh. Picks, it fits. Barret is our berry lord. Berry lore. <laughs> it's gonna be a fun one today. Uh, e lore. Not even a bad naming. Very fast. Very concise. Very nice. Maybe we can eke out a green split. Who knows? We better have some early limits, huh? Hey, Aswasaka, thanks a lot. Buenos tardes, mi amigo. Welcome in. Hope you're having a great Saturday. Thanks for the hundred biddies, Theorith. Appreciate you. Choo choo, you guys got limited time to earn exclusive Twitch emotes. If you want to jump all aboard the Twitch hype train, hype train here for your hundo fundo. Dragon's Dogma 2 is a fun game. You're having a good time with it. Reminds you of the first one. Kind of reminds you of a Dark Souls type game. Cool. Very happy Hundo Sado Day Do Synth to you too. How much time loss is it with longer names? Oh, it's going to be hard to say, really. Significant. Significant. There's obviously the time of simply naming, right? And then uh, there's the time over the, the the whole hundo for having the longer name. You know, it's not something that has an exact answer, really. 
You could easily theorize five to ten minutes, though. You could easily theorize that much. Da -na -da -na. Da -na -na -na. Yo, Kiteman, thank you, brother, for the sub. Gifty to tech side. Sounds like a March Madness special kind of name. Tech side for Texas. We could go T for Texas, like Alexis, Texas. We could we could mix porn star percent with March Madness percent. One of my epic hundos, we did porn star percent. Yeah, we we've, we've done that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Da -na 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 -da, da -na -da -na. Yo, Mr. E Zero with the first gift sub of their name in the community. Thanks a lot, appreciate you. Thanks a lot, Kiteman. Enjoy Bor Lanti, the gift subby. Very well deserved gift sub. And thanks a lot, Mr. E. I gotta give sub on it. I always throw down when we uh, kick off a hype train. See who the lucky Petonian is. Boxo Foxo. Nice name. Boxo Foxo. I like it. I like it. Enjoy your gift sub, courtesy of P-Town Rocks. And how about an early bolt? How about not? Alright, fine. Fine, fine, fine. Ninety on the bolt. Looking uh, pretty average there. AIM Picks is our champion of the March Madness tournament we have going on. And uh, an early braver would be pretty nice, so we'd love Cloud to be targeted again here. I'm expecting our heroic AIM Pine, who's leading the tournament, to be an exceptionally good hero today. And they've they've proven they've proven they're very very a capable picker. Hopefully they're a capable hero. How you doing, Dan? Good to see you. No early limit for us. Oh, so sad. And so we'll just kind of have a normal Guard Scorpion. Probably start a little bit in the red. Probably mostly for the naming. Otherwise, it might have been kind of an even split would be my guess. Hopefully no miss. And there we go. So we're going to have to win the long way here. And we'll see how long that is. We might even need to take a third bolt. As you have to hold on to your limit for Guard Scorpion and for Air Buster. We have had some high bolt rolls. That's gonna maybe maybe help us out a little bit here. But Barry Lore is now chilling like a villain. Yeah, look, a whole nother uh, attack too. Which is fine. And this will definitely kill. I would hope. And it does. Nice. Not a bad start at all, considering the naming. I can work with that. I can work with that. Might even get it in the green by the Iron Bank. Just have a nice Jesse skip, and uh, should be off to a nice Hundo Fundo start. Hi, 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 Gunter. How are you doing, mi amigo? Happy Saturday. Buenos tardes. Pick up our potion. Help out our lovely Jesse. 
fierce avalanche heroine. And choo choo, guys. Thanks a lot for the hype train to kick off the hundo. And enjoy your nice emotes. Jesse needs so much help. Just really can't take care of herself, huh? But we love Jesse. You can fix her? Mm. I bet you can. Coffee ASMR for you. Uh. Jesse was my uh, Jesse was my favorite in the remake of the Avalanche characters, but I really liked how they did Wedge Biggs. I really felt like I got to know them as a character. Felt like I got an emotional investment. Thought that was a, a real highlight of a remake. Not even mentioning Rebirth, just a remake. Thanks for the good luck, my friend. Happy Saturday. Planning on having a nice, comfy run today, and I'm excited to do the Tifa date. We could do the Barrett date, too. Or the Berry Lore date. We have two options when we do a special hundo. Other than the Aerith date, we have Tifa and we have Barrett, and I can easily do either. What would you guys like to see today? What would you guys like to see, and we would need to decide by the one-hour mark? Bro date hype? I put in the stream title featuring the Tifa date. I could just change that. No harm, no foul. The Barrett date? Look at all these people coming out for Barrett. Bro would be good to see, so would Tifa. No, not gonna do the Yuffie date. I sure wish we could do the Yuffie date in a, uh... In a, uh, hundo. I did the Yuffie date one time in a no major skips run. Yeah, it, it is incredibly difficult even to do in a non-hundo. Takes a ton of time loss, too. You know, relative to the other... The, yeah, the setups for the other dates. Yuffie is incredibly complex, very hard to do. And I had to put quite a bit of, you know, research into it. To look into, you know, precisely how to make sure you tank Aerith, Tifa, Barret to make sure you get Yuffie picked. There we go, a better Jesse skip today. This hundo shit will kill you, man. Oh, I don't, I don't doubt that. I don't doubt that. I think I lose, I think I lose about a hundred hairs on my head, and they turn white with every hundo. It's about the, it's the blood price to be paid. 
I definitely woke up today, and I, I told myself I need to take some time off soon. I, t I definitely looked in the mirror and said, You, sir, need- you not only need, you deserve some time off. I've been grinding really hard for the last couple months. You know, if I look at my stream stats, you guys want to know how many I've taken off, days-wise? Last month, let's see how many days I took off. In the last 30 days, I took two days off. Yes, I took two days off. In the 30 days before that, I took one, two, three, four, I took, looks like, five days off. In the 30 days before that, I took three days off. So in the last 90 days, I have taken 10 days off. That is, and that's on top of a full-time job. That is grinding right there. That is grinding right there. That's so I have been thinking about. You know, I, I only take one day at a time off normally. I had to take those three days off 60 days ago because I was sick. Had no choice but to take time off. But for example, we have our uh, first, you know, charity event for the kiddos coming up on April 6th. And, uh, I, you know, I think it might be well advised to take two days in a row off before it. Like, just some, some time before the April 6th event, just find somewhere to take two days. Tifa is our Tifa C for Tennessee today. Nice quick naming. But I think I might do that. I've been thinking about, I've been threatening to take a trip to Vegas here soon. And uh, this might be a nice time to do it. Might be a nice time to do it. I've been eyeing a round trip ticket for $51. It's a two hour flight, it's not like it's very long. I'm only like 20 minutes from the Portland airport, it's not like it would take a long time to get there. It would be a very easy, you know, pop down to Vegas, pop back to Portland. Have three days just to have some poker fun. And... Kind of have a self-imposed streaming break. And I think it could just be a good thing to do. Is that alright, Zandon? You're in Vegas? I think more than anything, I'm just, you know, just, just a little ground down. Just a little, a little over, overworked. It's not like I don't want to stream, or... feel like I have to take three days off, but I think it would be good. I think it would be good. It's good to have a mental break. Playing craps, Frisky. He used to cook at a casino here in Colorado. Nice. Easter weekend sounds like the perfect three-day break. What is Easter weekend this year? My birthday is right around Easter, usually. My birthday is April 20th. When is uh, Easter? It's next weekend, really. Maybe that would be a nice break. It's in March this year. Huh. 
It's usually in April. March 31st. Hey, Hambell, thanks for the good luck. Appreciate you. Is it? It's it's 420 next year. Ah. Well, look, I'm prepared for Easter. My Christmas tree is still up. I'm going to hang some eggs on it. Hey, Greybeard, thank you for the Dicky Vitel. Entry to the hundo today. Happy March Madness special to you. So are we are we officially switching to the Barrett date? We had a we had a revolt against the Tifa date. Pe people are calling for the bro. Where's all my Tifa, my team Tifa? Where are you guys? Or is this just not Tifa's day today? SGRN, your team Tifa. Well, someone had to step up. Thank you. And no, we haven't come up with a name for Kate yet. Namiri Tifa, Froggy Tifa, CG Yuffie, Team Well, Team Jesse. Yeah, unfortunately, can't uh, can't do that. Nice, only lost a couple seconds with the Tifa naming. Kate State. Kate State. That would work, that would work. Hey, Gourmet, Team Tifa. Well, now we've got some support for Tifa. About time, too, she was, you know, leaning in on the live split saying, Guys, really? You don't want to date me? But look at my lovely personality I have today. I like Tifa's hair in that picture. I think that's my... I think that's my, my favorite part of that photo, is Tifa's hair. Well, we got a menu we're gonna do here while the countdown is occurring. Is you gotta wait out the countdown so you can combine the menu and getting a high potion from a guy at the end of the train car. With putting the assault gun on Barrett, stripping ice off of Cloud to bump up his braver damage for the Airbuster fight incoming. There is our high potion. Go ahead and put that on. Strip that shit. And then walk seven steps after our rocket launcher fight. <laughs> okay, okay now, SG. All right. Six, seven. Nice fast escape from the rocket launcher fight. They have a pretty long turn, so you like to get out of there. Hey there, ads blow. Sounds like you got a beer cracked, my friend. How you doing? The day is young. It is about noon my time. I've got plenty of time to get into that later. Arizona punches their ticket as the first team into the Sweet 16. Love to hear that. As my champion is Arizona. So, go P-Town. Okay. 
How's Rebirth going for me? Really, really good. I've been loving it, loving it. Just wrapped up Gold Saucer about a week and a half ago, and I haven't played it since. Just been uh, grinding, learning FF8. It's been too busy. And it's the only real reason. But I've been loving not because I'm not loving it. Come to bless this hundo by the grace of the seven. I see. How you doing, Snow Leopard? Happy Saturday. How are you? You're wrapping up Gold Saucer yourself. I would love to have more time to play. I just haven't had it. Speaking of the need for time off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. How am I doing? I'm a little tired today, but I'm doing well. Doing well. A little tired, but, but well. Great to be running a hundo. Very happy. Always happy to show up on a Saturday to run a hundo. For you lovely ladies and gentlemen. Wife's taking the wheel tonight on food. A homemade chicken pot pie. Aha! Uh -huh. And do you trust Miss Snow Leopard's cooking? Or is this a risky proposition? As you're the gourmet every night. It's a six or seven at best, but she's watching. Hmm, okay. So, all right, your secret's safe with me. I'm sure she didn't hear that. He's off to Costco. Oh, right. Sure, sure, sure. I love blood taste. Apparently they love tasting our Barrett today. And it's too late. I'm gonna shout it every half an hour now for the rest of the stream. Snow Leopard thinks Miss Snow Leopard's cooking is a 6 out of 7. Hi, Miss Snow Leopard. I was going to be a public service announcement every half an hour tonight, just until I finally get the message through. Hi, hi, hi. Public service announcement on the half an hour. Miss Snow Leopard's cooking is a 6 out of 10. And he wasn't even being honest. We're going to get the truth out here, one way or another. Da, na, na, na. You think you're off the hook, but you're so not. You are so fucked here. I got you right where I want you. I'll see if I can have a uh, professional button press here. Baby, first time. She was also supposed to try on the lingerie you got her for vacation next week. Well, you might as well return that. Here we go for Air Buster and the potential 1% limit. 
crit that could one-shot Airbuster out of Barrett. And we can chalk up an AIM Picks limit, a Berry Lore limit. Those are all, but a, those are a guarantee here. P Town's wingman status is hereby questionable. Hey, I never claimed to be a worthy wingman. Might as well call me Mr. Steel Yo Girl. For all you know, 612, if that critted, that would have one shot killed Airbuster. It's one of the rare high rolls. Airbuster has 1200 HP. So that'll mean we'll have a good fight. Not gonna need the rarely seen Barret attack. Wow, that nearly killed on the Cloud Braver. They were both such a high roll. I've never seen that. Just a couple HP away, huh? Just a couple, too bad. And there you go, pull back some time on Air Buster. Very nice. Starbucks Caramel Macchiato time. Ah. Mm, mm, mm. I do. I went out when I have when I run hundos. I feel like you need to be spoiled a little bit. I have a nice charcuterie board. Or a charcuterie board for all you plebeians out there. I have a fruit tray. Strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, blackberries. I got a car venti caramel macchiato. To bless my hundo. I feel like when you run a hundo and you're... And Comcast is going to be doing its thing, which it is now again. You know, you need some things to make you feel good. Hi, Comcast. Hi. Good to see you. Welcome back. They were already here. They're just coming back to say, say, hi, don't forget me. I, I'm part of your life, whether you like it or not. I did not add an extra shot of espresso. I'm not that crazy. Jeez, what do you think? What do you take me for? I'm not a crack addict. Gonna carb up for the run? Kinda true. Well, our, our naming for the March Madness Tournament Special today, we have Arizona. Of course, my champion today. Uh, Zo... Na... Air... It... Zona! Yep, that is nice. That is really nice. That was our best name, I think, of the day. Good job, chat. You're doing excellent today. I remember when I used to work at Iron Man 4x4, I would get the Dutch Brothers 6... What do they call the Dutch Brothers? Six shot drink? Like six car alarm or... I just remember it has a six in it for the six shots. I, I used to get that thing, but boy, you gotta be drinking a lot of caffeine, caffeine to even like handle that. Now it would just make me so jittery, I don't think I'd be able to handle it. And thank you for the feed me ads. Uh, here goes a lemon head for you. A little sugar. Keep me going through the hundo. Appreciate you. Coming down to the end of the end of the box.
Now I'm making you watch some Dutch Bros. I like Dutch Bros a lot. I think they're a lot better than Starbucks, in terms of just the straight-up taste. But I got a Starbucks on my block, and I don't have a Dutch Bros. What can I say? I'm a simple man. Just give me a coffee. Three text box, and then option three, run to our double hedgehog pie fight, right about there. It's a back attack, it can be kind of a lengthy escape sometimes. Oh, that was very good. Hi Comcast, good to see you. Good to see you, my friend. Option one here. Refresh if you guys need to, and it's back and fixed. Uh, but always nice to have my good friend Comcast along for the church ride here. You like French vanilla in your coffee? I do too. I like Irish cream, French vanilla. I like all those. I like all those a lot. I just don't... I usually just go black coffee with a splash of whole milk. I'm a pretty simple man when it comes to my coffee. But if you guys are lagging, do refresh if you need to. Playground skip. Fast approaching here. Well, now that we're finally kind of settled into the hundo, Got our nice weekend started. What are you guys up to for your Saturday Sunday, huh? Well, you uh, lurk or vibe to the hundo? What are you guys up to, huh? What are you gaming on? What are you working on? What are you eating on? What you got going on for your uh, your weekend? That's exciting, huh? You watching the tournament? I was thinking about the weekend taking it off and just watching the tournament. It would be a nice way to veg out. I was thinking about that. But if I was going to veg out to the tournament, maybe next weekend would be the better one. You know, there'll be more games next weekend too. And it's Easter and you guys were saying, you know, might be the you know, weekend before the charity event the next week. That might I think that might be the perfect two days in a row off. I think I should just lock that in, you know? Rebirth, March Madness, P-Town Hundo. Man, that sounds like the life. You lucky, lucky dab at you. Waxed your ride before I have to... <laughs> God damn it. Best of luck. Hey there, Cuisine. Happy Hundo Fundo. How are you? Always a pleasure to have you in the his house. Gotta do some shopping after this. And then uh, pray for Playground Skip, which, you know, we're gonna lose 80 seconds to if we don't get. It's the 50-50 proposition coming up here at the Playground. Partner's been away all week. 
See, you've been tidying up in anticipation of their return tomorrow. That's such an important thing to do. It's very, very nice of you to do that. You know, it was nothing, nothing worse. There is nothing worse than leaving for a trip. And as I say this, I'm thinking of like my college roommates who just were like, you know, I'd come home to just like a mess of a house. I, I had a roommate, the two of us at one point. Nothing worse than coming home and having to clean up a mess. You know, like he had thrown a party the night before. And it was just like, I, I walk into the living room and it's just a disaster, you know. There, there it honestly is like nothing worse than coming home to a mess. Because you're already just so happy to be home, but then you're just immediately confronted with this... You know, just, ugh, really? You know, I just wanted to vibe and thrive and get playground skip and I got it. And Aerith, I'm so sorry. Aerith, Zona, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me, but I needed that playground skip today. I needed that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And we can skip playground now. And not lose 90 seconds. Very good. Well, that's great. That's great. Got us into the green and rock and roll. Who says you need to shorten names, huh? Hey there, Butch. Thanks for the good evening. Yeah, tidying up that playground skip. But you know, I, I think that's such a kind, considerate thing to do. You gotta you gotta let your Significant under, come home to a nice household, or it's just a mental... It's a real mentally irritating thing. Thanks for the hydrate. I got some caramel macchiato coffee here for you. To our nice wall market. No beer? Butch, it is not even noon, my friend. Are you already drinking? Maybe you're on the East Coast, and you're vibing to some March Madness. You're a little risky to crack a beer at 12.20 p.m., I think. Aha! Uh -huh, you live in Poland. Well, that's fair. That is very fair. I shalt allow it, then. I shalt allow it, you lecherous pigeon-livered jackanape. I think an 820 beer is more than fair in Poland. Ha uh ha, -huh, the East Coast. Hey, don't alienate 50% of my viewers. Hey, hey, Kennel, come back. Oat didn't mean that. You guys are the best. You're the best. The East Coast rocks. Been drinking since 1 p.m.? Oh, the truth comes out. Oh, you're gonna be good company tonight. Three text boxes, then option three, then the hotel. It's Saturday, so free time. Hey, Saturday, it's Hundo Fundo. You might as well get down and, and get down and clown, right? Have a good time. No better, no better time to do it than during a Hundo Fundo. And to be dating Tifa or Barrett, naming all of our characters after the March Madness teams. Always gonna be a good time here. Anything else we can do for fun for the March Madness special? And again, we still haven't decided if we're doing the Barrett date or the Tifa date. But I did put Tifa on the live split because I thought we were going to do the Tifa date. But you guys can convince me. I mean, we're still we're, we're within about 40 minutes, uh, probably less than that. From if we are going to do the Tifa date, we would need to set it up in jail in Shinra headquarters. 
So that moment isn't actually that far off. The Barrett date is set up in Cosmo Canyon. It shall always be Tifa Day. Well, that's true. That's true. If we decide to date Barrett, Tifa will always be number one in our hearts. Yeah. Barrett supporters are very quiet right now. I know. I think they feel outnumbered. They might be intimidated by the sheer vociferousness of the Tifa troop. You guys need to stand up for your man. There's a lot of Barrett bros out there, sure. You know, they need to they need to show up and, and make their voice heard to all these lisping puke stocking lootster team Tifas. Or else, you know, they're just gonna walk all over you and you're not ever gonna have a chance at the Barrett date. that lately, Butch. That prime subs aren't, like, showing up. I don't know why that is. It's been, like, you're not the first to say that. You're, like, the third over the last, like, two days. I wonder if Twitch did an update and somehow it's affected prime subs? Is what I'm wondering. I don't know what to tell you other than that's, yeah, that's, like, been a thing that I've noticed people are saying. Anyone, anyone, anyone have any news on that? Have you heard anything in other streams about why? Is that a common thing? For example, if I look at my, um, my feed, it doesn't show a Prime sub either. I'm um, like my, you know, channel analytics. But I've heard that. I've heard that. And I don't know why that would be. I don't know if it's just not showing up, or if it uh, isn't allowing it. You know what I mean? That's what I have. Can't really figure out. Hopefully, it would just not not show up. Tried to use yours last night and didn't see it. That's weird, yeah. I'm not seeing it on my feed, either. Well, that's really strange. Has anyone actually used their Prime sub in the last couple- Actually, I know people have. I see it every day. So that's weird. I wonder if it has something to do with... I, yeah, I just don't know. But you do have a sub badge, Butch, and Leopard, yeah. Indicating that the Prime sub worked, right? And so it does appear to have come through. The strange thing to me is, like, I don't see a sub on my feed. Does that indicate that I didn't get, you know, for example, credit for a sub? Or something. And it went all to Jeff Bezos. You know, that's something that's I'm wondering. That would be surprising. You always use your prime for another, and it showed up today. Yeah, I don't know. Like I think that's a third person, Lady V, in the last week that said they've their prime sub's been weird. But for example, Butch, did you use a tier one after the prime didn't work? Or is that an indication that it worked for you? Because at least then it indicates it still works, which is good. 
even if it's not showing up. And thank you for the prime sub, yeah. Just blame Twitch. Yeah, you know, Twitch has done some nice things this year. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. It's all right, Butch. No worries. Didn't, they did expand the Partner Plus program. We're going to be able to take advantage of that on May 1st. We'll be getting an upgraded split revenue share. And I think we might hit the 70-30 uh, threshold like within this year. quick, pr Pretty quickly. Sooner than later. We're already all, well, not well, but over 200 subs that specifically are required to contribute to the 30-70 split. And we, we smash the 60-40. It's just always deceptive. You know, we have a lot of subs, but uh, only, only specific ones actually count toward the revenue share requirements. But, you know, I, you gotta say some good things about Twitch, having expanded that this year. And, uh, you know, that's one reason why I'm gonna move come... May 1st into somewhere with fiber because, you know, that'll be... That 10% is not a small amount. You know, that's that's a significant... That's a significant boost in revenue. And at that point, that just kind of pays for itself. You know, I can just take that extra money and just say, okay, I'm just going to take that and put it into a better apartment that has fiber. And that'll be where that money goes, you know. And, you know, that's big... Shout out to Twitch for that. You know, that was... That's a nice thing. But do I like it when they ban all my booba emotes? No, fuck Twitch. That's a mean thing. I don't know, Tirith. I haven't decided yet. I could really take it or leave it. I don't really care. I would be just as happy living alone. In a studio by myself with my lovely fiber. And not needing to worry about Clippy, but... There's a lot of benefits to having David around. That man knows everything about my computer and how to fix it and has literally built it himself. And he's a great guy. He's a great guy. Got nothing but good things to say about David. But I do have a lot of good things to say about living alone, too. That I think I would enjoy. Just the freedom of space and privacy. want to make sure that Arizona gets the kill today, so we're going to bolt it with AIM picks, grenade it with Arizona, and then grenade it with Tifa C, our Tennessee team name, and that'll guarantee the uh, kill with Aerith here. That might seem a little superfluous, you know, one, one measly little kill. Fuck Tennessee. Oh, that's just because they're playing Texas today and you're afraid you're gonna go down. I know, I know, I know where that comes from. It's a place of hatred. It's a place of fear. And it's where that comes from. Oh, trust me, Lady V. David has been an incredibly important asset to me. I mean, the man has built five computers, and he built the PC I'm streaming on right now that I built uh, last year. Never could have done that myself. And anytime I have a tech issue, I can go to him and, you know, he's got the answer always. If he doesn't know the answer, he takes the time out of his day to find the answer. And he's, a, he's been a really big asset to the channel. But he also 
You know, just having a roommate comes with the obvious downsides, right? You, know, you just have a roommate. You know, it doesn't matter who they are, but you got a roommate. You know, lack of your own space. You know, just... Clippy has been, you know, sometimes a menace to, to society. As much as I love Clippy, our, our Italian Greyhound, he, uh, he has killed hundos. One, two, three. The internet needs to change, and, uh, you know, whether or not he wants to move is a question, of course. But I would not be opposed to him uh, coming, coming with. That was the plan originally. We were having just atrocious Comcast issues. It was like killing the stream every day. These issues are nothing compared to what it used to be. We just dropped the stream. And it would just be maddening. You know, I was looking into moving, and, and he was like, well, I'll move with you. And that was going to be the plan. And then Comcast kind of fixed itself, and I didn't have any internet issues for months. And then, you know, I kind of forgot about it. And, uh, you know, we haven't broached that issue in a while. And the fiber will be an instant win, I agree. And heal up, and ATB to active, to wait, I mean, and get our high pot. I think that's a high pot. And then time for our ghost hand steal. Very exciting. That was our 12th steal, 12th try steal yesterday. It was the worst ghost hand tied for it ever. Just in time for Comcast to come back. Oh good, they knew it was time for the ghost hand. They're like, all right. Flip the switch! We gotta ruin it! Important things are going down here. So here we go for about a 30%-ish steal. 30 to 35, somewhere in there. Number one. Okay. Number two. Okay, it's not a bad ghost hand, actually. It is not the worst ghost hand. We saved a little bit of time on it. Rock and roll. Go us. But I'm so excited for Fiber. Like, it's going to be, in my opinion, an, just such a relief to just never have to worry about it again. About, you know, running a 16-hour hundo and, you know, just at the 8-hour mark, I just am forced to stop because Comcast says no. I mean, that's a real thing I deal with. That in this day and age, in 2024, is pretty hard to understand, you know. Hard to understand how that's a thing, but it is. And, you know, that's just the reality here in Portland. Hey there, Bear Ravioli. How are you? Go ahead and go on to active. You want to train? Really? Lover of trains. I love trains, too. Trains are cool. But what I want to train, they sound expensive. You have to store it somewhere. You need tracks. You would need a conductor. Unless you know how to conduct your own train. You know, you'd need... Think about the fuel. Oh my god, can you think about transportation costs in a train? Does it even run on regular fuel? What does a train run on? I don't even know. Think about how much, how much fucking f the fuel that would cost. Jeez, just to get to work and back in a train. I think you're underestimating the. I think you're underestimating what would be involved here in your daily commute. Don't crush my dreams. All right, all right. You know what? You enjoy that train. You could get a van and then dress it up like a train. This is an option, yeah. This is an option. We have so we have a solution here that could work. Da -na -na -na. You're back with homemade caramel syrup. Homemade milk foam. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 
15, 16. And now you're going to use the espresso machine on your computer desk to assemble an espresso caramel macchiato style. Wow. More power to you. Caramel macchiato gang, rise up. Could bust out the braver here out of cloud. We could use reels out of Tifa. Oh, paralysis. Wish I'd gotten it out earlier now. We're gonna see a double pyramid. I want a cloud going first there, so we could use limit priority. Then we can still get it in. Hey, final link. Thanks a lot for the tier one subby, my friend. Appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Enjoy your ad free hundo fundo, and thanks a lot for the first sub in the channel of all time. I appreciate you and Enjoy your ad-free month and 50 emotes. My new friend -o. Well, nice. Still got a nice green split for the for the fundo. That's excellent. Just how you draw up a little March Madness tournament special. And we're not that far away from naming Nanaki Red Canyon after Grand Canyon's upset yesterday. A 12 over a 5, I think. Or maybe a 14 over a 3. Scott, good to see you. you see, we were talking about the new meta on Twitch yesterday, about how the new porn star stream meta is they green screen their booty, and with, you know, booty shorts on, they play Fortnite on their butt. That's the new meta as of this week, if you haven't seen it. Really, really, you know, they, they keep evolving, these streamers. You gotta, gotta get really handed to them. Such a great time to be a 10-year-old youth these days, you know? Raised on... Raised on... You know... Morgue Pie Fortnite booty streams. You know, those are their formative years. Am I interested in streaming FF7 on my booty? Well, I mean, it would probably work. Let's be honest. Probably be a hit. Mm 
Mm, yeah. Overprivileged youth. We had Sears magazines. <laughs> oh god, now you're now you're sounding like a real old fuck. Uh, you know, I'm 29 around here. I want to make that perfectly clear. I don't represent these old farts that... That, uh... Are really, really, you know, raising our average average age around here. You know, I'm 29. I mean, I'm still, I'm still young. I haven't hit 30 yet. I'm here to really try to bring that average age down and, you know, kind of keep us eternally young. You're gonna scare off all the ten-year-olds who I'm trying to entice with my booty streams coming up here shortly. You're 42 and still think you're young? Oh no, you're an old fuck. Just face the facts, Butch. It hurts less if you just rip off the band-aid. What you really mean is you're, t you're, you're having your 13th, 29th birthday. That's what you meant, right? That's right. You're a young f there. Okay. Well, you're you're getting there, Butch. You're you're improving slowly, at least. Hey, Kaiser. How are you doing, my friend? Thank you for the five stream watch streak. Goes well. Goes well. Glad you made it for the hundo fundo. You endured your time in the void stoically. I'm very proud of you. And you're 43? No, 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 no. It's your 14th, 29th birthday danger. We're all eternally 29 here. You're invited to live this life. It's a great one. Now, Butch is just a loathly puke-stocking lewdster, but we, we put up with him because, well... I mean, there's always one, right? It makes the rest of us feel better. And thank you for your 5,000 points for a Shakespearean insult. You malignancy, you. Oh, that was the next one. Shit. Glad to have you back. Just in time for headquarters, some stairs running. We did a gentleman's sports bet on a bonk on the stairs or not. I think it was Volensop who took the bookie wager for our bonkless stairs. Of course I bonked. I think I bonk about 75% of the time, and I have to cough a sub up. And so I gotta really I gotta really think if I really wanna extend the uh, the sports line of a uh, bonk bet. Do we have any takers who would like to wager a gift sub on if P-Town goes bonkless, you have to gift a sub. If I bonk, I gift a sub. This is getting very expensive for me, though. I, I'm at the point where I kind of need to, like, hmm, hmm. Might need to get better at not bonking. <laughs> is what I really need to get better at. I was about to say I need to get- I need to think about my wager, but really, I- the answer is P-Town, you need to get better at not bonking. 
Come on, buddy. Let's be honest. You'll take that bet, Mr. E. Hmm. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling up for the challenge. All right, fine. You are on. Lock it in. Gentlemen's handshake from me to you. A bonk bet has been has been cast. I like it because I can control the. I can kind of. It's un, under my hands. It's my fate, you know. I need to be good, and I can win as long as I'm good. It's not like a March Madness bet where you can't control your fate, really. You know, I can control this, I just suck, so. <laughs> I end up paying out most of the time. The wife just pulled in with the groceries, everyone be cool. Oh, hi, Miss Snow Leopard. I'm so excited for your delicious chicken pot pie tonight. Snow Leopard is really excited for it, too. They were raving about your cooking skills while you were gone. Mm-hmm. Stocked on the brewskis. What do you got? What do you got on the fridge tonight? I got some Miller Lite, Miller lattes for your hundo pleasure. Da -na -na -da -da -na -na -na. Like everything Founders has, everything Founders has huh? must be a brewery name that I've never heard of. Maybe a local craft brew. Dirty Bastard Kentucky Breakfast Stout. Nice names for a beer. Dirty Bastard. Pretty well-known craft brewery. Were they called Stone? Did they changed their name. got a back row, back row, and then ATB to wait. And uh, time to try to go bonkless on the stairs. Good luck, Mr. E. Good luck to me, thank you, sir. Very sportsmanlike of you. I did end up ordering the Smash Burger Danger, yeah. I did get one this last week. I thought it was fucking delicious. I got one from a local food cart that had a Smash Burger. I paid about like, 10 bucks for it. And uh, it was delicious. It was delicious. One of my favorite burgers I've had in quite a while, actually. And I'm on to you. You're trying to you're trying to make me bonk by distraction. I hey, 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 hey. This is how you guys get me. You you, you know, you, you sucker me in for a sub bet. 
need to distract me by talking about food. And the next thing you know, I'm bonking face first into Barrett. Very tight corners. Playing it, playing it risky. That was a little wide. Let's clean that up. Let's clean that up. Got a Canadian breakfast stout as well. You see, now you're talking about beer. I mean, that's worse than food. I see the I see what the devious plan that is going down here. You're trying you're trying to throw this for Mr. E. I get the elixir. That was a better cut there. Alright, seven tenths of the way there. Bonkless is still a go go. I, I did order that smash burger with a tomato, cheese. Oh no! Uh. Mts, mts, mts. Another one bites the dust. And another bonk down, and another bonk down. P-Town bites the dust. Well, my track record gets even worse. Oh, jeez. Yeah, two patties. Had two patties on it. Two quarter-pound patties. That were smashed. Hey, Rain. Thanks for the good luck. Hey, Deck, thanks for the sub, my friend. 30 months of subbies. A lot of subbies. I bonked. I bonked. I'm a bonker. What can I say? I just suck at running stairs. It's a problem. Ah! Well, on this floor, it doesn't matter if you bonk. You can do anything you want, because you have to be, well, wait for Barrett and Tifa. Hurry up, guys. Places to be, people to see, and all. And I am a man of honor. I honor my bets. And Striker Boy, enjoy your ad free hundo fundo courtesy of P Town. And that bonk. And a firm gentleman's handshake to you. Oops. Mr. E, well done. Well done, well done. Very impressive. Clearly can hustle. Clearly knows how to hustle. I kinda feel like I've been swindled. Hey, Pseudo Menudo, thank you for the sub, my friend. Appreciate you. Hope you're having a good hundo fundo. Glad you made it. Oh, Mr. E, that is super, super, super kind to you. With the gift sub anyway. To Vils87, Hambell with a hundred big old biddies popping off a hype train, hype train here. Ah, super kind to you, Mr. E. Still doing a gift sub either way. I appreciate you. Thanks a lot, Hambell. See if I can honor it by not getting caught here. Be a real travesty. It would hurt. Be a, a minute time loss and more pride, you know, hit to my ego. I was close. Oh my god. 
cloud. Holy shnikes. That was, uh, 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 frightening. I thought his hair was over the edge. Sheesh. Just snuck in through. Oof. <laughs> Sigh of relief. Well, if you guys like nice Twitch custom emotes that you get for being a part of the hype train for only a hundred biddies, come, come. You can have some custom emotes from Twitch and celebrate. Oh, I better look at the library. I, I, I think that ticked over. Let's check, though. And celebrate the best answer, your hundo fundo runner. Gotta, gotta support your hundo runners. Economic is best. It did tick over to 48 seconds, so good that I made sure. That was a clencher. First minor heart attack of the day. We had to get it out of the way, right? It's, it's a hundo, you know, we gotta have some... some booty clenches. Just part of the program. And enjoy your gift sub, Vils87. Welcome on into the hundo. Oh, that is exciting, Deck. Exciting news, my botter my my botter. My daughter was born a week ago. So I'm getting a bit more awake time in the US evening and might See parts of this run live, I usually miss. Well, that's super exciting. That's congratulations, Deck. That's really cool. I hope you are able to get at least some sleep and keep your sanity. You know, we're not that far from the Tifa date or the Barrett date. We gotta decide, though. If we're gonna do the Tifa date, we need to set it up now in jail. This is when you have to do it. You talk to Tifa 20 times to up your affection level between Cloud and Tifa, one time each. And you can do it to infinity. So that AIM picks will date Tifa C today for our March Madness special. Do a red date. I wish. I wonder what a Palmer date would be like. I wonder what a Hojo date would be like. Ooh. That is a horrifying thought. I'm imagining like a transformed Hojo with tentacles. Hentai style. Rather horrifying thought. Now see, there is a Prime Gaming sub from Rain Over. And Rain Over, thanks a lot for the Prime sub. So Prime does work. You, you, we were actually having questions about this earlier. And thanks a lot. Appreciate the Prime sub, Rain, and enjoy the ad free hundo fundo. And choo choo! Prime worked! Hojo, what would a Tifa date be like with you? What, what, would, you, what would it be like? What do you think? <laughs> oh, no. Well, I think that sums up everything that Hojo wants to do to Tifa. Da -na -na -na. You lubberly puppy-headed malignancy, Hojo. I can I can see what's in your head there. Da -na 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 -na. 
Da-na-na-na. Yes, you were you did solve the mystery. Thank you. You want to stay far, far away from Hojo? You should want... Yeah, you should. As I trail him, I, I have to put up with his stench. It's really terrible. Ew de Hojo. Oh, I got Karen and chatted. Oh, man. I got the double time trouble. No one redeemed a flush master. What do you want me to say? At least if I if they did, I missed it. No flush. Which really begs the question, are we really running a hundo still? But, I don't make the rules, I just abide by them. I did not see a flush. How's your Saturday going, Master? Good to see you. Holy cow! Is that a hundred thousand channel points I see? I believe it is. Laid down by the one and only Don Torleone. You think you're big enough, you're man enough for the VIP club, huh? Well, you are the Don, after all. And so, Don Torleone, please kneel down before the VIP throne. As you are knighted on the left. And the right shoulder. And arise the newly minted Don VIP Torleone. Enjoyer of charcuterie boards, PBRs, mango white claws. Loather of mayo... And remember the one rule, if you ever abscond with VIP with Mayo into the VIP lounge, we will ruthlessly... We will, we will use cruel and unusual punishment to deal with you. And may your VIP reign be long and profitable. It's not your first VIP rodeo? Well, you know the rules then. Alright. That is our 76th out of 80 VIP, almost, uh, almost maxing out our spots again. And thank you for your 100,000 channel points. That's a lot of points. A lot of points. As I enjoy my lemon head here. Mm-mm-mm. Renaming Nanaki Red Canyon after Grand Canyon's upset yesterday in the March Madness Tournament. You know that red vent to the left of the glass? It reminds me of Dr. O'Dine's stupid little neck. Stupid little neck fashion statement that he wears. It's the same white and red. Red Canyon, huh? Um, Red Canyon. Yep, fits. All right. Nice and fast as well. Well, what is our shady breath fate? We wanted to hit everybody. And it did, good, so he won't cast it again. Not yet, Rain, not yet. People have over a million points, though. 
as we speak. Well, nice. Time save on sample. Despite naming red, no harm, no foul. Back row red, make sure we force our fight, do our five steps, and then we have to do the Tifa date of his time. Who was our... who's on Team Tifa? Who's on Team Barrett? We need a final vote. Where's my Tifa troopers? Where's my Barrett bros? Where are you? What do you guys want to see today? Blue, you want to see Tifa? Hambell Tifa? Wow, look at the Tifa troop coming pouring out of nowhere now. Reporting for Tifa duty, Barry Lore, our first, our first and only Baylor. Barry Lore date from Silly Dabbit. We're in the minority here, my friend. Three, four, five. I hate to say it. The Tifa troop is loud and proud. All right, lock it in. Tifa, it will be today. Which is really nice because the splits in the world record do the Tifa date. So we're actually not going to lose any time if we have a good deadly waste deal. Hey there, Ant. Hey there, Matt Scratch Fever. Good to see you both. Glad you made it in for the Hundo Fundo today. What are you guys up to for your Saturday? Time to do the Tifa date. Hope you guys are ready. Um, right here. Number one. Number two. Number three. Each one is four, raising your effects and level by one. Five. You can do this to infinity. Six. So if you're nervous, you can do more than you think you do. Eight. Nine. Ten. Twenty should suffice, though. Eleven. If you ever want to do it yourself. Twelve. Thirteen. <clears throat> Fourteen. And it's just option one. No need to go option two. Fifteen. Sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, I'll go a couple more, I just want to lock it in today, 21, we'll do lucky number 23 for Michael Jordan's UNC teams. Team, they only have one year, I think. And so that should lock in the AIM picks date with Tifa C. Watching Kansas vs. Gonzaga, epic first half. Enjoying some home duties while enjoying the stream. Nice. Glad to hear you guys are having a nice, nice weekend. Oh, we gotta get all up in Tifa C here. Oh, hello girl. I see you. All up in Tifa. I see you, girl. Holy, holy, saw so much Tifa, I need to relieve myself. It's too much Tifa, too much, too much. Got very excited, could barely contain myself. Hey there, Ichini, Ichini, Ichini Rhoda, how are you doing?
Deadly Waste Time coming up. Which was pretty deadly in recent runs, and, you know, we set up the Tifa date, so if we have a bad one, it's going to be deadly on the splits, too. How am I doing? fan freaking tastic Oops. Better if I can get a first-time Deadly Waste, though. Even better if I can get the four-second Barrett Paralysis Dodge. And we'll go for it. No dice, but that's a really hard skip. You gotta go for it as fast as you can. No need to do a setup for it, or you're losing more time than it saves. What do we do as a special hundo? We're dating Tifa. We're naming every character after March Madness college men's basketball team names. And we're just having a generally fucking great time. And hopefully a nice deadly waste steal. And we will not lose any time if we do. I think that world record got it first try there after doing the Tifa date. That would have been almost a break-even split. So we have to hope we're not put in the red here with some bad luck. We had a 12th try uh, ghost hand yesterday. That lost me two and a half minutes. It was pretty ugly. Pretty ugly. Fourth try. Fifth try coming in here. And this will be need to be the one, or else we're in the red. Sixth try. It's about a 35% steal. Lucky number seven here. And there we go. At least we got it in there. Not very good, but, you know, only eight seconds in the red. We can take that. I think we can all accept that. But not a good deadly waste. That was pretty... pretty suspect. That was maybe an eighth try or something. Eight or eighth or ninth. Force our fight. Hopefully get a fast escape. Put me in the green alone if I get a fast escape. Hmm. Yep, I see you, Brain Pod. Long attack, that's all. So long attack. We got a Braver for uh, AIM picks on the Rufus fight. That could be time safe. So who knows? Maybe we get it pulled back just on Rufus. Just on a non-sleep elevator. Or on just a nice crossing to bottom swell and a good bio. I've got over a minute on just a nice bio.
Well, let's see if we can kind of engineer a couple cheeky kills for Aerith here. She got the apps kill. She will be guaranteed to get the kill on 100 Gunner right here. If you follow the rule, Red Canyon, Berry Lore, Aerith Zona. Aerith goes last. Hopefully not last in the tournament. They are my champion, Arizona. My pick in the Marsh Madness Bracket challenge we have. Shout out to our leader, who got the... the nobility of being our hero cloud, our champion at the moment, after, what is it, three days of the tournament, is Mr. A.I.M. Pine. Hence the name A.I.M. Picks is our current leader with a 99.9 .9 pick percent rate. Crushing, crushing names, stealing wives, just winning a life out there. He has a. It's like he has like an oracle, and he can just see the future. I mean, how does a guy predict a 99.9 percent .9 bracket? He has a perfect both regions of his southern bracket right now. Like hasn't hasn't missed a single pick on both of those regions. That's literally half the bracket. And here goes the two limits to get Aerith to kill. I think we got it. Not a big deal, but it is nice to try to get that in there. Barret should big shot. Aerith should grenade for the kill. Got my word on it. Oh, wait, did that crit? Barret, you jerk. I wasn't watching. Did that fucker crit? Barry lore. Yeah, you're too strong. Stop it. Stop it. I'm quite confident he had to have critted there. That's the 1% chance. I have a crit. Yeah, 262. Yeah, he critted. Well, you thief! And, oh my god, now he's laughing at what just occurred. He's like, oh, you thought you had an Aerith kill. You, you thought wrong. Thank you for your Keck W, Captain. That's only my third Braver, actually. Happy 420 from the East Coast. Happy 420 to you. I got some 420 edibles and a cartridge if I want after the hundo. Exactly. We're not gonna. We're not gonna risk the 139. Not in a hundo. Not worth the risk. And in the green. Really yo-yoing the red and the green all day. The naming we're doing is not helping, obviously, but still fighting a good fight despite the time loss for the naming. And that's going to be a thing, obviously, all day. Fire, poison, uh, ice and lightning, back row, cloud, and calm skip time. Well, it'd be a real shame for our March Madness tourney special to die to a calm skip today. That would that would suck. That would suck. You're rolling a little Mac One and biscotti mixed blunt. Nice. Sounds uh, delish. Turtles of Paradise number two. Da na 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 na. Got some purple panty dropper. Wow, quite the name on that. Purple panty dropper. Incredible name. 
Is it a cookies brand? Cookies likes their crazy names. The name is why you picked it. It's actually pretty good. I mean, yeah. That's, a, that's an interesting question, though. What happens if it... Can you only drop purple panties? What if they're blue? Are you incapable of dropping those panties? What happens when you confront a red panty? Or white? Anything other than purple? Are you paralyzed by fear? Are you overcome with anxiety and stress? How does that go? At least you're high, so maybe you don't care much. Oh, come on, red bike. <laughs> of course the one I kill is red. Niching helps you be more effective. Well, this is true. That can be your thing, the purple panty dropper. <laughs> Really corner that purple panty drop in market. You know, everyone has their forte in life. Just gotta find where you fit in. Alright, finally got our got our sword swings in there, got our three bikes. I was going to check to see. I put in for a code of Dragon's Dogma 2. I don't think they've released the uh, who got them or not yet. People are already playing it. They must be early uh, access people. But I also have a key, and uh, it's a $69.99 game. I mean, that's a very spendy game. Quite a few of you are playing it. Anyone, raise your hand. Would you be excited to get a copy of Dragon's Dogma 2? If you could. Or have you already bought it if you're going to if you're going to buy it. It released... Oh, is that right? It released March 22nd. So it already came out. Got it. It's kind of funny. I don't know why they haven't released keys for it yet, then. Maybe it already came out. But they haven't announced uh, this uh, website. I saw I could put in, so I was like, oh, well, I might as well, and we can do a giveaway for it if... if, uh, you know, if I get one. Not that I really care, but... It's the Capcom Action RPG release for 2024. And it's getting pretty positive reviews, like 8, eight and 9 out of 10. Yeah, quite a few streamers playing it quite, you know, before release. But uh, this, uh, I'm looking at the site right now, I still haven't uh, given out the keys. It's still pending. So that could be coming. If you guys are interested in that game, you might want to hold off. I might be able to give away a key. Save you 70 bucks there. Hey, Nathan, how you doing? Bolt it, grenade it, grenade it. 216, bolt number one. Two fourteen, bolt number two, looking very nice and average. Bolt number three. Two twelve. Bolt number four. Put through number five. Hands off the keyboard. Chilling. Chilling like a villain here.
It is. It's a game with microtransactions in it, too. Which is what's interesting to hear for me for a game with that kind of price tag, $70. Found that surprising. But despite that, you know, the reviews have been good. They've been positive. I think it's more whether you think that's a morally respectful thing to do, m microtransactions in a game that expensive is, I think, a whole nother question. I might feel a little offended if I paid that much and then was asked to cough up money in the game after. Well, I'm restore on Tifa, Choco Lure, and wait, and it's time for Calm Skip. How are we feeling, guys? Are you feeling Calm Skip is a lock? Are we gonna get the 10% soft lock and our hundo fundo is dundo? How are you feeling? There we go. Let's go. Second try, Barrett Skip to the world map. As we're now counting encounters on the world map. To track to 12 for the Mithril. There's a pretty early in person counter. Mm -hmm. It's getting a battle as you run through the mountain, yeah. There's also the chance the Zalem just gets in your way. And if he makes you zag enough out of your path, it will affect Calm Skip and you can soft lock that way too. That's a little less common, but the Zolom can also get his say of the skip, too. And so, encounter number two. Well, I don't know. 10% is 10%. I think this. I was looking at the. Um, I think I was looking at the uh, just the Wikipedia reviews. I think we're like eight eight point oh to nine point oh. Da na 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 na. Is your chocobo work moment of zen? That was only a two encounter crossing, right? That was pretty good actually. <clears throat> that was pretty good actually, I'd say. Hey, Denkabot. How you doing? Good to see you, Cal Show. Just in time for Calm Skip. Hey, Beam. Good to see you. Go ahead and buy our Geisel Green. You, sir, can get the chocobo lure. You can go on to wait. 52, 13, I can take 17 or 18. For a chocobo manip, we're leaving the ranch at a specific in game time seconds to produce a uh, chocobo fight. Acid nut drop. Da -na -da -na -da -na. Oh boy. Alright, guys, watch out. Zolom's in a mood today. He's in a mood. Bad snack. That's fine. You're not really doing the skip yet. Bonking on the mountain there is the first part of the skip, really. On active. Do our long range ether intent screen. But if he does that again, that's how you potentially soft lock the other way. Or the Zolom can troll you and get in your way. Now that that's the, that happens there. Yeah, stay away, Snack. Bad Snack. Bad Snack.
Wow, fast escape. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, rock and roll. Okay, he's on the down right, so that's gonna be fine. This crossing here is a spicy one. Okay. This is the final scare going across here. It's a little far away from the mountain. You can get an encounter here. Didn't. Final scary spot. He's up there. Okay, he's down there. Now you can wait this one out and make sure you're safe there. And here's now the 10%, this will be fine. Clench that booty, hold that breath. Okay, 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 okay. Counter number four. All right, Zem, give me a hug, Zem, Zem. We got a hundo fundo. That is not Dundo in an encounter. Soft lock. Let's go. Thank you for the hug. A little celebratory hug. I deserve that. And the beat goes on for the March Madness Fundo. All right. Wow, so many VIPs today. That is number five. Bio bet. Go, 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 guys. Go fast, says Tirith. All right, go, go, go. Make that money, girl. Go ahead and do our final. Curing up with everybody. Strip and strip. Do our 43 Granades here. Now, 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 now. Go, 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 go. Or you're gonna be banned! Oh, I mean, sorry, no. Or, or you're gonna miss the bet. Shit. And we are on act. Third VIP of the day. So many new, new VIP members. Hopefully Bio can serenade Dread Pirate Ro Bebop, our newest VIP member. No luck. Alright, no luck. Mm -hmm. What about Bio number two? Come on AIM picks, don't let us down. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. No, no, settle down. You're not a VIP yet. I had to see the bio in there. I needed to know if you were a worthy VIP member. The bio cemented it. I think I'll let you in. I think you deserve it. You brought some good bio luck, Dread Ro Pirate Robebop. We'll, we'll let you in. You passed the test. The, the bio test. And please kneel and arise as you are knighted on the left and the right shoulder, the newest member of the VIP club in the P-Town community. Defend you, grenade you, grenade you, and rock and roll, bottom of swell. Make sure you stop by the VIP lounge, enjoy your leather monogram chair, get your charcuterie boards. Your PBRs, your mango white claw, and your bagels and cream cheese I made for you today. I slaved over that. And thank you for your 100,000 VIP points. You rock. Remember the one rule. No absconding with mayo into the VIP lounge. 
Mm-hmm. We have two spots left out of 80. We have a lot. Once they're full, we start purging the oldest member of the community. That, at the moment, is... Oh no, Sparky Petunia! Oh, that's gonna hurt. Yeah, we got 20 more a couple months ago, actually. We've been filling them up ever since. Sparky Petunia, Cinnamon Sprinkle Glitter. Zaxo, all seven month VIP members. And once we uh, max it out, we purge the oldest standing member and they have to redeem their, their badge. This run does rock. Really nice time, despite the naming and setting up the Tifa date. That's a minute time loss, at least. Been a good run. Been a good run. Good, good enough RNG. I haven't had a good Ghost Hand or Deadly Waste, but, you know, good enough. Uh-huh, your work buddy ant always can be counted on for a good work emote wall there. Absolutely. Watch the tap for Cloud's foot there, then option two. Otherwise, you have to exit the house, re-enter, and then option one. That can get you in trouble. You might think it's still option two. And we can get comfortable and vibe to a little parade. Which I really enjoyed in Rebirth. I really thought they did a nice job with the parade. How am I feeling today? Feeling good. Feel a little under the weather, just tired wise. Feel like I'm fatigued, but. Nice, nice sub. Welcome on back. I'm thinking about some days off, maybe next weekend for Easter. Thinking about a two or three day. Forced time off, as I haven't had any uh, real, like, multiple days off in months. About three months now. Last time I took a uh, multi-day break. We were looking at my stream analytics. In the last 90 days, I've had 10 days off. And that FFA grind took a lot out of me. A lot that you never saw, you know, staying up late after the stream, working for two or three hours. Getting up for an hour before work to put in some more practice time. Uh, that was a long grind this week, but a long and productive one that ended with a really nice first run. That I thought we all were really, really happy about. And so, you know, it was uh, well worth the effort. So I thought it was a great day today for a little little hundo fundo. A little March Madness variety hundo fundo. You know, where we enjoy naming, we enjoy dating, and just have a damn fine time. That's the definition of, of hundo fundo. Right? Last one we did was our Super Bowl hundo. That one finished in 16 hours and I want to say 15 minutes. So I think it was a great run. 
Might have been the 1621. Kind of forget. You know, it's because it's a fun though. It doesn't mean it has to be slow. It just is harder to be fast when you're, you know, dating, naming. You know, you're putting yourself behind the eight ball, but you know that that's just the fun of it. And in my opinion, some of the best streams are the fun dos, not the, not the ones where you're really pushing pedal to the metal. And so, you know, when you're in the mood for a nice, comfy Saturday, you know, it can be nice to, you know, decide to run a fundo over a, over a, a hundo. You do need rest. All this speed running on top of work. Is it good? Gotta take time to take care of yourself. Yeah. And that's the that's the whole uh, that's why I think I'm taking next weekend off. A little Easter Easter break. Well deserved break. You know the weekend after that is our charity event. The first charity event of the biannual events we do for the kiddos. is on April 6th. Shout out to John Eric Bentley, the voice actor for Barrett in Rebirth, who is going to be joining us live on stream during the event to answer your Rebirth questions and all things John Eric Bentley related. Gonna be a damn good time, so you know, it might be a nice nice weekend before that, just to force, force ourselves to take two days off to rest up for it. Parade time. Pretty low rating, though. Just snuck that in there. Gotta get 51 to get 5,000 points. Spin to win time, calling our cloud spin verification judges. Who's ready to, to make those big 69 cent per spin checks? Who thinks they're man and woman enough to do the count? Who's got it in them, huh? World record is 13 spins, you gotta get 100 points, and then spin to win to impress Rufus for our first world record attempt of the day. Do we have anyone who is willing to do the count? I'm not hearing any any takers. Subliminal. Me, 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 me. You'll try? All right, you're all hired. If your checks don't arrive, don't blame me, though. It's a problem in Congress. I'm trying to get it resolved. Something going on with the VIP arena legislation. It's, it's just so partisan these days. I can't get these bills through. I swear I send them, they just get caught up by customs and the postal service and... I keep sending them out, you guys just say you never get them, but you know, I'm a man of my word. I wouldn't lie to you. You know those 69 cent checks are there. Lies. Nope. Pete Town's a man of his word. The man of honor. I would never lie to you. Never. Never.
What tracking number? Um, uh, my dog ate it actually, and uh, uh shit, fuck. Look, you lumpish, rank scented malmsy butt, sit down and shut up. Stop being so smart. God damn it, these fucking people and their brains. Shit, they're onto me. They want tracking numbers now. Fuck. It's all it's all going downhill. They know about that. God damn it. Lovely working chocobos. They look so happy, so zen-like. They look like they have a, a sense of... A sense of... knowledge. And I just would love to tap into. What on earth is that? What on earth is that? Emote. <laughs> what is that? Four for four. Can't throw me off my game. Five for five. Six for six. The working chocobo one most used of the month by like 500. I bet, yeah. Eight for eight. Eight for eight. Looking good here. Good for world record attempts. We've had a couple lefts and rights though, and here you go. 100. Open your mind, P-Town. I'm looking. It's a funny looking emo, I can't really. Can't, now it's gone from my chat. It's just too late. It's gone. Oh, good. Flames Olsen, the, the president of the cloud counting committee, is here to do the official count. Welcome in, El Presidente Flames. Glad you made it just in time. And a very happy Cloud Spin Saturday to you and yours. What was the tail of the spin tape? Eight point eight oh nine one. That's why Flames gets paid the big bucks. Yeah, Flames gets four dollars and twenty cents instead of you heathens who make sixty nine. You know he's El Presidente. He really gets out those ext extendable binoculars for the fine count. Nine flat, nine even. Hey, Fitty Cal, how you doing? We'll lock it in, nine toe. Flames needs a raise. He already makes like six times what the other mods make. If anything, he's probably living in a mansion while I'm here living in an apartment in Glockwood, Portland. I mean, I think you have it you have it all wrong here, lady. I mean, I bet if I, if I bet I went to Norway, Flames is driving a Rolls Royce and living in a a ten bedroom with you know, with you know, with fancy, with you know, fancy you know, bathrooms and bidets and and a mansion and Try ten swimming pools, you see? I know, I... Apparently, four, 420 goes a long way in Norway. The power of the American dollar. 
Alright, you got a bedge, Flames. Thanks for stopping in, my friendo. As always, good to see you. Good to see you, Knowledge. Gold of filigreed. <laughs> Full of filigreed, everything. I like how greed fits in there. Greedy filigree. It sounds just poetic. It takes so much time to decide which of my beds I should choose. The the water bed or the California size goose down bed. Yes, I, I bet that's a hard decision to make. I, I can see. Flames first world problems. Da -na -na. While his servants fan him as he lays in bed with his gigantic leaves. A la the Egyptian pharaohs of yore. This is how I'm imagining flames. Well, he says, bring me my, f bring me my caviar. And my cigar, please. Well, Hyper and Trank. You get Choco Mog, uh, you get Steel, which is right there. And let's go ahead and force our fight for the preemptive setup. Is that right? Cali King or the basic bitches of King Bents? Alaska King? That's the ticket? I've never heard of an Alaskan King, really. I thought Cali Kings were like the shit. Uh, left? Shit. And then up, right? Yeah, I was wondering if I go down. No, up. Right. Left. Down. Up. The hitch in my giddy up. A Cali King is just a longer king for tall folk. An Alaska King is big enough for a normal peep. Got it. I see. Hi, you backward facing space alien. Nova music is really, really the best. So good. I agree. So good. Definitely one of my favorite tracks in all of FF7. One of the better battle themes in all of Final Fantasy, I think. It's our first healing wind with Aerith. I wouldn't mind a double here. That'll be another healing win with Aerith. And another Braver for Cloud. Love that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Our first limit for Tifa C, our Tennessee team name today. Tifa C, Tifa Do. Tifa Attack. AIM picks braver number six, the leader of our tournament challenge. I'll champion after day three with a 99.9 .9 pick rate, that heathen. How the hell that? How does he deserve that? I don't know. I don't know. Not sure what he did this year that was so good. Not sure what he did to deserve such good karma. Hey there, Doe Eyes. How you doing? Happy Saturday. Got the stop that hit. 
Too bad I didn't miss. Might have been close to the end if it did. Hmm? Boy, that was getting risky. That was getting risky there. Another laser which could have happened on Aerith would have been the... Would have meant she would have been dead there. I don't think it would have ruined the fight, but it would have been bad. We don't like a dead Aerith, we like a live Aerith. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna get the kill? How about one on Cloud, huh? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Whoa! Time loss for the stop that hit and all that good stuff, but a nice fight. A lot of limits in there. I know, I know. Really te tag team in there. It's really, really pummeling Aerith. Gotta pick option two, or you lose about 10, 15 seconds here. Too much trouble to tell Tifa about all the stuff that's going on. Get Ifrit. Have to do that, or you've turned your hundo into a 99 do. Thank you for hanging out for the Hundo Fundo. Hey there, Kyria. Good to see you, my friend. Always a pleasure to have you in the house. Mm-hmm. Tifa day today. I already set it up. Already good to go for it. Excited to date Tifa with AIM picks dating Tifa C. coming up. We got our red dude getting blown into the water there. Cinnamon has work until 7. Well, nice. Got the nice chill hundo to keep it company. What is my dominant hand? I am right-handed. I'm right-footed. And I'm left-eye dominant. Found that out when I became an archery coach. And competitor, that I my hand dominance is across my eye dominance. And I considered actually shooting left-handed for a while for that reason. Gave it a shot. Never felt quite as comfortable, though, left-handed. But a lot of people will actually shoot left-handed even though they're right-handed if their left eye is their dominant eye. It's all right. You love your bow. It was gifted to you when you turned 21. Nice. Is it a compound or a recurve? What uh, style of bow are we talking there? Compound Matt. Oh, Matthews are the best. Love Matthews. Uh, go ahead and buy a four slots, and let's go. Ooh. Yeah, kind of in a rock in a hard place, gill wise for Fort Condor, but we'll do the best we can there. Go ahead and trank you up. 
Uh, you get the four slots, Tifa, the motor drive, the iron bangle, the fire ring. Give you the all and the long range. You get the uh, restore and the all and the e skill and the e skill. You get Ifrit and you get Shiva and fire and lightning and Choco Mog. Go ahead and cure everyone up. Go on day three to wait and start counting world map encounters. Yeah, I, sh I was a Hoyt shooter my whole career. I shot Hoyt Ultra Techs and uh, I had uh, always the latest model every year too. But I was actually on the Bear Pro staff as a compound shooter for three years. I would get the best of the best of the bear bows every single year. Just shipped right to my door. Oops. I would get their product magazine. I would just be able to check off every single thing I wanted. And oh, was it fun to do. And then a gigantic box of bear shit would arrive in my door. For free. Like $1,500, $2,000 of bear product. And I wasn't even a compound competitor. They just, uh had me on their pro staff. Just to promote the brand, really. Well, we're gonna start killing here. And be attentive to the step route. No, I wouldn't think that's weird, Leopard. You gotta keep an eye on the, uh... Potential Bolt Plume 14% drop here. No, I've never gone bow hunting. Never really had an interest in it. Always had an interest in archery competition. I was an Olympic archery coach for about nine years and competitor for about three or four. Pretty good. Competed nationally. Best I ever did was got fourth. One, two, three, four, five. Well, I won regional a couple years. Three, four, well, four or five years. I I won state, I mean, a, more times than I can count. Not not very hard to win state, though. In Oregon. It's kind of a gimme every year. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm a pro. I can see what's going on without a character model on cloud. Well, that was six steps. Hope you guys enjoyed that glitched out cloud model there. He was invisible. I had to count that in my brain. Imagining the invisible steps. Quite the resume for only being 29, I know. Crazy how that works, huh? The math. The math almost doesn't work out, but I swear it does. Somehow. Don't think about it too hard. It just trust me that it works, alright? Whoa! A fat chocobo, guys! What is going on in this run? Glitched out cloud? Fat chocobos falling from the heavens? Holy cow. What is going on here? Bolt balloon! One, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, ten, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. Wow! What a funny section. All the craziest of the crazy shit is befalling this run. We got a glitched out cloud. We have a we have a fat chocobo, one out of sixteen sighting. We got a bull plume, fourteen percent drop. I think this is now gonna guarantee that we're gonna get the right arm, right? I think that's a guarantee at this point. Right? I think it has to be. I think it has to be. Just lock it in. I might get two somehow, even though that's impossible. We're gonna find a way here. We're gonna find a way. I'm, I'm gonna get two. Don't don't tell me it can't happen. Just I'm gonna find a way. Two, three, four, five. A lot of overwalking. But I will take it. 
Holy Ramza, 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 Hundo Hype. Hundo Hype. I did not even see how many subs that is. However, that was a lot of gift subbies that I just saw shoot through chat. Holy cow, let's see if that can pop out a right arm steel, huh? And if that can't, I don't know what will. We'll get two uh, shots on it. We'll get two... We'll, you know what, I'll even give you a third to celebrate the hundo hype. A ten piece for the hundo. Oh no. One, two, three. No such luck. But Ramza, how you doing, my good friend? Happy hundo fundo. I appreciate the 10 gift subs serenading the hundo, and thanks a lot. How you doing? And I'm glad you made it for your Saturday of hundo festivity, of March Madness style today. What do we have here? That was 10, yes, 10 gift subs, and thanks so much. If you guys got a lucky gift sub, do show some love to Ramza. The Entropic, Happy, Ganardan, Duality Sin. Everyone who got a lucky sub, enjoy your ad-free hundo. Enjoy your... Enjoy your 50 emotes. We have lovely animated emotes around here, too. Space Cowboy, Doc's the Name, Dr. Boo, Gilgamesh, J. Soul, and the Entropic. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How's your Saturday going, Ramza? I think I haven't heard how you're doing. Shall we do a beer chug to honor the 10-pack? I'm kind of in the mood. It is 2 o'clock. We are doing March Madness Tournament Challenge Hundo Fundo. Ramza, you make the rules around here. Shall we honor that with a nice two and a half hour beer chug? To serenade the 10 pack of subs. Oh, I insist. You insist? Oh, well. You don't need to tell me twice. And thanks again, Ramza. You lumpish, rank scented Malmsey, but I really appreciate you. And much love. That is a lot of gift subbies in the channel. If you insist. Well, we like to live on the wild side, Breaking. It is a fun, though, after all. If you're not having fun, you're doing a fun, though, wrong. And so, cheers. Thanks again, Ramza, for the 10 pack. And hopefully, we have a nice, uh, nice prison segment and a nice dine fight, and uh, can get comfy and vibe to the, uh, the mines grind. A funda without the fun is just dope! Yeah, yeah, exactly, that's a good point. And it's a good point. Just a dough. Well, this is a very cold beer. Cold? You guys ever find chugging cold is hard? Harder than, like, not as cold? And what a good time. We're gonna be doing the Tifa date today, and cheers! Here we go, part one. And there's your one burp of proof. Yeah, you gotta prove that you're chugging a beer, right? <clears throat> I suppose I could prove it the actual way. Here you go, all you... Mammarine rug-headed measles. Here's the flavor of the day today. You know, just for the proof, right? Hold on, Kazafir. Hold on, hold on. FF9 Remake, all but confirmed by the head of FF14? I mean, how do you determine that? All but confirmed. <clears throat> what makes you say that, Cass? 
And there's all the FF9 fans who are losing their shit right now. Look at the Discord? Can you do the Discord command for me, Kazafir, please? So I can easily access it. Thank you, thank you. Anyone else who wants to see this news about FF9, apparently? <clears throat> Yoshi P said during PAX East that the reason there are so many Final Fantasy IX references in... Final Fantasy XIV Down Trail is a secret. Let the secret be the rumored Final Fantasy IX remake. Really? I don't know. I wouldn't call that definitive proof there. All but confirmed? I don't know about all but confirmed, my friend. As we have Sid Madison to celebrate the James Madison. Or wait, no, what are we naming Kate? Uh... Kate State, that's right. For all of these states that are in the tournament. That looks like a reach to me, Grill. Yeah, I agree. And welcome on everyone to Discord. Grand Mariner Noob and Aaron Hurst. Welcome on in, guys. Better late than never. Of course, this is where we all hang out when we're not streaming. We have a lovely community. Full of... musty, rump-fed mushrooms, mostly. But, you know, there are a few good apples in there. Sounds like a reach to me. But, hey, I love your enthusiasm. Yeah, you finally found a channel you're all about, exactly. Welcome on in. You'll fit in great. <clears throat> Oh, Vince Nova for Villanova? Is Nova in the tournament this year? I don't remember seeing a Villanova in the bracket. But that would be surprising if they weren't this year. Like, they're a very good team normally. Five rounds of the Wrestler for 10 GP, and then one round of Speed Square here. And uh, then I can honor my Chug, part two here, for Ramza. Here, part two. Cheers. Oh, Sumo! I deserve that. I deserve that. It gives me time to do another chug. And this will be the second wrestler, theoretically, because you get one point from the sumo, two from the wrestler. <clears throat> so obviously we would prefer the wrestler. And so I think this was the third wrestler. I'm actually going to verify that. We have 6 GP, uh, yes, I just wanted to make sure I'm not doing less than or more than needed. Oh no, another sumo, fuck! P-Town! I'm just doing a gill manip here, I'm getting my gill perfect. So that is 7, this is 8 now. Cheers, part 3. Still not done. And then hopefully I don't fuck it up, the final. Wrestler for 10 in total. Now I blew, what would that be, 200 extra gill? You know the funny thing about that? That might save me time because I won't have to shop. Because I was aware I was over gilled in this run without a way to fix that for a Fort Condor. The irony of that is it might not actually lose me time in the end. If it got my gill nice and comfy for uh, Fort Condor, instead of having to lose 30 seconds to go to your shop, might not be the worst thing. <clears throat> and here you go, the ending of the chug. Thanks for hanging out, everybody, around here for the Hundo Fundo, and I hope you are having a lovely Saturday while you spend your time here. Cheers. There you go. Well, right after a chug, I need to get 5,000 points. Ooh, nice. Don't even try to get those ones normally. Very good, very good, very good. Hmm, I 
I'll sometimes try to go for that plane. I go for two of those. I kind of like to get all three of these. <clears throat> Not really that important, though. That kind of route speed square, you know, it's, uh... One of the things I always go for, things I don't really care about. That one is kind of extra, really. I'm quite over-pointed here. <clears throat> looking very good, looking very good. If I got the propeller, I'd probably already wrapped up the entire... Oh, I got the propeller. Well, we're gonna be very comfy here. Ah, I missed two stars. That's too bad. Those are some easy ones there. And I normally always get. <clears throat> right there. Right there. Ah, I didn't get those, but we're still looking. Very, very fine. Hey, Tetrastatic! Welcome on in, my friend, to the Hundo Fundo. How are you? Lovely to see your smiling fungar face in here, you fun guy, you. Oh, I missed a couple UFOs I normally get. Being a bad boy today. Won't really matter, but uh, missed a couple things I like to get there. Got them both. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. <clears throat> and we're just an alien spaceship away from Nirvana here. Five thousand three hundred three points for the umbrella for Aerith. And we're just icing on the cake at this point. Here, a little secret, two hundred points if you're desperate. Just spam your, your cursor there and you get another two hundred pickup. Master Braddock probably knew that. And there is our umbrella. Ella. Ella. A little time loss for the extra games I did for the wrestler, but that's alright. <clears throat> no harm, no foul. I think some water after that chug is probably a nice idea. Sudden after that chug, I'm chilled.
Well, rock and roll time. I was muted there for the menu, sorry guys. 22 steps after the fight. I was just noticing the big upset going down. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2. Well, I guess you wouldn't really call it an upset. Gonzaga versus Kansas, 4 versus 5. Kansas is getting throttled by 20 points at the moment. It's over. And so the Zags are going to beat Kansas. I think I had Kansas. I think, I think, I think. Not 100% sure, but I think I did. So that's going to hurt for me. verify another Sea of Stars run. Someone is very avidly running the demo for Sea of Stars right now and submitting runs on a fairly frequent basis. And hey, more power to him. A little late to the party though, you know? A little late to the demo party. I mean, I world recorded that myself a long time ago. Hey, Lunar, how you doing? I still hold the world record for that. Apparently they're coming for P-Town. P-Town's demo world record. Da -na -na. You're a fan of the food porn channel? No, you're, you're lying. You're a fan. You're a fan of Snow Leopard. Be honest. It has nothing to do with the food porn channel, Snow Leopard. Basically, I should just call it Snow Leopard's Den, is what I should call it. Snow Leopard's Channel. Check your home cooking. Oh, nice. Glad you found a good food channel for you. We're all about our delicious foodies. I think Sir Puffin was making some tacos al pastor yesterday. Snow Leopard regales us with their gourmet meals every night that they use to wine and dine. Well, we're needing a Manip for the laser. We're needing a Matra Magic from the bull motor in the back here before we kill him. That is not Matra Magic, sir. There we go. That is Matra Magic. Where are my mollies? There they are. Got the Matra Magic. Now we can... Braver you. <clears throat> and we will need to Molotov for the win. Nice Matra Magic double E-Skill laser fight. Is that Cross Slash? That must have been Cross Slash. Nothing really else that could have been. And uh, good to go.
I like to not eat out very often for the money, noob. That's why I do it. Eating out's expensive, especially these days with the inflation on food in America. I would assume across the entire globe that food prices are... are so high, just, you know... It's hard for, hard for me to convince myself to pay $20 for a pizza. A small pepperoni pizza. Delivered to my door. As delicious as it is, and... As enticing as it is late at night when you're tired and you just want food. Boy, I can't stand the price of ordering in food. You know, it's just it's so hard to justify it when you know how much money you're saving. If you just decided to make your own meal that night. I feel you there. But I'll tell you what, in the U.S., food prices sure are crazy high. Crazy high. I'm, I'm often about food prep, and I've kind of gotten away from it. Mo mostly because I've just been so goddamn busy, I have no choice but to, um... Kind of just, uh, be ordering food. Between working full-time, streaming full-time... Final Fantasy VIII Learning's been really, really involved for my life the last week and a half. Mm -mm -mm. And we're gonna lose half a minute here because the world record gets the right arm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Nice non-counter though, only lost 20 seconds. Duck eggs. Duck eggs are three dollars or pounds for six here, huh? I've never had a duck egg. Is a duck egg equivalent to a, a regular egg? A chicken egg? How does that work? Are they are they are are they considered more luxurious or less luxurious? They're creamier and larger than a chicken egg. Hmm. I've never, I'd never heard of a duck egg. I bet I'm somewhere in the 254 vicinity for my in-game time that we're going to be doing for Aqualung here. Got to learn another e-skill from the Harpy. That'll be our... Oh, you know what, guys? I got a problem. Shit. <clears throat> I don't know if I counted the encounter. So I'm thinking about how many encounters we've had today. I don't believe I got two encounters to Corel, but I could be wrong. I think I only got the one. I'm quite confident. And so that would mean I'm at six total today. I had three, including the Chocobo, and then two to Junon for four and five. And then I had number six, crossing from Casa del Sol to the train tracks. And so that's my story, I'm sticking to it. I'm gonna say six encounters total. Hopefully that's not incorrect. So the so the harpy will be number seven, the beach plug will hopefully be number eight if it's not a not a egg. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not forgetting Rama. Or Condor will be number nine. I have played Rebirth, yeah. 
Thanks for asking. Have I ever had an ostrich egg? I have not, no. I have not had the pleasure. You've had ostrich meat? It's quite good, really. Meat. Well, that's because I never did stream Rebirth. You ask me if I've played it. I, I, I have played it. I am up to Gold Saucer. I'm playing it offline. No, I will not, uh, I won't speedrun Rebirth. I've just been enjoying having Rebirth. You know, the main, the main problem for me is I don't have the time to be playing it. I actually haven't played Rebirth in a month, uh, week and a half now. Due to really focusing on the FFA grind. That, uh, kind of was all-consuming for the last week. But, uh, you know, I'm hoping to kind of get back to it in the next week. Hopefully. And good to go. Re-enter the desert to manipulate our Aqualung fight here. Uh, go ahead and cure up the cloud. Boom, boom, boom. He already has cross slash, so we can trank him up. Config 2 weight, 5533. I can take 37. 38 is also a harpy, so is 39. Okay. I know, too much dedication to you guys. You know, my communities, my family, I love hanging out with you every day, wouldn't have it any other way. But, sure means I don't get a whole lot of time for uh, things <laughs> things that, uh, you know, I, I want to do. And I think I am overdue for a couple days off, you know, just to get back to doing some of my own hobbies and things that I, that I enjoy. Is Gold Sun in the queue? I sure have never considered it, no. There's really nothing in the queue. Other than uh, continuing to work on FF8 and then learn 100% after that. And, um... Close down my Harpy Manette. There you go for a nice bubble beam fight. Is nine omitted? What do you mean? I played, I grounded and played nine last year. Go ahead and hyper you also. We need to be tenting everybody. You get the umbrella, the silver armlet, cloud. You get the four slots, cover, and restore, and an e-skill, and uh, rock and roll. Yeah, I did a 9-9 uh, nine, nine run grind last year to learn the run and then try to get a good time. And we got a nice middle of the board time. And I decided that was more than good enough. Oh, it better not be an egg after that long-ass force. And so that is, uh, nice, a good manip.
So six, seven, we're gonna call that encounter number eight. There's big guard, Fort Condor will be number nine. Gonna risk not getting an encounter here. Definitely could get one there without buggy skipping. Enjoying your cozy Saturday hundo maze. Welcome on in. Option two here, or you lose an entire minute and you're very mad at yourself. Excellent here. How's our gill situation? Ah, oh, look at that. I have two gill. No, eleven gill from the good. Too bad. That was that one extra wrestler game. <laughs> and the fact that I didn't get a four beach plug fight, I would have actually been perfect had I gotten a little more lucky there. sell something here. We'll sell one grenade, shall we? I'll get our Gil Gucci, 4,029. Perfect. Ah, well, you should have chosen wisely, Leopard. Sounds like you chose poorly. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, she loves them. Oh, nice. Well, good job. You won. Congratulations. It's hard to buy women clothing. Hard to buy women, especially shoes. That's a risky proposition. It really is. You're a you're a you're a bigger man than I am. You're a more you're a bolder man than I am. picky to my clothes for. All of my girlfriends have loathed 
my taste in clothing because they never can figure it out. And I hate everything they've ever bought me. Well, I think that was the ninth encounter. I don't know why I feel like I'm undercounting by one today, and if I am, I'm going to be really in trouble. That's a great way to handle it. Buy me a gift card, let me buy my own clothing. Yeah. Can't be that hard to pick out G-strings and flip-flops. Hey, now. I do love my G-string. That is true. You know, you gotta, you know, you, you want, once a Chippendales dancer, always a Chippendales dancer, you know. All about comfort. Well, when you know, you know. Clearly, Ramza knows. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna call that encounter number 10 and be rather nervous about it. I don't know why, though. I don't know why, though. <clears throat> well, that was the tenth. We're going to do a limit farm in the upper room. For Aerith to unlock seal evil here. Them a nip in there. Now we can start the limit farm. Good job, Tief Tiefacee. Our Tennessee -er today. You need to be hypered. Uh, there you are, Aerith. Nothing to steal. Excellent day. Healing win number one. Already had a limit. And that is the fourth healing wind, actually, of the, uh... I already have the ether too. You guys are very nice fight here. Very nice first fight. And so this will be the fifth healing wind. Out of the eight total that we do here. Hey, dirty one. How you doing? Great to see you, brother. When was the last train? What do you mean by train? Number six? Number six? Number six? And then hype train? I don't know, about an hour and a half ago, probably. A dono train? Eh, like an hour and a half ago, I think. Why do you ask? Number seven. Healing wind number seven. What is the dang? I'm confused. I don't, I don't get it. What, what, what prevents you from starting one? Nothing should uh, prevent you there. Number seven, and then finally number eight here. Pop it off. It's all you. Number eight. Good time for it in the Mithril Mines grind. I feel like I did nine, actually. I feel like I did nine, actually.
Town, what determines Eris' healing wind potency? Well, that's a very good question, actually. That was encounter number 11. This will be number 12, so we're going to force it right down here. Hey, thank you for the 100 biddies, dirty one. See if that encourages any hype trains. And Calcio has your answer here. Healing wind is percentage based. Percent of what, Calcio? Let's hear that big sexy FF7 brain. It heals a fixed percent of each character's health based on what? Based on what? Hey, dirty one, thanks for the second hundred biddies. Hundred biddies so nice, you did it twice. Thank you, sir. Based on total health, there you go. The final finale of the answer. Now we have a complete answer, yeah? And, oh, we counted correctly. Ugh. Oh. Ugh. Oh. Good, I hate it when I miscount. I hate it. It's the worst. And Dirty One with the trio of hundred biddies. Thank you, Dirty One. Showering our hundo fundo. In hundo biddies. Well, good. We did two encounters in the upper room, and now we can vibe to our Minds Grind half an hour segment, get comfy, and do our thing. Almost forgot. Have to hyper Trank Aerith to get her out of hyper, or she'll miss 30% of her major magics that she'll do here. Didn't see if I got the steal. This is our one, two, third encounter in the lower room. I'll have to see if we got that or not. There we go. Nice fight. Bonk. Crawler by five. Final of the four encounters. Then we'll drop down on the step route to the lower room. Well, thanks for the 300 biddies, Dirty One. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. Four ethers on the way to 10 total today. 10 or 11, something, something in that vicinity. Nice comfy number for a comfy hundo. Just enough for Aqualong. Perfect. Anytime we're down here, it's for this very specific fight. And nice, fast turn out of Aerith. First turn, excellent. And that's the bread and butter. Faster Mithril Mines grind really revolves around how many first turns you're going to get out of Aerith and how many times Cloud just can't get that Aether stolen. Right up for one in the upper. Mm-hmm. It's been doing pretty good so far.
There you go, Mr. AIM Pine. Well, that is our one encounter in the upper room, going right back down. One in the downtown room. For our final Aqualung casting before we level up Aerith, and then she can kill this group with Matra Magic. Big nice thing is then she can only expend it. Oh, I did I did it wrong. I did Matra Magic. If I get really lucky, it'll high roll the uh, Medusas, but I was thinking Aqualung, I did Matra Magic. My bad. Let's see here. They have 220 HP. Yep, and one of them almost died. Almost died, but not quite. At least we got one of their turns out of there. Hey, Colton, run goes great! How are you doing? How are you doing, my friend? Always a pleasure to see you. Just in time for kind of the start of the Mithril Mines. Kill grind here to unlock our limit levels for Aerith. Got the next few days off. Hey, good for you. I'm taking a couple off next weekend myself. I'm excited for that. I am very excited for that. There's our first encounter. A lot of, it, a lot of walking in here. I need to be attentive. Walking out to the next encounter. Did we get that? I don't think we did, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Another crawler preemptive here that we love. You know, guaranteed first turn out of Aerith. Love that. Love that. Now we're going to completely walk to the next encounter, and then we're done with all the walking. Christopher walking over. Look at those sexy chocobos. <clears throat> They're looking so good today. Steals. There we go. Uh, 
That is our fifth out of eight encounter, if I'm not mistaken. That means this one should be our sixth. And it should level up Aerith. Nice level up. Now for our seventh and crawler by five encounter. I already have eight ethers, that's really good by here. Number seven. Mines grind is such a perfect place for chocobo warding. Now we're just vibing here. Just vibing and thriving here. Nice little half an hour segment. Of course, one of the requirements for Hundo is you need to unlock every character's limit, and so we're we're kind of chipping away at the level two, three, and four limits for Aerith here. And so that is the whole stretch of eight. We're gonna tent. And get right back in it. Probably right away, the encounter. There's our one in the downtown room. Oh, wow. Nice, lucky first turn. Aerith will uh, be able to kill now, you'll see, with Matra Magic. Much, much improved. Don't like the 34 MP from Aquila. And so now one in the upper. Just the one. Ether, that's the one encounter in the upper room. We're already going right back downtown to the lower room. Our fave five formation fight, chilling out right here, ready for us. An okay turn out of Eric. You know, second turn, we'll take it. One more ether to go to. It's been a pretty good feeling, mine's grind. Pretty darn, pretty darn speedy so far. Now for two in the upper room. Crawler by five. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Uh, 
Hey, Crimson Hawk. How you doing, my friend? Good to see you for the Hundo Fundo today. Nice, finally finished Rebirth and working on Platinum. Nice. More power to you. Wow, nice. Good steal. And there's your two in the upper room, already going down the lower. Mm-hmm, yeah, welcome in. Our chat has been taken over by chocobos. It's quite lovely. I'm not really, not really minding it. Nice first turn out of Aerith. Let's go. What a nice mind scrap. Yeah, I'm not minding it so far. Not minding it so far. Three encounters in the upper room. Boy, Aerith has been getting a ton of really good turns. Very, very high rate compared to normal. Compared to average. That's a good Aether Steel. Whoa, Aerith, go easy, huh? You didn't need to crit him. Jeez. Aerith, kind of being a jerk. What did that dragon do to you? Probably muttered some Shinra propaganda under his breath or something. We take Mad Aerith, we, yeah, yeah. Well, she's only gonna be around for so long, gotta let her do what she wants to do, you know. She ain't being dated today, at least I hope not. We're going to be enjoying our Tifa date, not too long from now. About an hour from now, we will be uh, dating our lovely Tifa C. Yo, Crimson, thanks for the tier one for four months, my friendo. Thank you, thank you. And enjoy your hundo ad free. Final of the three. Very good. My clouds been above average on the steals. Just like Aerith, above average on the first turns. Oh, 12, we're done. Jeez, I've been over-stealing here. Cloud's just been doing so good, I haven't even thought about it. So, we can go ahead and get out of here now. No more stealing. That is our one in the down. Now, one in the up. How much MP do we have enough? 
to kill it with Aqualung, so it kills everything. This is the nuclear button we're, we're hitting here. Aqualung's gonna murder these guys way, way, way more than these two. out of here. I'm really interested to see how this goes, you know, time-wise. Going down, I wouldn't mind tenting, but I think today I'm going to just ether, since we have an extra. One in the down room. Molly's left over. Got one Turbo E. Got one Geisel G. Got one Bolt P. Good for us. That's a nice pickup today. Lucky Bolt Pump. There's the one in the down. Two in the up, one in the down. We're out of here. We are out of this bitch. Crawler 3 Arc Dragon, Aerith first turns, would be really nice here, so I can just insta-wipe him. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. At least we gave, got fast turns there. First of two encounters. Final crawler by five encounter now. Well, right at the end, when it would have been lovely to get a couple nice first turns out of Aerith, she got some last turns. Also makes it harder when Cloud is like identical with Aerith, you don't really know who's gonna get their turn. So like it was Aerith and I thought it was Cloud and I cycled through it and had to cycle back to her turn. It makes it tough there. But it looks like we'll save time in the Mind's Grind. So above average, not too bad. Not too bad, not too bad. So set up for a preemptive Turks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Down, up, down, up, down. Go force the fight right by the door. For the Turks. So with 11 ethers to the good to end, that's a solid ass mines grind. Save about 45 seconds overall. Not too bad, not too bad. Big ol' segment. So to save anything out of it is, uh, is nice to see. And there is Planet Protector. Heck yeah. Eleven ethers. Yeah, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Well, you guys were a lovely chocobo company for the mines run. Thank you for all your working. It inspired me to time save. I appreciate you guys. Whilst you work. Yeah. Better than whistling. I like that. 
I like working. Coming into our doo 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 time for Cosmo Canyon, Stinger Skip. A little MK after that, and then we can enjoy our Tifa special date today. L1, run right, walk left, run right, walk left. Preemptive Turks time. And cue your snappy Turks music. Since we got Planet Protector wrapped up on our lovely Arizona today, we can get the limit. I right, get the kills now for Cloud. And I switch our priority to unlocking Omnislash. Did he just say we're still victorious? I'm not so sure about that. I'm not so sure with that. I just cleaned you up with three Aqualungs. It's like a 16 seed running away from a number one seed in March Madness. Sell six of those, buy the Fury Ring and a Mystify. Oh. Uh, shopping done here. And get the heck out of Gongaga. Don't forget your death blow for Tifa here. At least initially for Tifa. Sid gets it later. When Yuffie's got the double cut and then the four time cut. And we've made it to the do 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 land. Enjoy CC. Do 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 do. Option number two: Don't lie your booty off. And go do our Turtles of Paradise collection of poster five and four.
Go ahead and wrap up our menuing right now. Put those double E skills on Cloud here. Good to go to learn Death Sentence before Key Natak. They're just discussing his name and rebirth. Definitely a surprise to me. I was always a guy to talk kind of guy. Apparently it is gee to talk. Thank big ol' Mr. Kate State and Barry Lore, or Barrett and Kate, to enjoy our observatory cutscene. Such a cool FMV. Which I've yet to see in re Rebirth. Can't wait for it. Can't wait to see it. How am I enjoying Rebirth? Well, I haven't played it in almost a week and a half now. And uh, that was because I was getting into that FF8 speedrun learning grind. But now that we've learned the run, and now we can just kind of get comfortable and try to improve at it, you know, I might be able to have some more time for Rebirth. But, uh, yep, you know, priorities and all. having so much fun, you'll probably do more playthroughs even after you platinum. I, I mean, I'd love to hear that. Am I 100%ing Rebirth? Pretty much, yeah. Pretty much I am. How about you guys? Do you feel the need to do everything in the game? If you don't complete them all, you're missing out. It's kind of how I feel, too. Oh, yeah. If you Platinum Remake, you better Platinum Rebirth. I agree with that.
Did you subscribe with Prime, Cal Show? Prime hasn't been showing up for everybody today. You're not the first, you would be the second. But I've seen other people sub with Prime. And they did show. Chance good old fashioned money? Well, thank you for your tier one sub. I don't know where I missed it. I sure missed it somewhere in there. I saw Crimson's. Didn't see yours, Cal Show, but thanks a lot. Appreciate you. Twitch be twitchy lately. Not, not really sure why. Well, we're taking Red Canyon and Tifa C to go see Ginatak. Tifa C. Tifa do. Do, 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 do. Hopefully, do a good stinger skip. Once you get through Stinger Skip, I definitely kind of get comfortable vibe. Stinger Skip isn't really stressful, but you sure would want this to be in there. If it rips, it doesn't kill the run, but you'll, you'll lose four minutes if you don't have Stinger Skip in there. They are tough fights and they're time consuming. And you can die in it. Mostly if you're, not a pre if you're not prepared for it. At the moment, you only have an enemy skill on Cloud. He has two to learn Death Sentence, and you kind of need them split up to do, you know, efficient stinger fights. They're tough fights. They're kind of a mini boss. And so we force our Heg 5 4 fight right here. As we prepare for the stinger skip. We get added effect in here. And now we get death sentence. Which has a lot of time save. Must have been a really bad one in WR. I just haven't gotten the time save lately. I keep having really bad manips out of Tifa C. Come on, Tifa. Do me a do me a solid here, will ya? Thank you. Well, that's nice. That'll be a big time save. Yeah. Good 45 second pickup there. Close to it. And here we go, stinger skip time. Wish me luck. This will really hurt if it rips. Walk up. L1 and walk down. Walk up. Walk left. Run in right. L1 running up. I like the menu buffer there. Run in right. First of the nasty stingers skipped. Now for the pixel perfect stop. And skipperino number two. Almost shot that again for the second day, but nailed it perfect. Nice. 
And there you go, GG Stinger Skip. A little sweaty palms, but other than that, good to go. Nice and quick, too. And for our victorious skip, we get a preemptive as a reward. Go us. And maybe even a nice first turn on Ginatop. Da -na -da -na. Yo, Cryptid Knight with the three months in advance of Tier 1 Subby says, You know what? I think I'm going to stay around here for a while. Ain't going to get me out of here for three months. Yeah, appreciate you, Crypto Knight. Nice first turn out of red. Or the three month advance of Tier 1. Hope you're having a lovely Hundo Fundo today. And that was a great fight. Seven second time save. Rock and roll. Get our gravity. Bonk Red's booty. And go ah woo. Hmm, well, the Tifa date is fast approaching. We better have crack a PBR when we get there. I think it'll be time to have some fun at that point. Start getting into the real fundo of the hundo. What do you guys say? Tifa date. It'll be about 4 or 4 o'clock at that point. We'll have some fun. That'll be fun to see in Rebirth. Haven't gotten there yet. Well, girls, come with me, Tifa C in Arizona. Wiser Staff, Bronze, Bangle. Hey, Subliminal, welcome on back. Heard your, your cue for MK, maybe, for trying. <clears throat> Something like that. See if trying is going to be trying my 20% patience today as an opening move. Go ahead and trank, trank, and trank. Go ahead and power source. A to beat active. And, Aerith, you get the wiser staff, the bronze, bangle, you need one of clown's e-skills. And, Cloud, you are good to go. Let's go to MK.
And 20 steps to rock and roll Mount Nebel, right at the start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, twenty. Perfect spot for that fight. Eight steps to rock and roll the bridge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more after the triple alien fight. What are these guys called? And remember, <clears throat> their cousins in Junar and Midgar are called Vagrid Police. I'm not sure what these guys are called, actually. These three dudes right here, alien looking guys. Two. Oh. A little step mistake, but that's fine. And MK menu time. Twin brain, maybe. Remove the steel. Tifa, you get the power soul, the silver armlet, and the power wrist. You get that steel, you get the death blow, you get doink. Okay, Cloud, we don't need to, to cure everyone, they're fine. Go on to wait, and we are good to go. Limit on Tifa, reset. And here we go for MK. Enjoy your seal evil strats. Very neat, very neat strats here. No try. No try in my patience today. It might be Twin Brain, yeah. Sounds familiar, sounds familiar. <laughs> well, do I need it? Yeah. tight on the weight tricking here. Oh. Hope I'm good. One more. And no problemo. And our nice time save from rerouting the limit farm we're going to do after Palmer. From before Palmer, so... Very nice. Good, good, good fight. Let's rock and roll all the way to Palmer. And then we got our Tifa date coming in soon. How exciting. How exciting. And yep, we're all good. We're gonna go in with a, a critical Tifa strat here. And I hope Palmer is a nice guy and doesn't Mako gun Tifa to death. Huh, Palmer? You want to do that today? I'd appreciate it. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you for the G fucking G's.
gonna love loading into the stream and Twitch sets it to 360p. Yeah. I always stream in 10, uh, 1080, you know, 1080 and 60 FPS. Da -na, da -na, da -na -na -na. Hey, Smile Dance, thanks for the Prime Gaming for 10 months. Great to see you for the Hundo Fundo, and thanks a lot for the sub. Hope you're having a great Saturday. How are you? kind of Comcast to behave today after being such a butt at the outset of the stream. I always worry about that for a, you know, a long run, right? The, the, the things that are outside of my control, and luckily it's been a great day. Been a great day. Just vibing and thriving. Nice! Sid was not, uh... making love to his fire extinguisher, and this is Sid Madison! Uh, we'll do that. In honor of our, our upset number 12 over 5, James Madison. Da -na 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 -na. Da hey, Chewy, how you doing? Thanks for the sub, Chewy, for 13. Lucky 13. Very nice. Appreciate you, my friend, and hope you're having a great hundo fundo. Welcome on in. No worries. Glad you're enjoying the stream still. Hi, there's my president of the Slug Jam Club. How are you, Moogie? Thank you. Thank you for your four slug pyramid. Epic pyramid there. No chairs to you, Moogie. Glad you made it, my friend. Well, we uh, we hang on to the cross uh, cross track. In lieu of the seal evil for the MK fight, now we can use paralysis from Cloud on Palmer, and not forget to regain it on the limit farm for the temple for Red Dragon. I've forgotten that lately in a couple times, so we want to want to make sure we're diligent about the farm. Palmer should always be a nice, simple Palmer fight, just a matter of is he gonna if he's gonna get a kill Tifa first turn or not. Because we're coming in, and she's gonna die to a Mako gun. She's in crit, so we'll have to Phoenix down her if he does. Hope he doesn't kill her, then we can start the fight. How about more caramel macchiato? Huh? Gotta stay nice and caffeinated today. Hey, Brown, thanks for that. Good luck. How are you doing? Glad you made it for the fun, though. Cheers to you from my macchiato to your couch.
Rufus is here for the, the tiny Bronco. Rather interesting that he needs this thing. I feel like Shinra should have had some other options at their disposal, but apparently not. And so, Palmer time. Let's go. And who is our... Oh, you bum! You bum, you! I see how this is gonna be. I see, I see. Nice, and... Oops. Well, if we get this through, we are all good here. Use limit priority to get the cross slash in there and rock and roll that large booty from Palmer. Oh. Oh. Late little bit of time. Ooh, I don't know if I'm gonna get it that's in here. No, I'm not. Oh, but he's gonna pound his booty. Tifa, don't miss. This is not under paralysis. Ooh. Well, I'm going to win the safe way here, and we'll attack. Oh, thank you for the 300 good luck biddies, Colton. I made a mistake on my weight tripping there. Got into a little bit of trouble. I could Aqualung him as well. That would actually be a nice play. Should get us out of here real quick. Da, da, na, na. Palmer does suck. Him and his that lard booty, but we got the job done. Little mistake, just accidentally defended out with uh, Tifa when I didn't mean to. But how you doing, Doctor? Great to see you. Happy Saturday. Neener, 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 neener. Palmer does suck. He deserves that truck. At least my throwing benefited the believers. Really, how so? Oh, because he uh, the the it was will he do that uh, booty booty slap? Yeah. Well, you guys are very lucky. I messed up. You wouldn't have seen that otherwise. That's very true. Palmer looks disgusting in the remake. So does Hojo, though. In the best way, right? I mean, I, I feel in the best way. But Palmer is a pretty... He's a creep. He's a real creep. Scarlet, I think, is quite gorgeous, actually. Heidegger, I think, is quite a stud. Quite steadily looking with that big old beard of his. Looks very gruff. And Scarlet looks like she's had a uh, couple boob jobs over the years. Definitely wins the award for biggest booba in Gaia, in, in Rebirth. I think we can all agree with that. Yeah, pretty wild. You can move around. We were talking about that. A cloud on the tiny Bronco. You can... Move around. You were thinking just the other day one of your favorite emotional moments in all of speedrunning is late game FF7. When Tifa is landing boss death blows on bosses one after another while still more fighting is playing. Totally, totally. And I need to get my notes up. All right, Tent, Fury, Remove Cover, Level 2. Limit Farm Time. So we're going to hope for Valrons and not Mount Nebel Wolf's here. Uh, let's do that for you. Remove Cover, Level 2. There we go. And we are ready to look for a Valron.
It's a Valron. Nice. Any chance we get him a nip? No. They were nerfed. Uh, no, you don't, must not mean Scarlet Booba. They could never do that. That was a nice miss. That would have really hurt. Although it would have given him a limit, I think. Come on, Tifa. Get the job done, girl. Uh, Freaking time. Still a nice first fight. And our number is 188 today. All right, Breath of the Earth, number one. Uh, you are the hyper. Was that a first time manip? No, fifth time manip, actually. Hang in there, one HP check. Be strong. Number three. Number four out of Arizona. Number five out of six total. One eighty eight. Can't handle that. Final number six. Well, we might as well, while we're here, give uh, Cloud his limit. Got it all in the bank, and now we're gonna uh, hopefully look for another Valron. That'd be, that'd be a great farm if we got one. Back-to-back -back Valrons. Uh, oops, scroll up a little bit. Okay, give me my text. Fury, limit level to three, ATB to active. And let's not forget to Big Gun. I like Arizona. It is a nice name. Nice. Well, very lucky us. So we got what we begged for. Pretty rare to get back to back bell rounds. Pretty rare. Let's go, girl. Thank you, Tifa C. And the big guard have been threatening. For haste, so the planet protector wears out faster. One eighty-eight, and the first of four planet protectors.
we're on active here, so we can you know, tank in the menu. We're not holding time. Planet Protector is running out here. Number two. Planet Protector, number three. Really nice to see the, the maximum amount of time save you can get here. Although the manips weren't perfect, it was a, it's been a nice farm. Should save time. I saw that. She would have died here. Fourth planet protector. And we bank the fifth to prepare for the demon's gate fight. Got the cross strike on there for... Cross slash on there, of course, for Cloud. Don't know why I'm calling it cross strike. Oh, I used it! Alright, well there, we used number five. Gotta bank another then. I already got it locked up, I guess. I should have held on to that, but that's not a big deal. That'll be about a 45 second longer farm than it could have been. By regaining it, and it will mean we uh, could give Aerith Great Gospel after picking it up. Might be, might do that to be safe. And so let's lock that in the bank. 188. And we're out of here. Very nice Valmron farm. Show me... We're going to see Pulse of Life, I think, here. Yeah. Nice. Nothing wrong with that. A little unoptimal, but that's okay. That's the way we used to do that. Didn't We didn't used to hold on to uh, the final Planet Protector until Demon's Gate. That was about a 45-second time save that we uh, added in about a year ago. Not that recently. A year and a half. And it's Tifa date time! Where's all my Tifa troopers, huh? You guys have been waiting so patiently for four and a half hours all day today. Your time to shine's arrived! Tifa date, right here! Oh no, a Joker card on Cloud! He is... not dead. God, that's like happened to me in so many hundos lately. That was scary. Worse would have been on Aerith. Bad is on Cloud, not awful. But t Aerith would have been by far the worst. You've tripled or quadrupled your steps per day for officially a year, and the results are noticeable. When I brush my teeth, there's 50 to 60% less jiggle. Oh wow, I'm so proud of you. You know, it's the little things in life. The little bit less jiggle when you brush your teeth. Uh, you know, I like, I like where your head's at there. Good for you, Snow Leopard. I'm proud of you. I'm sure Miss Snow Leopard appreciates your hard work, too.
<laughs> exactly. Good, good, good. No jokers. Oh, Matra Magic. Hi there. I see you. You're getting back to golfing like before the baby came? Well, good. Glad to hear her. life is normalizing a little bit. Well, in order to, to enjoy a Tifa date, I think it's time for a nice PBR. I deserve it. For such a nice hundo fundo today. It's been a lot of a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Hope you guys are vibing and thriving. And we set up the Tifa date at hour one in Shinra headquarters. Talked to Tifa 20 times. And what that did is that increased her affection with Cloud one time every time, and hopefully. With any luck, we're going to see Tifa come walking through that door. And not Aerith. Finally back with your Freddies. Well, settle in, CG. Glad you made it. Cheers. Here's the moment of truth. Are the Tifa troopers going to roar and, and cheer a victorious cheer? Are we going to have the Tifa date? Oh, let's go, baby. Enjoy chat. Well, cheers to that. I assume the choices are the same still. One, two, and two, depending on the date. Because these text lines, I think, are identical no matter what. What differs is the gondola. And so talk to the knight, talk to defeat the king. Look for the text box, say it, right, about her, and then the king. Now here's where it starts to get different, is the, uh, all the gondola stuff. See how much we can kind of pick, whoa, and the, the kick fro- Hold on, hold on, hold on, that is different. That, that was a death blow if I've ever seen one. Aerith punches, right? Tifa death blows the dragon, I've never noticed that. That was very fierce. Two, please.
She wasn't in crit though, he's safe, <laughs> right? No no death sentence cast prior to death low. Missed. Look, AIM picks. AIM picks is leaning in. He's the champion of our March Madness tournament so far. He's in first. Oh. Oh, AIM picks. I have no idea what Barrett does, Dan. I'd love to find out. You should look it up on YouTube and let us know. Thanks for the Feed Me Saver Off. I have a lemon head for you. It's pretty, isn't it? What? Arizona would just be able to come out and say it. AIM picks. Sometimes being old friends is hard. I mean, timing is everything. <clears throat> yeah. AIM picks. I... Oh, wow, the Tifa date. There you go. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Oh, that's right. I I knew that, and I'd forgotten Kel show. Of course, Barrett doesn't. We don't even do the play because we come in with two men, and they say you you can't do the play. Is what occurs, right? And if you get him for the date, the two of you skip it and just go for the gondola ride, and then Barrett makes sweet love to Cloud all night long. Exactly. Yeah, that's exactly how that how it's going down. whispering sweet nothings into his ear on his pillow a little pillow time the date itself is faster tornado it's not faster though because the setup for the Barrett date takes quite a long time You set it up in Cosmo Canyon, and it's a pretty lengthy. Pretty lengthy setup. No spoilers, of course, but a Rebirth's date sequence is so good. Well, that's, that's cool. Glad to hear that. Clippy's saying hi out there. Can you guys hear him? He's saying, I hope you're enjoying your Hundo Fundo chat, and thanks for hanging out. Cloud, Tifa, and Aerith. And Turtles of Paradise number three. And look at that. 30 seconds of time save. But I expected more. You know where the time save should have come more from is the uh, Planet Protector. Doing the extra lost me about 45 seconds to a minute. But nice to see it still did save about half a minute. Nice to see that. Well, let's go ahead and get the Great Gospel. And we'll give it to Aerith right now. No reason not to. <clears throat> I mean, we can wait, but it would be kind of, you know, 50-50. Six and a half dozen of another for which you want to do. Shouldn't be any faster to do it after Demon's Gate. We'd love the fast escape here. They like could Joker card us. Okay. I was a little lucky there. So 
Well, two encounters here, long fights, long escapes, too. Ouch. Holy crap. Alright. Yeah, pick up the great gospel. We turn in the mithril that we got from the old man in the cave to this guy, who's a weapons maker. In exchange, I'd say a pretty fair deal, we get the ultimate limit for Aerith. Great gospel. I'll take it. I will take it. And there we go. Go ahead and just wrap that up right now. And then it should be okay. You know, I was thinking to myself, is there any reason why we can't use Great Gospel over Planet Protector? Is there any reason for that? Why would you not use Great Gospel? I wonder if it erases Death Sentence? Or maybe it does something weird to the Fury? For the Fury Ring? Potentially? Not sure. Now, we'd never have that opportunity normally, but I accidentally did an extra Planet Protector today, so I... I today, I actually have that Thing, I could think about it. Oh, I could. I could, of course, yeah. I would have to reset the limit, because I'd have to get, yeah, we have to reset it and then regain Great Gospel. Good point, yeah. How you doing, Jabber Jack? Well, come on in. There you go. There's the Y. There's the Y. And level 4 lim ultimate limits are really hard to regain. Take a long time. Take something like four or five dive kicks just from a Valron to get one Omni Slash on Cloud. But that's the consideration. You know, it's not about Great Gospel not being great. It is, but it uh, it also I would have to re I would have to rebank it. If I set it to level four, it resets the limit as if it's fresh. I don't know about that though, Tirith. I don't know about that. But the Fury Ring, Great Gospel might not override that. Since it's not a cast status, it's an equip status. I would find that hard to believe, actually. That it erased Fury. That would be odd to me. But, I mean, I don't know. Maybe. I could be wrong. I also don't think it would kill Death Sentence. As I'm not sure you can erase Death Sentence no matter what. Once cast, it might be a permanent status. Until you die. Until you die. So I'm not sure about either of those, actually. Oh, oh no. Oh no, chat! No! No, not today! It happened, chat. Oh god, I'm, I think I'm okay, I think I'm okay. That is less enough movement that I bet I'm fine. It fixed itself faster than normal. Oh god, though, I had to waste a ton of movement. A ton of movement. And that might have killed the hundo. We're gonna find out. We're gonna find out. We're not gonna know. I have to force that, by the way. I have to force that. Here, and I obviously am behind. That has happened in past hundos. A lot of you know, that's not the first time. That has glitched out. Not the first time. The only way I've discovered to uh, back it up is... Oh, we got a trolder is to run to the top of the staircase and then reset the whole thing. So you end up way behind on the step route. 
But the reality is, I'm a good enough runner, and there's a leniency in the route. I can actually probably pull that back. I can probably pull that back. Is my honest assessment of the whole situation. So honestly, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. But that, that, is a, that is a problem. That thing can glitch out. And uh, I honestly don't quite know why it does. Uh, yeah, my, my hundo was flashing before my eyes there, too. Well, settle back on down there, chat. I know that was, that was very exciting. thinking about the upcoming section and the deal is as long as yeah as long as I don't get encounter in the ribbon screen we have one actually live on step section of the temple left that is the ribbon you gotta go outside to get it it's only a couple steps, though. It's a very tiny outside screen. If I don't get an encounter there, I think I will just say we're fine. And basically, the hundo's perfect. I'm gonna be running from behind, but... The way that the hundo route is... is kind of... is routed... is mainly for formation routing, and there are some... very big forces. In the name of setting up encounter formations, you really need for e-skills, steals... AP, that kind of thing. So if you get behind in this section, I have pulled this back a couple times. Even though I'm about a third of a screen behind on movement here. So we're gonna see here, we're gonna see if I can pull it out. But that was pretty rude, and, uh, you know... Just, I, I hope we're alright here. You get the Eden Coat, you get the Fire Ring Tifa, we're gonna go ahead and strip that, we're gonna go ahead and doink you, we're gonna go on A to B to wait. And we are going to rock and roll Red Dragon, and hope for no encounter out of that ribbon screen. Door number four, three, four, five, and six here. This is for the Princess Guard. Here's the ribbon outside screen. <clears throat> Encounter here is, is death, uh, pretty much. Okay, well, didn't get one. That's a good sign. That's a very good sign. <clears throat> and the final number six for the big red dragon. Survive it, or are we still waiting? What the step issue? The step route issue? I think we're fine, but you know, I could be wrong. But I think we're okay, if that's what you mean. A little bit left to be seen, though. <clears throat> At least I didn't get that encounter there, and that would have been very bad. The next section that's live is Gengaga, and you can get those two encounters in there anytime you want. 
The caveat will be... <clears throat> if I get a third encounter... Oh no, that's not true. There is another live screen, actually. Exiting after Red Dragon, I take it back. If we get the encounter there, I am, I am still screwed. I believe I am screwed. It could also be a pincer. And so there's a caveat here. We have to survive one more screen. It's a long one. It's a long one. Not going to feel like caviar if we get an encounter in it. It's, a, it's an arc dragon fight. A uh, dragon fight. I, don't, I think they're not called arc dragons. They might be. Yeah, I think they are. Same ones that we kill in the mines, I believe. They have a pincer formation that can murder you, too. In this hall. Hey, Solitary. We are, we are. We had a little little bit of a fun, fun moment with the uh, Luck Minus. And uh, we're kind of hoping it's going to be okay. I had to expend a bunch of movement to, to get a glitched out Luck Plus Materia. a nap? One of those where you wake up not knowing where you are. You're, you're in the hundo fundo. You're right where you deserve to be. Get comfy. You're in the right place. You sound like Cloud in the live stream. Your wife's six out of ten chicken pot pie was done when you got out of the shower. Oh, hallelujah! Make sure you pretend to enjoy it. Be a good, be a good, be a good snow leopard. Smile through the pain. You might not need to. It looks really good. Oh, well, nice. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Do, do enjoy. Sounds delish. the time loss from that, uh, you know, the luck plus glitch, which is a little, a little unfortunate, but that's okay. <clears throat> Nothing we could have really done about that. Oh, oh, why was I not holding time? Hmm. Hope I can get all three in here. Yeah, sure. And down goes El Dragon. Alright guys, here's the Demon's Gate fight that I cannot get an encounter during. I mean, not Demon's Gate fight. The hallway before Demon's Gate. The sucker's live. Let's go ahead and do the menu. Cure up. You get the ribbon. Tifa, you get the dragon armlet and the fury ring. You're gonna survive an ice cave in. I'm gonna do that just because... I don't believe steps are live on the way into this, and then the way out they are live, and we pray for no encounter. If we don't get an encounter on the way out of this screen, I will officially say we're totally fine. However, I am very suspect about if we get this or not. This is a long hallway. Uh, 
It's a long hallway. I'm in no way confident I'm gonna make it out of it, and if I don't, I don't- I, I think it kills the run. I think. I'm not 100% sure, but I sure think it does. So this is a pretty big butt clinch right here. What I think occurs is I no longer get my Death Sentence Bound Fat Fight. I believe it becomes potentially a four time, and I might be wrong, but here it is. Clutch that booty. Mm. Oh my god, we made it! 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 Can I say that again? We made it, chat! We're fine. We're fine now. Watch Demon's Gate kill me though now, right? Now that I'm totally fine, watch this fucker kill me. We made it. We made it. <clears throat> Alright, no rock drop on Aerith, huh? Big guard death sentence and pray. No! You jerk! Well, here we go, chat. Here we go. No! <laughs> da -da -da -da. Lovely, lovely, lovely. All righty. Um, oh, survived. We got it, we got it, we're good. We got it, we got it, we got it. This is a very hard backup. Death Sentence, Big Guard, and Planet Protector. GG, GG. Yeah, that was very lucky. She was untranked and still lived through the cave-in. I wasn't sure she would. Wasn't sure she would, but we, we did a very good recovery there. Extremely easy to kill your hundo here when you, you've lost Tifa. It can become very stressful, <laughs> and uh, we did this very well. I love how it makes the wall reverberate every time she smacks it with that, that, that attack. Interesting temple, though. Had a tough Demon's Gate and then had the luck minus Materia glitch out. But uh, still kept the hundo together. Good, uh, good for us, good for us. Well, very nice. That was stressful, but uh, professionally handled. Thanks for the GG's. Kind of a super stressful temple from start to finish. But, uh, you know, came out of it with a hundo still hundo. That's the important thing. Uh, no need to give great gospel to Aerith. You guys are going to be panicking about it, but no need. Already has it. So we can just chill out and vibe to uh, the temple and think about that we're one hour away from Schizo and the Earth Mallet and all of that fun stuff. Find out our fate on Mr. Big Shoes, which our prep run yesterday, we got an 11th. That would kill the hundo today. Obviously, we gotta have a... I did, I did an extra one on accident, yeah. I, uh, I did not mean to. I was a bad, bad, bad boy. But, uh, hopefully we have a little better luck than we had last night. There are only eight Earth Mallets routed in to, uh, get your 14% Earth Mallet from a Gigas. 
The enemy is called a Gigas, that guy in the emote right there that Ant just spammed. And, uh, it's about a 70% chance to get. 30% chance to not get, and the hundo dies with it. Or at least you decide to continue on as in 99 do. Hey, Mario. Good to see you, my friend. How are you? Goes great. Goes great. How are you? Wow, you've been doing your taxes literally all day. Good for you, Sub. Glad you're done. I think you deserve a uh, you deserve a beverage of choice and to chill out. And I deserve some food. That's what I deserve. You've been doing taxes for the last six hours? Yeah, but you're paid to do that. Subliminal's doing it because he must. There's a big difference there, too. Scoflon Juice Quest Hazy IPA in hand. Oh, sounds delish. Cheers to you. I need another beer. That sounds so good. Yep, taxes are so great. They're also a job description. This is true. Well, let's get some food in us, huh? I have here a naked brand 20 gram protein double berry protein smoothie. Looks delicious. I'm gonna have it. All shaken, not stirred. Good to consume. So now that we've survived the temple step route heart attack with uh, the luck minus that glitched out, our next stressful moment is only getting two encounters in Gengaga. If I get three, I'm in big trouble.
Well, we we'll get a couple chest and gun uh, Gungaga here. X potion chest. Gotta get a weapon for Kate, the white M phone. Now's the moment. Only two encounters. The uh, Gigas and the Power Wrist. <clears throat> Need to be active. Here we go. It's going to be an instant first encounter. And... Oh, I made this screen, too? <clears throat> wow. I think I've avoided an encounter. I think it's just going to occur late, is what's going to happen here. They're going to be, like, back-to-back -back later. Hey there, my good friend, Kriningus. How you doing? Really good to see you for the hundo today. How's life and everything? Reach for Titan, and uh, we should, we'll definitely get another encounter. And then the question is, am I going to get a third? We can't. We cannot get a third. Pretty sore from the gym. Hoping same for you. Yeah, doing great. Doing great. No, 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 no. Good. Okay. I think we're officially perfectly safe now. For the, uh, for the step route. Boy, that was pretty, uh, pretty tenuous, though, for, for a minute. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you survived that ordeal. I like how your wife forced you to eat it. I'm not sure why she would do that, but hey, someone had to do it. <laughs> Apparently. Waste not, huh? Uh, yes. Uh, no, no, no. I, I overshot my turn off the column. Well, Barrett and Tifa are going to uh, go enjoy the column flashback. We're going to say, you do your thing, we're going to run on. We're going to run on. Get our two steals. And get the heck out of calm. <clears throat> you know, one thing I'm not, I am not a baker, and as a single guy, I wish I was. I think nicely baked foods is something that I really lack, and I, I wish I was better at cooking. I wouldn't mind baking if I knew how. If I had some good recipes, if I had the kitchen for it, I don't have a good kitchen for it either, that's another problem. I feel like without a good kitchen, it's just really hard to be a good cook. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. You know what else I haven't done? I haven't utilized my, my slow cooker at all yet. Not at all. I have used it, but not nearly as much as I should be. Gotta, gotta find more slow cooker recipes to, uh... Oh, nice! Got the chest glitch for a two-second time save there. You don't have to go for the... Go through the animation of the chest box opening. The chest box, it's a chest. <laughs> or it's a boxer. 
get a bread machine? My mom used to bake bread. That was pretty easy for her. Yeah. Oh, shit. Well, we're not going to be able to get Kujada, I don't think. Yep. It's over here next. Yep. <laughs> I bonked the tree. It got me there. So how far behind am I? Not too bad. Not too bad, actually. Oh, Hundo Fundo's back. Okay, never left. We run run every Saturday, Jerrica. Right where it always is. How are you doing? Gotta make sure we hyper cloud. He needs a limit here. I hope you're having a great one. So we are behind here still, and we need a uh, need a limit on cloud. We're gonna chill out. Now I need to do 11 steps. I need to not get an encounter until after Genova Life. And if that is the case, we have fixed the step route because there's a force coming up. That's a big force on the next part, and we'll be perfectly back. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Not gonna do any extra at all, and we need to survive this screen, and if we do, the Hundo is perfectly back on track. I'm sure we're fine. Okay. Very nice. Go ahead and back row, Sid. You get the water ring, you get the dragon <clears throat> armlet, go ahead and give you the steel. E-nip, E-nip, E-skill, and the manip, go ahead and restore E-skill and a steel. You should have had cover over here, I will go ahead and give you fire, well it's already level 2 so that's fine. Tifa, we're going to give you the morph here, this now becomes your steel, this is your added effect and your mystify. And ATB should be on weight, and we're good to go. Okay. Did I back row Sid? I did. All right. Shell hut skip time. <clears throat> Got a 30 second skip. Also, Trank and Doink Tifa during it for time save while you wait for it. <clears throat> Your only concern there is you gotta grab that ladder before Tifa and Sid snap back into the screen. If you haven't, the ladder, the ladder closes in his soft lock scene. Can't climb down it. Wow, 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 wow. Lucky you. You must have been a real good boy. What just happened? You just enjoyed Shell Hut Skip. Well, we haven't seen Aqualung in a long, long time. It's always a doozy when you get it in a hundo. Sib will normally die. Sometimes he can live. When he lives, it's a great fight. When he dies, it's always a risky fight. And as you gotta recover. How does it work? Very complexly. Just know that it saves 30 seconds. But the main reason why it works is we're confirming on a chest on the floor below. 
with sleeping in the shell hut in tandem. And doing both of them together allows us to run around, get the enemy skill while theoretically sleeping, and to menu while the 30 second sleep is going on. So we can combine getting the E skill, getting the chest for the elixir, resting, and menuing all in the same time. And that saves about 30 seconds. And so it effectively is a paralysis dodge. We're confirming on two things together in tandem to be able to allow us to run around. And in running around, we can get some time save like the E skill, the elixir, the, the menu, you know, that kind of thing. No, 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 she's fine. I have, an, I have a phoenix down left, don't worry, I'm prepared. I wonder if that means Arizona is done for in the March Madness Tournament. Maybe this is a prediction tool. Aerith died in our run. Hmm. I named them Arizona. My champion in my March Madness Tournament is Arizona. Maybe I'm fucked. Maybe, I'm, maybe I didn't think this through. And there you go, a lovely, I was muted for that, Genova Life. Great fight, great fight. Just how you draw that up. And so, staved off the Aqualung, now we can revive Aerith with the Phoenix down. I've been trained the whole game, that's how you, that's how you revive people. Don't worry chat, I'm a professional, I know how 7 works. I have like 10 Phoenix Downs, even if they have a 25% miss rate, I got tons of them. There's no excuse here. There's, there's no excuse to not revive Aerith. We got Bonk boarding coming in hot. Schizo in the protect ring. The Earth Mallet from Big Shoes coming in too. This is probably the most important half an hour, to, well, 40, 40 minutes, 45 minutes of the entire hundo. And we are there, chat. We are there. The run into Schizo through the Gaia Cliffs. Pretty, in, pretty interesting section. A lot going on. Wouldn't call it super hard <clears throat> for a runner like myself, but it's a, a, a lot going on. Tons of fights were killing, e skills were getting, enemies were morphing, things were stealing. 
Is there anything we steal? I actually think not, no. Well, the protectorate, yeah. And of course, we have everyone's favorite segment of the hundo. Bonk boarding, where you get to ridicule P-Town as he bonks his way down the slopes in ignominy. Day, huh? I had only one little minor bonk yesterday, and then it was uh, flawless the rest of the way. Ironically, I bonked at the very start, somewhere I never bonk. Now, when I said we'll be back on the perfectly on the step route here, check it out, right? There's a big force. You should force this at the end of this screen. So I bet I'm not gonna quite make it, but we're nearly gonna make it perfectly back. Yeah, so you essentially back to the step route. Little bit behind now, and that's about it. I like to get uh, a limit on Cloud here. Although I didn't hyper him, I might go for a different. Go for a different fight. And so that is how far behind I am. Very reasonably behind. down our auto descend ladder. You just automatically climb and you can enjoy your PBR here. Very important strat before bonk boarding. PBR enjoyment. Take it from a bonk boarding pro. Only every every ladder was auto climb. It'd be such a comfier life. Right where you want this encounter, actually. <clears throat> Looking great here. Um say no no say no to the power source that I could get. Don't need. Don't want. Don't have to have it. I mean, Sean White, 1080 snowboard. Although my first name is Steven. I love a limit here. We got cover on Cloud of 40 to 60% cover. There we go. Wow, was that a one encounter crossing? That is pretty phenomenal. Oh boy, you got the faith. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck. I'll do my best for you. Hey, there we go. Nice. Oh, you've, liter you've literally allowed them to pick how many bonks? Triple bonk would be pretty unlikely, really. 
as we do Icicle in skip, about a 15 second skip here. Little Icicle in skip arena. And kind of forward it on as you go. Save about 15 seconds. Kind of clear the transparent text box before you enter the house. <clears throat> nice and easy. And bonk boarding awaits. One must take a, a firm pull off of the the Miller Lite before the bonk boarding commences, and then well, let's go. Let's go. Here we go. Bonk boarding. <clears throat> Wish me luck, chat. I only bonked once yesterday. It was accidentally in here, and I never bonked in here. Never bonk in here. Easy bonkless? Well, if you say so. You got more faith than I do. Nope. Oh, 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 Do I board in real life? I have snowboarded. My dad was a lawyer when I was growing up, and he, he was a product liability lawyer. He represented MLY snowboards, and we got free gear every year. And so, yeah, I would go snowboard up on Mount Hood. That was okay. Not great, but it's something I did for fun. With friends on the weekend from time to time. <clears throat> Arboreal atrocity time. One, two, three, four, five, six. Looking good, looking good. Getting spicy here. Getting kind of spicy here. Yeah, you shouldn't bonk in the boulders, but I sure fucking have. Oh boy, just the icicles remain. Oh no, oh no. I'm so nervous, chat. I'm so nervous. Alright, alright, one more screen. That's it. To Nirvana. Bonkless Nirvana awaits. Oh baby, just something about it. Just something about it. Bonkless snowboarding by Mr. P Town. Never thought it could happen. Live on stream, for your viewing pleasure. There you go. Congratulations, all you believers out there. That's for you. That's for all the fans. It's for all the fans. You can finally quit your day job. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I deserve that. I deserve that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. I like it. I like it. I like it. Well, we're going to get a, a victory materia for such lovely bonkless boarding. Our added cut. Well, that was pretty rockin' snowboarding. I definitely will agree with that. Oops! Well, there wasn't a limit or anything. I would have wanted that for snow, for example. <clears throat> and I got the preemptive here also yesterday, which is kind of cool. 
On PC, it's not a preemptive you're really looking, expecting to get. Hopefully we don't get an encounter. Well, good. All right. I feel like we might just split the world map in two and not get a single encounter. Still a little to be seen here, though. Wait, don't I have steps here? Seven, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Knew I knew I knew I knew I did. <clears throat> Force our fight right here. And then prepare for our side chick snow fight. Oh, didn't mean to load in. Right back in there. There we go. Oh, shoot. All too close. Okay. Bolt and the ribbon. You get the hypno crown. You get the fire ring. We're gonna give Sid the magic plus. You are going to get the added cuts and the long range. Go ahead and go on to wait, and we are good to go. One, two, three, four, five. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2. Let's see if we can get lucky and get in the preemptive. Yep, 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 yep. Very nice. That is a spicy preempt. Two runs in a row. Very nice, very nice. Well, if we get an ice crystal here, I have a little time save. It's a 14% drop. Oh, nice, got it. Okay, well, we still have to force our Bandersnatch fight. But I can simply just kill it and not worry about getting an Ice Crystal Morph, which is nice and a lot faster here. A lot faster here. It's actually a really nice time save. Oh, uh, Aqualung. Mods are asleep. Post. Work. Oh, says a moderator. 11 steps out the door. And I will walk right out this door. And a little more. <clears throat> oh, I forgot to split that. That was way late. That was a really, really good section. That little, that little, you know, Snow fight as uh, snow, the, the the mini boss for Alexander, and then the oh, they're all just quivering in fear of big shoes coming up. I think. One, two, three, four, five. Might as well turbo ether right now and ether you and heal you and you. And rock and roll. Why, hello there, JC. How are you doing? And I'm glad you made it for the Hundo Fundo. What you up to for your Saturday, huh? Nice, no encounter on the world map. Very professional. Very professional. 
Had to catch at the end of the UNC game. Nice. How's your bracket holding up? I am tied for second in our March Madness Challenge. Big shout out to our leader, AIM Pine, who got the nobility of being named after Cloud, our hero, for our March Madness run today, where we've named every character after a March Madness team name theme. Well, I didn't warm up. This is going to be really close. Okay. Yeah, I agree with that. Nothing matters until the next weekend. But it's good to get a nice early start. Good for bragging rights, right? Pine, Pine was rubbing it in all day yesterday, how he was in first. And he wanted everyone to know about it, and I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. That's your God-given right, as the leader of the tournament. You naughty, self-glorious oxhead, you. A.I.M. Pine. Safety save big shoes today? No, I would never do that. I would literally never do that. Especially on a hundo fundo. That'd be something maybe more you'd do on a super tryhard attempt. <clears throat> Get the javelin for Sid. Is that right? You bet on UNC? A little Vegas bet. Nice. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I would ever save for big shoes, to be honest. These days, I would be... I don't know why I would do that. There's our Holy Torch. Gold Split. Wow, nice fight. Yeah, still rocking and rolling, Kyria. If no one beats your measly 10 gift subbies, do you get to name the Golden Chocobo? Of course you do, and that's not measly. Those are a very, very prodigious amount of gift subs. My good friend Ramza. Don't short your don't sell yourself short. I am locked into the loading zone, huh? Yeah. But yes, our uh, for every hundo, our how deep is this run going tonight? Oh, it might go to the end. I got nothing but time tonight, Kira, and I'm here the whole day. And uh, in our, our hundos, the nobility, the honor, the privilege of uh, the naming for the Golden Chocobo goes to our top gift subber, which is currently Ramza. Ten gift very kind gift subs. And so, yes, you get six characters for the Chocobo name. And so what are you thinking? What, what is your early thought? You got about, you know, two hours, actually. Until we really need the name for the Goldie. But what's the what's your favorite so far? Nice little tribute to our FF8 runs. Shorten a little bit, but I think Griever would be a cool name. Hey, amen to Griever. Love that. That sounds super cool. Griever, G R I E V R, as a uh, as a 
Yeah, a, a homage to our FF8 learning we did over the last week and our victorious 815 run we did on Thursday. First run, got it done, and got it done with a really nice time. I was really proud of that. Really proud of that. You get the javelin and the ribbon. Go ahead and go on config to wait. R on wait and we can ether you up. Now in a 100% run you need to kill the bats on all three fights you're gonna kill here. You've got a ribbon on Cloud, ribbon on Sid, so you're not worried about silence like Tifa there. And I think they only got one turn. That's a nice, uh, nice first bat fight. I've done reels today. Yeah, I've done two, I think. Have I really done two? I know I've done one. Yeah, I did the second on Grand Horn. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Icicle number two, add a three. Well, I really tried to get a, set, a first or second turn in there. Really hard to do when you're, you know, my enemy skills are where Steel is on Tifa here. It's really hard to get down to. You can't, like, auto queue it up like you could more or like you could magic. Anything directly to the right or directly down, you can auto queue up if you want to try and get a first turn off. Anytime you got to go two inputs down, you're immediately leaking a lot of ATB, and you're normally going to allow in a couple turns. And that'll be certainly good enough. Final fight. Schizo awaits chat and the double trouble. Big Shoes Earth Mallet drop right after, which last night was an 11th try Big Shoes. that reels in there. Might as well. That is the third at Tifa. I'll have to reset it if I don't use it, so be a waste. Eleventh big shoes we did last night. I hope not today, though. What kind of galoshes was he wearing? I know, right? I know. To hopefully you brought it to the party today. Hope we brought that earth mallet to the party. Or we're gonna be crying. Da -da -da. Well, we did good work here. Let's go ahead and A to B to activate. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 
that's what an 11th Earth Mallet feels like. A ki swift kick to the nuts. I, I feel that. I feel that. You're calling a first try big shoes, huh? Well, more power to you, and that's a 14% chance. Sure would love to see it, love to see it. <laughs> well, hey, I like your optimism. Don't need to warm up on the first. Or the third climb. Force your double qual fight, and then our schizo awaits. Elemental and Shiva here. Also need to doink you. Okay, uh, config is on weight. Elemental Shiva reset her limit, uh, is reset. I think we are good to go. <clears throat> Tent, reset the limit. She's doinked. 5% steal time. First, we take out the left side head of Schizo, though, because he doesn't have the protect ring the right side head does. And I have lost 10 minutes to the steal, so you kill the left side head, do your steal for 5%, and then take out the right side head. How about two for two, Teeth? We don't care if she dies, dying's part of the deal here. Tifa will say goodbye at a very quick moment. Nice, how about one more for a perfect left side head? How about it, huh? Welcome on back, Lady V, just in time for the epic protect ring and earth mallet, nice. All right, perfect, that side head. Now, we can go ahead and start our steal in and hold down confirm as we prepare for the incoming protectorate. Number one. Number two. Da -na 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 number three. Uh, let's go ahead and high potion you. Number four. Number five. Oh, we got it! That is a very lucky protector. Sid might live here, actually. That's a very nice protectorate. Now, Tifa, just get the job done for us, girl. 
It's a 5% steal, as I've said many times here during this fight. Double whiff at a T. Come on, T for C. There we go. There we go, there we go. And that'll be the dub. Good job, girly. Not a bad schizo fight. And so our Earth Mallet awaits. It is only stolen here. This is the only place to steal. I'll kind of prepare for big shoes right away. Might as well. Phoenix down. Go ahead and trank up. Heal everyone up. You get the protect ring. You get the power wrist. We're going to strip that off of you. You're going to get strip and strip. This is your morph. Okay. Uh, yep, that looks perfect. Sid time. You're going to get elemental and titan. And that should do it. Config to active. Time to pray for Big Shoes. And him to drop his 14% Earth Mallet. Alright, first encounter is Mr. Big Shoes. Quite in the loading zone there. Well, here we go. First of our eight potential 14% chances. And you gotta have one. Gotta have one. Ooh, did that... Fuck you! Crit killed Tifa. Nice. Thank you, sir. Enjoy your death sentence hat. For your crit kill. And I uh, love you too, buddy. Off to a great start here. Yep. Also, his extremely lengthy move is a triple attack. Hey, he's really making us work for number one, if it's gonna be. Really making me work for this, holy cow. Cloud also has a 60% cover on, he didn't cover. I know, he moves so slow, and it's such a long move. But here we go. And behind door number one, do we have an Earth Mallet? No number one. I mean, that's totally to be expected, right? Two encounters, and then back to back, two and three. Very true, Mr. AIM picks. Yeah. That would have been a bad distinction. The slowest first Earth Mallet of all time. You don't want that on your record. That's a black mark. Yeah. Well, here we go for Mr. Two. Do 
I think he fills his shoes with socks on or sockless? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? Gigas number... Dos? No. Well, the next one's third. Big Socks. Oh, Big Socks. Okay. Well, here we go. The number three before we have a three-minute time loss if this one doesn't drop. As we have five, count them, five fights in a row before number four. And number five come back to back. Number three. Such is life with big shoes. Well, we'll get to enjoy our five encounters here. No harm, no fell. That's only like a 30% chance, you know, to, uh, I mean, 14 three times, you know. What, what are the chances? That's combined to 42. Maybe you're talking a 30% chance by then. You know, you're not talking super likely. Number two. 36% brown. That's, you know. Like one attempt on a deadly waste or a ghost hand. You know, it's not super, super, super likely. Counter. Maybe we have one more. This is Big Shoes number four. Alright, Mr. Big Shoes, this is our halfway point. We don't get this, we're down to a 35% chance. And Gigas number four is an Earth Mallet. Well, okay. Cloud, you get the ribbon. Tifa, you get the fire ring. You get added cut and death blow. Let's go ahead and bid morph back up there. Strip that stuff off of Sid, go on to A to B to active, and call that pretty Gucci. Call that pretty Gucci, a fourth try Earth Mallet. Not too bad at all. Not too bad at all. Now we'll see how we kind of kind of wrap up on Genova Death. I normally save a couple minutes on Genova Death. And we are now running a unique route I haven't run in a long time. Gigas 4. Get our Neo Bahamut. All right, all right, all right. Well, that was excellent. A halfway Earth Mallet. I think we can... I think we can be fairly content with that. I think we can. Once we get through Genova Death, I can kind of take stock of the run. It's kind of your... 
Always your nice six hour break, the first break I ever take for a hundo. Should get a sculpture halfway through Kirby. You gotta get the Kaiser Knuckle. Should be our sculpture by two. Nine steps afterwards. I might actually do ten. I'm quite far ahead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hey, Samwise. Thanks a lot for the good luck. Iron Knight at the end of Kirby. Walk eight steps after or before Genova. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'll do nine. Config goes on wait, and we are good to go. All right. Well, looks like we'll be a little bit in the red today for our Earth Mallet number four. It just means we're going to have to roll up the sleeves, and we have time saving the Golden Chocobo breeding segment. We're just going to have to hope for a good execution, good RNG, and to get the job done. How you doing, Lizard? Good to see you. Well, enjoying the battle theme here. Such a banger. Nice 69 on TV, too. Silence opening is the best. Love that. Shinova Death skips a turn. After casting Silence. We don't really care here, but... That uh, would have been a nice opening. And there you go. Two minutes, 45 seconds into the green. I mean, into the red. After our fourth try, Earth Mallet got the Reflect Ring. And we've officially kind of made it, <clears throat> you know, to that first break of the run. Excellent spot at the six hour mark here to kind of think about, you know, get some water, get some food, take care of the kiddos, go do what you gotta do. We have an Earth Mallet, hallelujah, more power to us. We got the Golden Chocobo breeding segment coming up on the other side of Genova Death. And the escape from Junon. World record was first try. No, first try. Go on to active. One. And don't you glitch out on me screen. Couple more things to do here. Little tiny movements you gotta do as you kinda run through the flashback. But what a great start to the Hundo Fundo. You know, naming all day today, dating Tifa, that's a good minute or more time loss. And still hanging in there close to pace. I really love that. Really love that. Hope you guys have had a great time. 
It's kind of getting to be that time of the night. You know, we got about 400 people in here. It's 5.30. What are you guys up to for your Saturday night, huh? As you lurk to the hundo, we got an earth mallet. What you eating on? What you drinking on? What are you guys doing as you... As you vibe and thrive to your hundo. Time to brew some espresso. There you go. Get a little caffeine in you. You're just vibing to the hundo, nothing else. Nice, I like your style. You're ready to see some bonk boarding. Well, yeah, that's bad news. You missed it. I already went bonkless. A little beer ski and a spicy chicken sandwich. Nice. Oh, I got a crack of beer too, actually. Talk to Sephiroth after the shoulder shrug. And after that, talk to Tifa. That is into your break. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. I have not taken a break all freaking day long. Hope you guys have had a great hundo. Got an earth mallet. And when I come back, hopefully we can get a golden chocobo named Ramza. Well, by Ramza, that we are going to name Griever. Is that I before E? I hope so. I wouldn't want to spell it wrong. Griever. G-R-I-E-V-R. We're going R. We gotta drop an E for six characters. I think it has to be. All right, all right, all right. Thanks for hanging, guys. I am P-Town. You guys fucking rock. Hope you've enjoyed your hundo. I'll be back in a little bit.
All right, I am back. You guys still there? Everyone leave. Oh, you're still here. Oh, hi. Hi, hi. How you guys doing? I always get so nervous when I take a break. Yeah. I take so few breaks. I'm always afraid everyone's gonna be like, where's P-Town? I better leave. This is very weird. Where's the voice? Thank you, thank you for the welcome back. And cheers, everybody, to our fourth Earth Mallet and the upcoming Golden Chocobo breeding. Hopefully the RNG is pretty good. Our level 4 Suicide and our Zeonut look really nice. There is time saved through this section if things go well, and, you know, time lost if things don't. So we're going to need to see some nice stuff, nice execution, nice manips for the great... The Wonderful, which I'm getting up right now. The Vlacadros. And then if I'm in the mood, the Zem Zem. Sometimes I manip the Zem. Sometimes I decide not to. Take the luck. Well, I can close down my gig... Oh, oh, I almost closed down every tab. That would have been terrible. Close down my Gigas 3 notes. We are officially running Gigas 4 tonight. I think that's right, Reservoir, yeah. We don't do a chocobo race manip on PC, Mace. You, you can get perfect chocobo racing quite often on PC. I've had perfect, I think, six times. non manip And so on PC, I like to just take the luck of the draw. And I think it's a lot more fun, too. You know, same reason why I don't do the uh, big shoes manip, you know, to guarantee a first try Earth Mallet. I think it's really boring just to make... Where you run a hundo, and every hundo, you just get the... The biggest RNG things, you just guarantee. Never been a big fan of that, actually. And, you know, the reality is, if you're going to do the manip on PC, you're going to lose time. On a run where you would have just gotten nice, perfect Chocobo racing, right? And quite a bit of time to the manip. Well, 
Well, we are on active, hopefully for a nice escape with Kate State and Barry Lore, our Baylor and... Oh, something state. Got plenty of states left in the March Madness tourney. White gold ribbon on Kate. Trank everybody up if need be. I think we do. White gold and the ribbon. Mmm, I forgot this in a recent hundo. I just wasn't doing it right. I just made a silly mistake. Not today, not today. Not a hard skip at all. Just gotta make sure you're ready for it. This is an FMV skip that skips the entire Sapphire Weapon FMV. It's like a 70, I forget, to 90 second time save. So definitely one you want to not forget. Now as we go through Junon, what are we expecting here? <clears throat> Nine steps after the Soldier's second. And pretty tight, make sure you exit... Exit without another. Okay. So here's where you're preparing for the skip arena. Buffer running down, and to run down and left, right about there. There it pops out, and you skip the whole Sapphire FMV. Love how the Turks music is playing through here. Sneakily underrated track, I think, in my opinion. So simple, but so good. Mm-hmm. Yep. Invisible Barrett to the rescue. But the way that skip works is you have an invisible character model, you're maneuvering him down in the loading zone at the bottom, and that, you know, allows him to enter that that screen, skipping the uh, skipping the FMV. Kind of a neat skip. Let's well, see where this is. It's kind of hard to see Barrett that far away. Hopefully he gets a little closer before the fight. I have no idea where this is. I haven't run Gigas 4 in a long time, I think. Well, it'll be outside, huh? Or, or right here. It's a little bit more running to go here. Oh boy, he looks intense. Wow, what an awkward spot for that many steps. I have to hope I can do them on the next screen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And did not get another fight, Gun Ducky. Good to see you. Thanks for the 17 months. On a 16 month streak at that. <clears throat> An epic streak. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate you, Gun Ducky. How's your Saturday going? Good to see you. Going great. Nice. Glad you made it for the hundo. Best part of the game coming up. What is that? The slap off?
You have an 11 hour race that starts at 7 a.m. tomorrow. <clears throat> wow, is that a race race ducky? Like an IRL marathon? Um, or something? What is that? Like you're a. Aren't you a runner? <clears throat> hey, Chrissy Peas, how you doing? Trail race, yeah, you do as many loops as you can in 11 hours, wow. Well, good luck for you. Oh, I sure, I sure uh, agree with that. I'd love to see a lot more Sapphire in uh, in the third part of the remake. I think everybody would. Who have you ran into that has said more Sapphire? Nah, fuck that. Who wants more Sapphire? Nobody. No one's ever said that. So yeah, I sure hope we'll see some Sapphire fights, some more Sapphire lore. Maybe a new super boss. That would be really cool. It's the fastest to let her get the get her cheeks uh, slap the shit out of there. Unfortunately, unfortunately, love you, T. Maybe that means bad things for Tennessee and their fate in the March Madness tourney, going down to Scarlet. Maybe Texas has taken down Tennessee. want to see more weapons generally. I would love to see that. I kind of doubt you're going to see more though. Kind of doubt it. Kind of doubt it. <clears throat> Seems kind of unlikely they would add in just brand new weapons, right? And they better have the slap fight of some kind. Of some kind. I, I agree with that too. Well, cheers to the kickoff of our epic breeding of our golden chocobo that is very rigorous, very fast. A ton that we're doing and kind of, you know, what really epitomizes 100% for FF7, which is the golden chocobo breeding. You're doing so much running around the map, stealing a ton of shit, getting a ton of e-skills. We are going to get Yuffie and name her Yukon for University of Connecticut. Yukon, I believe, the most picked uh, champion this year. Forty-five percent of brackets picked Yukon as the eventual college basketball uh, championship winner. UConn when they won the men's and the women's back in 04. I remember, I remember that. 
under Mr. Calhoun, and I forget the name of the Yukon coach. Red and Sid. <coughs> That Sue Bird. I don't remember. Remember, Utah had a really good team, though. Really good women's team. And they probably might still, for all I know. Women's powerhouses don't tend to change much. Oh, Gino Ariema, of course. Yeah, that's who it was. Good job, youthful. I couldn't have come up with that. Da, da. Da, da, da. Well, get our Vlack Manips up here and get my Edencoat Gem, Power Rocket, Kaiser Enhanced Trident, seven things. Nothing there. Enhance is number one. Gem is number two. Yoshiyuki, or Trident, number three. Rocket Punch, number four. Kaiser, number five. Edencoat, number six. And the power wrist number seven. Menu time to trank all. Okay. And a restore. This is on the weapon, actually. Uh, restore and an all. Red has, I feel like, the wrong stuff equipped. It seems to be the silver armlet, and he should have had a... Really? Nothing on? Oh, no, we do a menu here. Seraph Cone, Silver Armlet, yep, there we go, okay. There we go, I was wondering where all that shit was. And the Comet and the MP Turbo, there we go. Are we on weight? I think I'll be on weight here. And now we do the first Manip for the Carob Nut for a Vlacodrops. <clears throat> and we are in 619.44. I can take 49. That was a pretty fast manip for a carob nut, so we're here for, for a little section we hope is nice and fast. We're going to manip two carob nuts from this dinosaur of Lacadros. And we are hopefully going to get a fast level 4 suicide. Oh, nice. That is a 2 out of 23 as Comcast says, Hi, I'm here. Don't forget about me. At least they went away real fast. We'll see what our... Uh, I'm going to see if we can luck into another carob nut. Hi, bye. Oh, I'm glad they went by fast. A double level for a suicide fight would be, would be preferable to a single. You can get... These are called trick play enemies. You can get one and two. And so we got the one... I think I'm gonna flee and look for another, or another Vlacodrops, as it is definitely faster to, uh, to go for a double. Hey, Mac. Thanks for the good luck, have fun. Nice, so I'm not gonna have to manipulate another Carob Nut here. That's a nice thing. We got the Carob Nut. Very nice. Now, what is our level for a suicide fight going to be? Okay, got the double trouble. Excellent. Just what we were looking for. No first time. Level four. Oh, it is a first time! Whoa! Basically, the, the first time that guy cast it, it was. Well. Split. That. Very nice. Very nice. Wow, that was nearly a two-minute time save. Holy cow. Oh, that's a great start. There's, that's not where I look for time save. I got a couple minutes in the blue chocobo section, mainly. And so we're going to go ahead and get our chocobo lure here. 
and talk to Pops to buy four Chocobo stables. Number one. That was a big dub, I agree. Number two. Number three. And number four. Well, four Gigases, we'll have tons of gill, a lot of extra killing in there. And so let's get all of our nuts that we don't have yet. Sahara, give me three Luchil, one Pepio, three Mimet, Curiel, Roshana, Kraka. Already got a Geisel. Get our gill right. <clears throat> Need to get down to 27 to 3,000. That right there, perfect. Exactly right. And Medeal time, and hopefully that menu is a, a nice and correct one today. How are we looking, huh? Let's go ahead and tent up. Also, I'm going to customize. Let's go tents for the leather glove here. Let's go ahead and hypers. Oops, uh, customize hypers up here. Tranks, well, both of them up there. That's just going to be a nice thing for the future. We are on weight and nice. We are ready to do our manipin. For the great and the wonderful chocobo to start the golden chocobo breeding. Ah, tried to get the chocobo there. Okay, good. We're getting contained from this guy. He's a lovely little chocobo. So cute. Loves ear tickles. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're manipping this via an RNG manip for the golden chocobo. That's correct. We're going to save and hard reset two times through the section to uh, produce the golden chocobo. Tell the truth. What big shoes did we end up on? Four, number four. Not too bad today. Not too bad today, really. Hopefully we have a really good menu here. This is a nice, solid one. Alright, on... Uh, first of all, equip on red. You get the curse ring. Sid, you get the wizard bracelet. The hypno crown. Arrange, exchange. Tifa weapon goes down to Kate. Weapon, red. Weapon one. The names are fun here. Uh, this goes to red. It should be morph. Okay. Sid, you get elemental and tied in. Shouldn't have stripped that. Our two chocobo lures there. And we are good to go. Very easy, nice menu. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I would prefer one, two, or three Kyria, for sure. It's a three-minute time loss if you don't get three to go all the way to number four. And so that's never lovely. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, we're hanging in there looking good today. Looks like Cloud's really getting a great time here from Tifa.
Just consumed by ecstasy, losing his mind. Oh, Cloud. So expressive, look at that. The nurse awkwardly looking away. Yeah, right. Never unsee that. Well, we'll need the black manips again. We'll need our great manips coming up here. I bet we're at like the 625 IGT mark, somewhere right around there. Maybe 627. Tends to be about 10 minutes behind our actual split time. So we're going to get our great chocobo. You also need a wonderful chocobo to start the breeding for your green, then your blue, then your black, the ancient forest killed the hundo last time. I made a big bad mistake. Twice. Could have survived the first mistake, potentially. Couldn't survive them both. And uh, lost the run in the ancient forest. And so, it is time to manip the great tier. The, the great and the wonderful aren't that hard. The wonderful's harder than the great. They're, they're rare. They're much harder to find. But, you know, if you have a manip sheet, it's not too bad. Barret, always the odd man out. I wonder what that means about Baylor's chances in the March Madness tournament. And so are we good? Oh, yeah. Here we go. Okay, 3114, and I can take 3127. Three, four, five, six, seven. Chocobo noises are always great to hear here. Oh, nice. Well, no, no. <laughs> there. <laughs> First time kill. Didn't have to cancel. Since he got a nice first turn. And we're going to do Fort Condor number two. Alright, next up. Get Phoenix Materia. Get the Imperial Guard. Get our first huge materia. A lot of stuff here. And is it worth a tent? Nah. Nah. 
I think we're all Gucci here. Tristoner time instead of the catapult. Got some better stuff here. One, two, three, four. Easy peasy. You gotta win the win the fight though for the Imperial Guard. Laser Laser Comet out of our Red Canyon. Shout out to Grand Canyon, our number 12 upset in the in the tourney. <laughs> Bring that counter on me, buddy. I think this is Quake 2 here. Maybe Quake 1, not sure. Something like that. A nice Imperial Guard. So normally when I run Gigas 3, we would do an extra fight here. Not going to do that today. Going to go do our Manipping of the Wonderful right to the uh, save and reset outside the Chocobo Ranch for the Green Chocobo. We're walking seven steps entering North Corral. Okay, good to see that. Wonderful manip sheet up here. Go Grand Canyon. Or did you have Grand Canyon in your bracket? That's a ballsy pick if you did. Good for you. 12 over a 5. My biggest pick was Oregon Ducks 11 over 6, simply because I, I'm an alumni of U of O. I fully thought they'd lose. Yeah, much, much to my delight, I felt obligated to pick them for one win, and they did, they did. Very lucky. You did, you picked James Madison into the Elite Eight too? We named Sid after uh, Sid Madison in honor of their upset today. Good for you, Booty. You must be having a really good bracket then. That's, that's pretty, that's pretty, uh, pretty tough to call both of those. I'm impressed. I'm just impressed. Here we need to go ahead and tent. Yep. Probably get an encounter, which I'm fine with. Hey, Frozen Sage. How you doing? Welcome on in. How's your hundo fundo going? Your bracket's been a dumpster fire, yeah. Sounds like 90% of America, though, right? That's how it is most years. That's how it is most years. 36-22. I can take 36-30-30. And it is a four-menu buffer. One, two, three, four. Okay. <clears throat> I bet one reason there's so few Wonderfuls is there are a lot of them, the fight occurs before you get there, right? Uh, give me my Tantal here. Where are you, Tantal, today? Oh, they're always so far down. There we go, level four suicide. Red is going to morph. Hey, Dark Enforcer, thanks for the 10 months of tier one. I appreciate you. I appreciate you, my friend. Thanks a lot. 
There is our wonderful catch. Happened to be a gold, too. More power to us. May the 16 hour be ours? Yeah, yeah. Rocking and rolling along so far. I'm glad you appreciate the hundo, appreciate the sub, and hanging out here. Just got a fourth earth mallet, had a nice drop. Had a first time, I mean basically first time. Level four suicide. That was a that was a nice thing in this segment. Two minute time save instantly. And a save and a hard reset. Wonderful first, obviously. I don't need notes for this section. There we go. Pen our wonderful. Name them all Choco, other than our golden. That'll, that'll go to Ramza. They get the privilege of naming today as our top gift subber. And that all determines the sex of your Chocobo. Where are you? You know what order you pen them in. And feed 12 Tantal. Don't overdo it, that kills the run. Yep, yep, totally does. Kills the run. Mate the upper and the lower with the carob nut. Twenty chocobo. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Let's take him with us to the train. Really nice having the the, the green chocobo. You can see why here. We land left of the mountain for when we exit the train section after, right? So that's nice. And then we have our green chocobo to enter from the fast side, which is much faster to go to the train. Seven steps. One, two, three, four, five, six, five, six, seven, eight. Ow! Oh, damn, okay. That's fine. You, you don't have to underwalk this. Just an extra encounter for me. And we'll get a boat float, Bagnadron a boat float before the depot. That one can be overwalked if I was a little farther ahead, I think. Should not affect the step route. Or I'll be very surprised. Just one extra encounter. I bet this encounter's different, but that's irrelevant in this section. Should be a boat float, Bagnadrana boat float, and double, yeah, Bagnadrana. We do another save and hard reset for the Golden Chocobo, and that resets our formation value again, so we don't really care. Just care about the step route looking Gucci, and it is. Cheers to that. All about Sid here. Making a homemade pepperoni pizza from scratch. Just put it in the oven. Oh my goodness, you are living your best hundo fundo. Good for you, cheers. As you have just officially made 380 people in chat very jealous of your pepperoni pizza. Are you sharing? Are you making an extra large so everyone can have enough? There's no way Lady V would possibly short the community, would they? 
Uh, sure. Oh, good. I'm so glad to hear you thought us thought of us. We we appreciate that. We appreciate that. I would like double pepperoni, double grease on my slice. Time to fly on the train here. I enjoy the train. In a hundo, it's honestly a pretty whole hump section, but I always enjoy doing it. Oh, at 9.54, that's like world record time. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, we also have a steel here for the hundo, the warrior bangle. I have a Molotov left. Ah, uh, might... It will kill, it will kill. Just by about 10 HP. Just barely. Two-time magic breath. Okay, Red got silenced. Sid got silenced. Well, we're gonna be in trouble here. You know what I could do? I could Sled Fang and then I could uh, Boost Jump to save us, I think, here. That's the first Sled Fang out of Red Canyon today. And there, I can save a limit by uh, utilizing nicely our... Uh, I can save a... Uh, having... Whoa, I didn't kill, really. There we go. Okay. Got through there, the YOLO way. Mega Elixir, our only Mega Elixir that we have. It might scare you, but we get another for completing the Turtles of Paradise side quest. Laser, laser come. The Eagle Gunner is the next fight. He's got the Warrior Bengal Steel. Town, you're about to build a fire in the garden at 1.30 a.m. on a super clear night. Come on. Enjoy it. On that 4.20. A little loco weed under the night sky sounds pretty damn nice to me. More power to you. Well, this is the Warrior Bangle here. Over one out of red. And if we get this through, I will kill. Oh. Mm hmm, yeah, it could make some s'mores. It's a nice idea. Why a hard warrior bangle? Not a very hard steel, really. There it is, there it is. It's quite a bit of time save on the tank. I mean, on the train. Also didn't get Corel skip, which is a 30 second time save on uh, in Corel coming up here after the train. Are we gonna have a Sarai Sunday? I think that depends on the Hundo completing movie. If it doesn't complete, we might have Sarai Sunday. Yeah, we might. All right, back in the green by a minute 47. Wow. Look at that. That was a hell of a train. That was a heck of a train right there. And if I can complement that with a 30 second time save for Corel Skip, that'd be pretty sexy. That'd be pretty sexy.
our second huge materia. Corel skip right here. And very nice, very nice, very nice. This is Catastrophe. You can see the time save for getting Corel skip, right? Uh, 11 and 21. Tents are right here, 21 tents. I can afford a couple extra potions in case I need them there. There's our special rock ultima. Very nice. Catastrophe is Barrett's final limit break. Yep, <clears throat> that's correct. Got a big sexy brain on you. Good job. I always say it's his ultimate weapon. Not true. That's his missing score. That is his final limit break catastrophe. We give that to him at hour 15 and a half. Right in. And feed for Tantal. Woo, who, and who. <clears throat> okay. Mate the green. And the upper left. Carib nut. And we should see our blue chocobo. All right. So I got a nice little hundo right here. How are you doing? Go ahead and release our great. Chocobo. Still rock and rollin' a hundo. Ahead of pace too tonight. Looking really good. Looking really good. Go ahead and ride blue out. This is where the big time save is that I'm, I look for. I wasn't looking for it on the train, although I probably should be. But uh, where I look for it is in the blue chocobo section. There's two to three minutes of time save through here. Zemzel at first. I think I'm gonna do them a nip today. Go ahead and make sure we're all Gucci here. Tent, you have the Hypno Crown. Yep. And my Zem Zem. Where are we at? Seven. Uh, we are at uh, 650. What? Whoa, so fast. 650.08. I can take 11. Okay. Do my manip set up here. Very, kind of a little bit of interestingly complicated set up. But there's our friend, the Zem Zem. Hi, buddy. How are you doing? How are you doing? We got the Hypno Crown for a always 100% manip rate, too. For White Wind. Red, go ahead and poke him. Go ahead and poke him. Took four attempts, Gourmet. Fourth time, Earth Mountain. Now's where the time save is. The big guard and the TS bomb. Big guard first. So if we're egged, you know, that's what happened in, in world record. We got egged here. My TS bomb fight was a double joker fight, so it didn't even have a steal. So I, I basically had an offer for both fights, you know, had to, had to do a second fight both fights. And so nice, did not get, uh, did not get egged. Um, uh, nip. Red has the e-skills here, by the way. Want to make sure we see him spin. He's got the two. Sid and Kate have the one and one E skill that already had Big Guard on it. There's a minute time save from not getting egg. So 
And a nice fight here would be a minute time save too, probably. Yuffie is the next fight we do, too. This will work. It's not the best. This will definitely work. Gotta take out one of the first row to allow you to steal. Oh, wow. First try. I mean, that's a great... That is a great TS bomb. You can see I nearly saved a minute. About 45 there. So, got the time save. Got the time save. Nice. All right, Yuffie Forest here. No, we're all good. Everyone say hi, Yuffie. And we're gonna name Yuffie Khan, or Yuff Khan, or Yukon. One of the two. Hi, Yukon, and good luck, Yukon. Forty-six percent of March Madness brackets picked Yukon as the champion this year. And so, we are going 2-1-2-1-2. Two, one, two, one, two. Those are your text options for Yuffie. 2-1-2-1-2. Two, one, two, one, two. Don't fuck it up, but you gotta redo the fight. Two. One. Two. Coming up right after here. Two. And then one, and then a couple text boxes, and then two. For our Yukon. Very nice. Very quick, too. Well, there's your Yuffie split. A little time lost, but honestly, I don't know when I split that. So that might just be, you know, I split it differently from... One hundo to the next. It's kind of a haphazard fight. I don't. Sometimes I split it when I get her. Sometimes when, you know, when like I leave. It's kind of a. I don't know if that's time loss or save. Yeah, I really, really, uh, really like the name. That was my favorite naming when we were we were talking about naming for March Madness at the outset, JC, and that was my favorite. Yukon yeah, for Yuffie. And this is our always stupidly long forest for this goddamn bird. This guy's so irritating to find. <laughs> he's the only formation on this entire beach, but god, he's rare. He's not rare, I take that back. He's just really stubborn to show up, is what he is. Oh, nothing to steal. But, I mean, save time. We found him fairly fast, I guess. And so now we run back into uh, Bone Village. And we'll get a bound fat and a mall dancer by three. That better be a mall. Better be a bound fat in here, or I'm gonna have to get it later. And we force it. This could not be a bound fat, because you know we got an extra counter, but it is. Okay. And this is a uh, magic breath, I believe. Yep, to kill the ones in the back. White wind to clear the slow from the dance. If I haven't gotten Vincent, can him be V unsent for UNC? It's not a bad. That's actually a really good idea. I kind of like that. Kind of like that. Kind of like that a lot. Go ahead and get our dazers. Death sentence on the dog. That is a good one. V U N C sent. Yeah. Nothing to steal. No. There are no steps, right? Uh, yes, there are no steps. Okay. Shouldn't get a fight out of here. 
All right, Zeo nut time. Oh. You can't get too close to the high wind with your chocobo, or you, you always target the high wind, not the chocobo. And we always want to get on the chocobo first. So that was my death sentence dazer split. Now for the 5% steal of the Zeo nut. Yep, 5%. Hard one. Hard one here. Everyone needs a Goblin Punch enemy skill, and we need one Zeo Nut, and if we're really lucky, we steal two. As you gotta have two for the Hundo, one to use for the Golden Chocobo, one to win. In your inventory for the Hundo. Nice. I'm gonna go ahead and kill one of them, though. So that he can't uh, get any turns in for a nice, nice, nice fight. You can get a Zeonut drop for your second. That's what I'll maybe hope for. And so here we go for the Goblin Nut Punching. It kind of he punches at nut height. I gotta imagine it really hurts. It really hurts. Oh, a Zeonut already! What? That was such a fast Zeonut. Holy shit! Such a fast Zeonut. That was a second try steal. What the hell? Well, this is gonna be some kind of time save, I think. Heck, how can it not be? It's been a really good section. Everything's been well done in this entire Golden Chocobo section. Look at that, gold splitted. Surprised it didn't save more time. I think we just had a really good one in WR. Well, it is that time of day, guys. The Ancient Forest. The Hundo died here last time. I fucked up the Ancient Forest. And it died with it. Feed nine Tantal. It'd be a pretty shame for her to die there today. So close to Chocobo Racing too. We're literally under an hour away. Well, mate the blue in the green. Here we go for the black. With the Rushin nuts. One time we use a Rusheen. Nutter. Well, it was a sad moment. We're back, though. We're back in black. We're gonna release green and blue. I haven't done this ancient forest in a long time. This will be fun and scary. A lot of steps in here. This is a section the hundo can always be at risk of dying in. You can save outside of it, which I'll do today, in case things go south. That's a smart move. That is a smart move. As I'm looking through here, it's a Minerva Band route. Gotta get the Minerva Band. Okay. Half the routes have a Minerva Band, half of them don't. If you don't have a Minerva Band that you get in the Ancient Forest, it's an item, you steal it from Elena on your Turks fight in the Escape uh, Radon Midgar. Okay. Go ahead and tent it. Go ahead and activate it. Go ahead and save it. Oh, no. Oh, nope. <laughs> Definitely not there. Alright, here we go. Wish me luck. Ancient Forest is frightening, chat. And especially on a route you haven't run in a long time. This is a puzzle. It's timed. There are no steps after the first screen. I love that, though. The hard part of this is when there are steps introduced in timed sections. That makes it very tight, and there are some ancient forests that are a nightmare. A real nightmare. Got the super... Super Shot ST, I would assume for Vincent. Diablo and a real sack by two, second screen. Fight number one. This is fight number... I want to 
Count with me, chat. I need to know we get five encounters. Someone be my co-counter while I just make sure I do a professional. Ancient for it. Ah, uh, I just fucked up. No, I didn't. We're fine. I thought I put in the wrong one. I was thinking about too many things at one time. Uh, someone help me count here. We've had one encounter. Just count to five for me, please, so I can I can not do that and focus on the ancient forest. So here is our second encounter. Just someone count for me. Just the encounters that we got. Thank you, Eclepto. I appreciate you. Because I need to know I get five. It's very important. Or else you can't breed your golden chocobo. And sometimes you can not get one encounter. You forget how to count. Well, that's why you're the president of the Yuffie Club, not the counting club. Obviously. I delegate where your abilities are best suited. Rilf sack back attack in this screen. Sounds about right. Third screen. It's not the right formation, but this is correct. Okay. okay, we're going to get the Minerva Band here. Should be another fight during the Minerva Band. It might be ahead. Maybe it just means the screen. Yeah. yeah. During the Minerva Band screen. Okay, this is all looking correct. <clears throat> Hurry up and wait. Time to get Typhoon. Typhoon Summon. Don't get chomps. Final fight. Walk three steps after. One, two, three. God damn it. There's walking here? Are you kidding me? You know how tight this is gonna be now? Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, that's always <laughs> Three steps there is a lot of fucking steps. That's so slow, right? You can barely fit that fucker in. Oof, did though. And we got all five fights, okay, so we got five fights, so we're good. You gotta get five here to be able to breed your golden chocobo. And a nice ancient forest. Well, time loss. This must be different than the different the other route. Oh, we got the Minerva Band, and so that's going to save time later on in the run when I when I um, don't need to uh, steal it from Elena. I just, yeah, I just realized that. That's why. So that's actually not like time loss. That's just, we're going to do that earlier than later in the run today. One of those interesting hundo things where you, you know, you're trading getting the Minerva Band now for stealing it from the Turks later. That was our, uh, what was that, mime? Now for HP MP switch swap. Switch swap. Flimity flam. I don't know. Just whatever. What is it actually called? H well, neither.
And time for another save and hard reset, and I will need to get the new notes up for this new route. We transition from a route to another route here. And so continue on route B. Let's go ahead and save. And a hard reset. Enter on the chocobo. Oh, I was walking. I don't think that should matter. Flash out and in. Feed one tantal. Shouldn't matter. And we feed the zeonut after mating our black and yellow chocobo. And if this is a golden chocobo, we're going to name it Griever. Shout out to Ramza. In honor of our FF8 PB that we got this week, in such ceremonious fashion. And 8.15 after five days of uh, learning FF8, that was a really, really nice... Really nice. Really nice first run. We had our Golden Chocobo! Griever today! And shout out to Ramza, thank you so much. Is, is Griever IE? Uh, I have to imagine, right? Griever. Okay. The name of Squall's sword, right? Go ahead and release the other chocobos. Release our yellow quay. Release our black. Oh, we did such good jobs in. We did such a good job in there. Very professional gold chocobo breeding. Release our black. And ride gold out to glory and knights of the round and quadra magic and all of this wonderful stuff that we deserve for running such a lovely hundo today. It always feels great to see the golden chocobo. It always does. Quadra magic first. Feels even better to get knights of the round and we're going to use it immediately on the first ultimate weapon fight to whoop his booty to the tune of 95,000 HP out of his 100,000 pool. I don't know, Foley, you tell me. You named your chocobo Crispy Fried? Are you a chocobo hater? I don't think I take kindly to that. A crispy fried golden chocobo. That would be a lie, because chocobos only get six letters, by the way. <laughs> so you did not, definitely did not name it crispy fried. Come again. And there is our Knights of the Round. Crispy. Maybe you name it another one fried. Yeah. Alright, menu time. You get the dragon armlet, you get the spring gun clip, and the wizard bracelet. Kate, strip that. Comet, this is magic plus here. Our typhoon, our Neo Bahamut. I go Shiva, Ifrit, I go Titan, Bahamut, I go... Uh, elemental, eh, it's one of these Titan, it is, give me Rama, uh, give me Titan and Elemental, and then our Knights Around, MP Turbo, okay, uh, Red, your stats are not good enough, bump that shit up, give me your Shiva for a, yeah, Kujata, is that gonna do it, no, oh, it's still 95, what? Uh, really? Phoenix? That's 96. That's good enough, honestly. Go ahead and tent up. Go ahead and config up to wait. And we are... What is his HP? 340? Let's save it. Well, we're good. We're good. Let's go and enjoy your first viewing of Knights of the Round. 
196 will suffice. It'll suffice. Yeah, we tank him down on purpose here to boost up the Knights of the Round. You guys are up to count damage, feel free. Good job, Red, for not dying. Appreciate that. Can you deal enough damage to kill ultimate weapon here? No, you cannot. Well, you could, but it wouldn't kill him. You're required to fight him three times. But yeah, you could. You could do enough here. Sure. But even if you did, you'd still be have you'd have to fight him one more time each. I mean, two more times. And a 15 HP Red Canyon and a Dream. Kind of like their March Madness Tournament life. You must mean 95,000, right? Really, 92? That's really, really, really low. Are you sure? Are you sure, huh? It's definitely not 85. You missed one. So 92, huh? Okay. Oh, that's fine. It's good to know where you're at there. We'll need an extra double cut for Yuffie's, all that means. And, uh, nice, 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 and nice. Should be fine. Maybe you need another double cut from Yuffie, we'll see. 420, 420. 69,000, 69, 6.9. 69, 6 Got it. Okay. Well, we have made it to the live stream land of dad jokes. If you guys have any dad jokes to regale us with during our... Very exciting live stream. Now is your time to shine. Bring on the dad jokes. I know a subliminal's got one for us. Lay it on me, brother. And thanks everybody for hanging out for the hundo today. I appreciate you. Chocobo Racing is coming in in half an hour. Half an hour. Chocobo Racing commences. More power to us. I am going to eat a banana. The roundest night at King Arthur's table was Sir Comfrance. He ate too much pie. Oh, nice. P.I. Pie. If you make me laugh, I'll gift a sub. That's the rule in the live stream. You gotta make me laugh, though. And if you do, I will gift a sub every time. Come, 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 come. Well, I enjoy my banana and PBR. My uncle asked to be buried with his record collection. It was his vinyl request. Oh. That was really good, actually. Wow, you got me on... Wow, you got me on the first one, you heathen, you. How dare you do that? That's not fair. We're just warming up, and I'm already gifting subs. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. 
Mr. He Laughter, enjoy your gift sub from P Town. Why do chicken coops have two doors? I don't know. Tell me. I'm waiting for the, the, the punchline. Is it just not coming, Booty? What? I, I'm, I'm here waiting anxiously with anticipation. Am I, am I just being jebated? Alright, moving on. Forget that one. On to the next. If I had to rate our solar system, I'd give it one star. Hmm. That's a nice dad joke. That's a nice dad joke. I was sitting there hanging and never never got the punchline. With your left hanging, automatic timeout. I think that's a nice rule. I love it. Make it happen. Lock that in. I found a wooden shoe in my toilet earlier. It was clogged. Oh. Very well-deserved timeout, Booty Shorts. How dare you tease a dad joke and not... not come through with the punchline. You, you can't just leave us with blue balls for our dad joke section. That's very, very rude. Enjoy your time in the void stoically. You know you deserve that. What does every Moogle need to get his morning started? A Koopo coffee? Hmm. I've heard that one before. Yeah, the chicken one. The chicken coop. And the punchline is, if they had four doors, it would be a chicken sedan. Yeah. That is not the first time we've heard that dad joke. And I like that one, though, Kleptomania. Very good, very good. A Koopo Coffee. I've heard that one, too. What has more lives than a cat? A frog. Because it croaks every night. Oh. Oh. Oh, Booty got an ad. <laughs> <laughs> All capitals, I got an ad. <laughs> well, booty, hey, you know, enjoy your time in the void. It's only ten minutes. I suppose, whose fault really is that, booty? L let me ask you honestly, whose fault is that, really? Uh, go ahead and revoke it, sure. I don't really care, but... <laughs> Your sub ran out today. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, welcome back, booty. Well, you, you learned your lesson the hard way, didn't you? Yo, dirty one, thanks for the hundred biddies, brother. My dad quit his job to pursue archaeology. His career is now in ruins. Oh no, I'm so sorry to hear that, Kyria. I hope your dad finds a better career. Why did the snake hate gambling? It always lost its eyes! Oh. The poor snake. Snake eyes, huh? Your blues, 
your fiance told you she wanted to replace our carpeting with wood. I was floored. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That was a bad joke. That was a very bad joke. Cheers to that. How did Cloud cure his Mako poisoning? He had a lot of Cephy broth. Boo this chatter. Boo. You deserve that Cephy broth. Oh, ouch. Oh, that one hurts that so bad. Sefi Broth. I know, I wanted dad jokes, I'm getting them. I laid my bed, made my bed, now I'm laying in it. This is my own fault. Oh, thank you, Booty. Someone literally answered your own joke for you. That's how late to the party you are. You're really doing great tonight. Did the biologist wear to impress his date? Designer jeans. Huh. Well, let me tell you all about our special hundo here, Greg. I'm running it. What more do you need to know? Beyond that, however, it is a March Madness Tournament Special where we have done the Tifa date. We have named every character after March Madness teams in the tournament. And... I suppose that's it. There you go. It's the end of the special. <laughs> That makes it special. March Madness Tournament Special. Hey there, Day Day. Good to see you, my friend. The hundo goes really well. Got a fourth try Earth Mallet. And we are half an hour away from Chocobo Racing, the uh, big half an hour segment. That is just around the corner after we take on Carry Armor. And so, and so the Chocobo Racing segment will have a lot to say about our run tonight. If it goes really bad, it'll probably kill it. If it goes really good, it'll probably vibe and thrive. Chocobo Racing, always a, uh, always a fun part of a hundo. Need a pounder counter? Four. And here goes number five. Pounded and counted. I think I think I deserve a sixth, you know? I got Chocobo Racing coming up. You must have a beer cracked for Chocobo Racing, or, or some kind of beverage of choice, or, or frankly, you're just not doing it the right way. When one when one, you know, enjoys racing of uh, of birds, you uh, you need to do it, you know, in a festive style. Hopefully with alcohol in in hand. And I usually leave Tifa in to ride so that she can potentially ride on Ramza. 
And the Chocobo races, and yes, it loses me time. However, yes, I still do it because fucking A, Ramza deserves it for their 10 gift subs. And naming the Golden Chocobo, goddammit. Right, Ramza? You fucking deserve that. Tifa is gonna ride on our Golden Chocobo named Griever today. In honor of our, uh, in honor of our finished eight run on Thursday, our first ever. How big is the variation between good and bad? Well, typically the answer on PC is very, very minimal. Maybe ten minutes each way, and ten is probably overshooting it, maze. When you think about Chocobo Racing in a hundo, it's much different between console and PC. Console, I have seen runners lose six hours on Chocobo Racing. I remember in one charity hundo, iBlink lost six hours because it was a charity event and they were forced to finish. That is not really possible on PC. I mean, theoretically, yes, it is possible that you could take uh, Infinity, right? <clears throat> to get your Chocobo Racing done. But in all of my hundreds of hundreds of hundos, I think the worst I've ever had on PC, because remember, PC is different than console. That's why we don't do the Manip on, P on, on PC. I've gotten perfect Chocobo Racing six times, meaning... Doing the manip just means you're losing time. If you would have gotten perfect. I, you know, on PC, the biggest swing one way or the other is about 10 to 15 minutes. And anything outside of that would be like, you're, you're really, really getting into fringe. You know, very bad luck at that point. But, you know, the reality is, mathematically, you could argue, it could you could lose exactly as much time on PC as console, right? But the reality is that's not that's not the case. Yeah, uh, we're, we're not going to see that. On console, your your rare prizes you need, your enemy away and your sneak attack only appear in the third slot of prizes for the races. That's a 20% slot. On PC, they appear in the first, second and third. Those are 50%, 33 and 20, and they go anywhere they want. So we have much higher chances of getting, you know, a uh, a uh, nice enemy way or sneak attack. Where do mansplainers get their water? Are, are you are you doing this joke because I'm mansplaining chocobo racing? Fuck you! I'm not even answering the punchline. Just fuck you. <laughs> Oh, fuck you two. <laughs> Where do mansplainers get their water? From a... Well, actually. That's a very good one. That's a good one. I agree. Yeah. No, that was a nice dad joke. That was a good dad joke. It wasn't really funny, but it was good. It was good. Oh, look at that, Froggy. Don't insult your benevolent gambling overlord. Or no more gambles for you, sir. You better watch. You're gonna be... You're gonna be very unhappy with your life choices tonight. Six step IDs coming up. Hey, hey, airborne. 
How is my finally flighted friend on this night? Glad you made it for the hundo, almost into carry armor, and then Chocobo racing Mr. Airborne. How go how goes your your Hundo Fundo night? Cursing the weather, how bad is it? Are you in the middle of a blizzard, or is it just getting in the way of your, your flight instruction? Hey, Loki. Back after a Spurs loss to see some nice time gain. Yeah, did good work through the Golden Chocobo. Probably Froggy. Yeah, he tends to do that. He's a jerk like that. Airborne just flaunts all of his crazy badges in your face. Look, he's a VIP. He's a founder. He's got a TwitchCon shit or whatever that is. He's got a dinosaur. Like, he thinks he's so cool for school, you know? And this is Red and Sid. Let's go. Okay. Go ahead and put the Chocobo in the high wind. Put the lime and the coconut. And go do carry armor. Okay, first of all, we need Griever, our golden chocobo, to come with. Right about there, leave that high wind over there for our Gelnica. We're gonna do after the, uh... The carry armor section, and now a big uh, page-long menu. This is where the page-long menus commence. Okay. You get the bronze bangles, strip that shit, go ahead and remove everything. Arrange. Okay, uh, ATB to wait. Is on wait. Reset, uh, no, go ahead and bring in red for Tifa. Reset Tifa's limits. Huh. Uh, Cloud, you actually, Tifa, you get the Curse Ring, Cloud, you get the Apocalypse, and the Ribbon. Sid, we're gonna give you the Nada Cloud Time. Okay, this is Steel, the Good Steel, the Knights of the Round, the Transform, yep. Also, Cover, and Restore. And then one E-Skill. Sid, all and all. You also get the Magic Plus, and a Steel, and an E-Skill, and a Manip. Okay... I don't love that there, actually. I want that E-Skill back there. And a Manip. Okay, and then Tifa time. You get the Slash all. You get a steel. You get the two e skill. Okay, they were the same either way, so it's fine. You want to be careful not to like mix up your e skills. It can be very bad. Added effect and mystify, and then the long range here. Go ahead and try tent all and trank all, and we should be on wait. Okay. Time for carry armor. And we 
gotta do some steps right out of the get-go. You should be scared of carry armor. He absolutely can kill you in a hundo and has killed me one time. You want to guess the chances, chat, that carry armor kills you, though, in a 100% run? What do you think it is if you don't know? He absolutely can. Five percent? It's actually lower than five percent. Twenty-five percent? Much lower. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It is a point three percent chance that he kills you opening turn. It has to be Lapis, Lapis, Arm Grad Cloud, you're dead. That's it. Only scenario. And it happens 0.3% of the time, and yes, it has happened to me one time. He's killed me one time. Only one. So we're looking for a Shinra Beta through here, too. That was an S mine. Uh, they, they've happened, though. They sure have happened. Look at all my hundo shit today. No Shinra beta. Lost ten minutes one time, we're not getting it. Here's our death machine. <clears throat> Very nice, right where it should be. And the animation of getting grabbed is hilarious, yeah. It is. Because then they're getting hit when you, you know, when you attack, you're hurting your own player. It's so funny. I wish the character model was, was there when you're doing Knights of the Round, too. But they're not. I find that unfortunate. I find that unfortunate. Very nice guard system right here on the screen before the underwater tubes. Think you're looking perfect for Gigas 4 here from all from what I can tell. Looking perfect. This is a fun section, a lot of routing to do here. A lot of e-skills we're getting, the loco weed potentially if it drops luckily. Getting our light curtain here for the morph. Getting our double guidebooks too. There's our diver's nest. Ooh, we might want to heal now. All right, you're gonna binge all of the remake part three at once. Wow, more power to you. Level four suicide and slash all here. I am not that patient, and I am just impressed you are. I'm impressed you are. I wish I was. Keep an eye out for the loco weed here. No loco weed. Okay. No, it'll always be spoiler-free here. 
I respect people's, uh, people's, you know, wanting. There are no, uh, no spoilers. Good to see you, though, Nerd Dad. How's your hundo Saturday going? Glad you made it. What's she up to tonight? There is our morph, and go ahead and take him out. Could have two more shots at a 14% local lead here. Hmm, didn't get it. That's too bad. That's too bad. You really would love to get that there. Four shots at the loco weed. I lost 15 minutes and two hundos did not getting it before. Back to back ghost ship fights here. All about Tifa morphin. Mighty morphin Tifa. Yo, Kevin Cabrillero. Cabarello, how you doing, my friend? Good to see you. That was the first ghost ship, right? Now we have another one. Let's go ahead and heal up, too. Happy Saturday, Kev. Hope you're doing well. Just coming into Chocobo Racing, too, in about 10 minutes. Nice timing, nice timing. like no steps after the elevator. Whoa! Should be a heart attacker by two. I just wasn't ready for it that fast. Yeah, it is. Okay. Uh, it is intended. I'm just, you know, wasn't... I mean, I'm learning. I haven't done Gigas 4 in a long time. Maybe over a year. So we're kind of learning where the fights are here. You know, remember, for a hundo, after you get your Earth Mallet, there are eight distinct and unique routes. Should be another fight in here. Yep, Guardian Force before... Force before carry armor? What? Oh, what? Why is that the case? That is also the wrong fight. Interesting. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Let's see. I haven't done anything wrong here. I don't know why that would be an issue. Interesting, that's indicating I'm potentially quite behind, actually, <clears throat> which is surprising to me. Maybe the steps I did, it does say they may not be necessary. Put me way behind. Ah, okay, it's making me a little nervous now, actually. So that fight, apparently I was supposed to force. Ooh, damn it. Well, we'll take one out. To eliminate a turn. These guys all get three turns. Always a little, a little long. Thanks for the good luck, Nico. Good to see you. Happy Saturday. Two grenades, and now for that fight, I was supposed to force at the end of this whole section. What on earth? Why did that occur so quickly? Just have to be behind by a lot. That's a scary a lot, though. It's a scary a lot. Is the answer. Uh, if I get another encounter in here, that's not good. That will kill the step route and not be a good thing. You never want to hear a hundo runner say I've killed the step route. I haven't killed it, but I'm nervous about how behind I am here. If I get an encounter, I am going to die. 
I mean, the step route will die. Ooh, ether by two there. Give you the protect ring. And... Okay, we didn't get an encounter. That's good. That's that was, that was required. So that's good, at least. Okay. What I don't understand is why the second encounter was um, the wrong formation. Maybe because I forced it in that screen and not later, but I doubt it. It should be the same formations in there, I think. So that's a little strange, but, uh, you know, more to be revealed later here. The step route for a hundo continues to the ten and a half hour mark. Ten hour mark, basically. Somewhere right in there. And so one last look. Let's go. Carry armor is not a hard fight. It is simply a fight you can die on 0.3% of the time. It's simply Knights of the Round and Prey. The way you die is Lapis Lapis, Arm Grab Cloud, or any variation of that. If it occurs, you die, and I've died before to it. And I've had the point three. Well. It's not an arm grab, is it? Good. Okay. That was about to be a bad start. Hey, Silviano, thanks a lot for the good luck. Thanks for the prime for two months. Hope you're having a good hundo fundo. Right, get wrecked, Carrie. Boom! Man, that that double axe. Holy shit, that looks vicious. Absolutely vicious. Can you imagine getting hit with a double bladed axe? Holy shit. Oh my god. Right to the dome. That's gotta hurt. He definitely felt that one. No, no, Greg, it's gonna hurt more. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. How dare you correct me like that? How dare you say that? Okay, I was thinking to type the same thing myself when I said it. You guys need to shut the fuck up. You're not that clever. I'm just... <laughs> I'm just dumb, alright? <laughs> and the ribbon on Cloud. Sid, you get the scimitar. Wait! Oh, we haven't gotten the scimitar yet. That is later on. And then the ribbon on Sid. Is that my scimitar? There it is. And go ahead and do my due diligence. The scimitar <laughs> and the ribbon here. Uh, Tifa, how's your limit? Looking perfectly fine. And I can elixir on you in case I need it. Da -na 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 -na. Have we gotten a Shinra beta yet, chat? I don't know if we have. I don't think we have. No Shinra beta! No. Uh oh. Uh, guys, we kind of need a Shinra beta. That's a requirement here. Just saying. Nope. I have not gotten the Shinra beta. S mime! We only got one more fight to go, chat. I have lost 10 minutes to save you. Yeah, what you have to do here, by the way. If this does not fall, we're in trouble. I've lost 10 minutes. You are required here to save. Hard reset, and then kill and add infinitum amount. 
of parade friendo fights until you have officially uh, gotten the job done. And this is gonna be really painful if this occurs here. We want to see this be a beta. Or I'm about to lose a lot of time. This is our final shot before I'm just... Everything's time loss after this. Ah, oh, alright, good. Well, that was very needed. Good, 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 alright. Attack! And take him prisoner. Okay. And that's a 90% chance to have that, but uh, that was getting pretty risky there. There's, there's 16 of those guys you kill. They all have a 12 to 13% chance to drop it, and it ends up being about a 90% chance. So to not get it there is incredibly unlikely, but, you know, it's happened, obviously. 10%. You're not the only one to say today you can't use your Prime sub. I've had a bunch of primes today. It's not like you can't. But you're not the only one. You're the third person to say you can't use your prime sub on the iPad. On the iPhone or some kind of Apple product. You are not alone. Is that the case, Subliminal? Did they eliminate the ability to use your prime sub on an Apple iPhone? Is that why people are having problems? I mean, I don't really know. I haven't heard any why for what the case might be. And Gelnica time. <clears throat> now, what are we doing in the Gelnica? Turks first. And we force one after the Turks. That's really good, because I'm nervous about being behind. Okay, excellent. It's never been an option? Oh, interesting. Enjoy your underwater moment of zen here. I love to enjoy the, the underwater track. Such a chill track. You have officially survived half of your hundo at this point. You know, if you're on 16 hour pace, which we are. Kinda crested the mountain, now you're coming down the other side. Nice chill music to vibe to. Gelnick, I forgot. God damn it. I forget this every single run. <laughs> I forget it every single run. That's funny. We're going over here, chat. Gelnick a time. I'm working with double note sets here, too, so I'm going to be juggling them through this section because there's the step route and there's my own menu route, which are different. Hopefully, Emerald's not a butt here. No emerald. Get the Heaven's Cloud. Do our shop here. It's a weapon, obviously, for Cloud. Crazy. Okay. Tifa time. Added cut. And death low. A range. Added effect. Mystify Sid time. Long, uh, why is your weapon incorrect, Sid? Go ahead and give you a steal here, then. Okay, cloud time. Sh wait. A scimitar. That should be correct. Okay. 
Uh, Cloud, you get steel, nice to the round, and this is a magic plus. Yep, right there. Okay, Sid. You get the ribbon. You guys do have the ribbon, so we should be good to go here. Okay, and now I need to go back to the other note set. And Turks first. Okay, for our tough ring and our Zedrid steel. And this is where I will perfectly get back on the step route, but I'm very nervous about my formation route here. So let's go ahead and big guard. Death blow. And start with this tough ring from Reno and the uh, Zedrid from Rudner. Not very hard steel, it's not very hard. There you go, girl. Keep it coming, keep it coming. Okay, got the tough ring, so we can prioritize taking out Reno here. Those guys are pretty tough, yeah. Enjoy your Tifa death blows. Tifa C. Demolishing the Turks here. Well, we gotta steal it before we kill. I gotta, I gotta hold off on the death blows now. Oh, I just death blowed! That's okay, I can steal the Zedrus later, by the way. If that kills, I did not mean to do that, I bet it killed. I will be stealing it. Nope. Still good. Okay. That made me nervous, though. But you can steal it from the, any Turk fight. So it actually wouldn't be a big deal. We have another- there we go. We have another Turk fight later. On the escape from the return to Midgard. The raid on Midgard. There we go. Now, bad raps by four. I'm very intrigued as to what this fight formation is going to be here. <clears throat> what is it going to be? Is this a bad raps by four? It needs to be. It has to be, or I'm in trouble. But I'm a little suspicious. It is... A bad raps by four. Good. Okay. Nice. Well, good. So that formation that was off before was just maybe listed wrong in the notes? Because, that I mean, that could be random if that was correct, but... Okay. Um... Now we do this. It says movement is very tight. So don't fuck up in here. Escort guard. Conformer. Oh, we got an encounter! That's not good. That is incorrect. So the step route was wrong back there. Uh-oh. Well, that's gonna hurt here. That is going to hurt here. This is what happens when you haven't run a Gigas route in for, you know, about a year. Something went a little off. Uh, am I dead? Oh my goodness. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, <laughs> jeez. Okay, just got out of there alive, and we have a tent. Let's go ahead and use it. Oof, that was horrifying. That was nearly the end of our hundo, right before our eyes. And uh, got back, and the end of the Gelnica done. Tough section there. Okay. Pick up our chocobo. Go to our shopping and chocobo racing time. Hell fucking yeah, baby. Hell fucking yeah. Gotta get a diamond bangle, some two time uh, armor, AP armor, the rune armlet by four. So we'll buy, yeah, by four so everyone can have one who needs one. Go over to Chocobo Sage real quick like. He's got our nuts that we need. Assuming our transform has been mastered, which it sure should have been. 
Where are you? Transform. Mastered transform. And 46 Silkus Greens there. Chocobo racing time, baby. Let's go feed our Silkus steroids. You know, they're the, they're the creme de la creme of the steroids. They're the best. And Griever, the name of our golden Chocobo, named by Ramza today, only deserves the best. Only deserves the best. Yo, Krim, how you doing, brother? Our president of Chocobo Racing is here! I was getting nervous, good to see you. How's your Saturday going, Crimson? Great to see you, my friend. Griever, the name of the sword from Squall and FF8 to honor our first ever eight run on Thursday. Is going to be very speedy now. Going well. You've been here most of the day. Nice, man. Well, cheers. Good to see you. Woo, hoo, hoo. All right. Just go ahead and write him out. He comes with. I always think I can go from top to bottom. FF8, you can. But not an FF7. Dunna, dunna, dunna. Am I gonna remove Tifa from the no, of course not. Of course I wouldn't dare. Wouldn't dare. Go buy that big boy ticket. And go vibe to our half an hour Chocobo Racing segment. Always one of the most epic parts of a hundo. Hope you guys are excited. Go get some beer, get some food, go get some snacks and uh, vibe to our half an hour. Where we're here for two materia that you have to get, enemy away, sneak attack. We need to accrue enough GP to do the battle arena. And we need to buy the big boy ticket. So that we are all Gucci from now on. And so we need the EA, the SA, and 3,250... Where, where am I going? Chocobo racing. 50 points. In order to get out of here, it's about a half an hour, and uh, we'll see. You can swing easily ten minutes one way or the other, so more power to us, chat. Here we go for Chocobo Racing. We gotta make it through 3C, 3B, 3A, 10S, and then whatever extra we gotta do to get the EA, the SA, and the 3,250. That is the dealio here. Nothing more to it. Nothing more to it. There is some kind of innuendos, very tiny stuff. You know, the prizes in Chocobo Racing are variable. The top prize is 7 out of 15. The middle prize is 5 out of 15. The bottom prize is 3 out of 15. So you have some, you know, you're, you're happier if you get a lucky prize in the top spot than you are in the middle or the bottom, right? Da -da 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 -da. Yo, Army Retired. How you doing, my friend? Coming into Chocobo Racing saying, I'm gonna lay down my tier 3 big boy sub and give us some good luck to our golden Chocobo Griever. Thank you, Army. I appreciate the tier 3 sub. How you doing? Welcome on in. How are you and Bella doing? And I'm glad you made it for racing. Great time to just chill out and vibe chat. Excellent time. Excellent time. Da -na 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 -na. Da -na. All is well, Army. Glad to hear you're doing well, too. Just relaxing, getting ready to make dinner. Nice man. Glad to hear it. Always a pleasure to have you in the his house for the racing. Is that right? Illinois makes it past the opening weekend for the first time in 19 years. Wow. Go the Fighting Illini. Isn't that who that is? The Illini? 
Man, we've had a nice run, Army. Glad you made it for it. What is the uh, what is the mascot for Iowa State Army? I know you're a big Iowa State guy, right? It's the Illini and the Iowa State. What would they be? All right, Gun Ducky, take care. Thanks for hanging out. The Cyclones. There you go. Iowa State Cyclones. So. I know Army actually picked the uh, Iowa State team as their March Madness champion. And I'm pretty sure they're still alive and kicking after today. And happy National Chips and Dip Day, huh? National Chips and Dip Day. You're really all about the days of the year lately, Mr. Fudd. National Chips and Dip Day. Probably only because the Chip and Dip Lobby promoted that day so much, right? <laughs> yeah, they beat Washington State. Nice. Well, excellent time to, you know, kick the feet up on the ottoman. I am literally vibing and thriving. I'm, I'm not doing much here. I am chilling out. Well, these are all kind of mundane prices. You can get turbo ethers, you can get mega elixirs here for 150 and 300 GP. Other than that, you're kind of... Kind of working with the uh, the dregs of the prizes for C rank for B rank A rank you can start to see stuff. There is a turbo ether, and uh, Crimson is our president of Chocobo Racing for a reason. He knows every prize, how much they're worth, and is a professional counter. That's why I pay him the big bucks to do the counter. No, you do not need to do anything to win pre S. Not at all. I, I am not doing a thing. I am just enjoying my PBR, Greg, and uh, more power to you guys, too. Oh, the mods, yeah, they get paid. They get the big bucks. You didn't know that. I, I, I pay the big bucks. Big bucks. Really, really, really makes a big deal around here. Once you make it to be a moderator, get those big 69 cent per spin checks. I forget what I pray Crimson. I don't even want to know. Probably way too much. Probably way too much. You know, he has the prestigious position as El Presidente of Chocobo Racing. That's a, that's a very uh, high ranking spot. Four hundred and twenty sixty-nine. That's about befitting a, a El Presidente of Chocobo Racing. Yeah, that sounds about right. That sounds about right. Well, the Turbo Ether is a 33% chance. Got the high pot for, what is it, 10, 15? Something like that, 15. <clears throat> and now we are in the B rank race. And so we have survived the epic C rank. I don't know how we did that, but we're gonna try to get through B, guys. We'll see. This might be really challenging, but I'm gonna try my best. Well, what is the news from the tournament tonight? Tennessee beat Texas. Two over number seven. Tirith is crying into their or their beer tonight. NC State beat Oakland, number 11 over number 14. Oregon is at halftime versus Creighton. That's a game where I pick Creighton, actually, even though they're my alumni. 
The Zags beat Kansas. That's an upset. A little bit of an upset. Illinois over Duquesne. Iowa State over Washington State. Oh no, my Michigan State went down. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that. I love Izzo. And my Zona team, my champions, survived. Glad to see that. All I really care about is my Final Four is still alive. And I think they are. I think, I think they are. Hey, Big Nakas, thanks for the good luck with the hundo. We got a Hyper, not a particularly good item there. 10 GP for our, uh, for our total. Now, we do have to try to win here. Anytime Tayo's in the race, we actually have to try and win. Tayo's coming in hot. You can see him on the mini-map. He's right here. The other Chocobos are back here, right? Gotta watch out for Tayo. He has better stats than your own Chocobo. Every single time. Nothing you can do about it. And so got the Trank. Not particularly good on points here at all. But, you know, it's a lot, lot to go still. A lot to go still. Yeah, you can see Tayo in rank B. You'll see him more often in, in A and S, but uh, he can start to show up in rank B. You think that music's fun? Oh, well, you're in for a treat. How would you guys like a little Space Jam rendition? For the end of our B rank. Enjoy your Space Jam jam. All right, all right, all right, all right. Well, hey you, what you gonna do? Gave me a trank, a very bad prize. Haven't got a single good prize crim so far. Not a single good one. Hmm, and we're already in A rank. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. You guys wanna see if we can win without uh, speeding up? Here you go, A rank, I'm not gonna touch anything. I'm not gonna touch anything. And let's see if we automatically win. I bet we do. I bet we do. And cheers, everybody. Thanks for hanging out tonight for the Hundo Fundo for March Madness. Hope you guys have had a good time. Boy, look at the mini-map on the top right. I did not speed up. I did not do it manual. Still destroyed them. Absolutely destroyed them. Not even close. Not even close. Oh, that is an enemy away in the best spot. We got it. Oh, wow. Give me that item. There is an EA. Well, that was a very lucky drop. Not even an S rank yet. That was an E rank drop. And there's another enemy away right there, by the way. And we can sell it. The counter at the bottom might be worth more, though. That might be worth, uh, that might be worth 400. 
By the way, VIPs can chat in emote only mode. Have at it, VIPs. Now's your time to shine. Make all those plebeian, overgorged, sheep biting potato finger non VIPs rue the day they did not spend 100,000 channel points. Those peasants, I know. You tell them, Master. You tell them. Those broke ass peasants can't afford 100,000 channel points. <laughs> Jeez. How do they live with themselves? I really wonder. I wonder. I really wonder. When we hit S rank, I will reactivate the uh, normal music so we can get down and get serious here. Wow, another enemy away. We'll be taking the uh, 300. Well, we got some points in there. Got the AA in there now. Okay. Are we still in A rank? I think we are. Yeah, still in A rank. Though. I'll go ahead and bump up the jam, boost the speed, and then lock it in. And let automatic go to work. Well, I just kind of died before we crossed the finish line. So much for automatic, huh? And I believe we are back into A rank or S rank now. So let's get down and get serious. We're looking for that sneak attack. And now we're looking for three. Well, there it is. What? <laughs> Nailed it. What on earth? <laughs> First try, each of them. Wow. Well, there you go. There you go. Well, now's all about the GP chat. Uh, we're quite low on GP, but now we have 10 races to get, yep, 2,900. And that would be perfect chocobo racing, hence why I was saying you don't do the manip on PC. There's no need to. You know, enough of the time, you're, you're gonna just lose time if you're gonna loot, you know, try to manipulate it. That's time loss, right? So, looking good here. Now we just need that G frickin' P. But my concern is, I, I lost the step route recently. That's my concern. But this is nice. This is very nice. And an enemy away, a counter. Anything but the potion would be lovely. That's 300. That's exactly what we wanted. If we average 300, we're, we're gonna be done in time. Like, we have 10 races. We need essentially 290 average points per race and we have perfect chocobo racing is what the deal is here Well, the uh, Phoenix Down would be the worst. Okay, we got it. It's too bad. The other ones were 300 and 500. And we got the 10. Those are the kind of things we can't have here. You know, if we're gonna get perfect, we need we need the good prizes to not be... Uh, we need them to fall. That was a, uh, a 1 out of 3 chance, and we got it. That's too bad. If we got that magic counter, they could almost have lost the whole race and not even worried about it. Because that would have been almost like two, <clears throat> you know, 290 averages almost. In one race. 
but you can't you can't expect perfection. You know, it's gonna happen. Well, just don't give me the 20%, the hero drink. Enemy away. They're both identical. 300, 300. Excellent. Right back on track. So 310, 300. Okay. If we could get a couple cat spells, a couple 500, boy, would that be pretty spicy here. That would be pretty nice. Pretty nice. Well, the Swift Bolt's only 50. It's in the most likely spot, but we didn't get it. Nice that we got the 300. The bottom one was the most. And so that was a lucky outcome. You know, we avoided the 50% that was that was worse, but it's not awful. 50's not awful, but, you know, compared to 300, not great. And so that was our fourth S rank race, okay. And so we basically are on the clock. Six races. For I have no idea. I haven't I haven't done it, Army. I wouldn't even talk about it if I did because we are a uh, we are a channel that will ban spoilers on site. So I would never dare talk about how Chocobo Racing is in Rebirth. And I honestly have no idea. I haven't haven't done that yet. Well, the sneak attack would be the most likely and the best. Okay, got 300 there. Oh no, why did you time out Greg? What did Greg do? Poor Greg. I didn't even see him chat for a while. He fucked around and found out. <laughs> what did Greg do? What did I miss there? Hang in there, Greg. Enjoy your ten minutes in the void, apparently. I don't think Greg's chatted for like <laughs> ten minutes. What? Oh, fake spoilers? I, was it a fake spoiler? Got it, okay. That is against the rule, actually. Fake spoilers are against the rules. Those are worse than regular, yep. Well, they fucked around and found out. Look at Tayo! Oh, he was in last. He was in last for a minute. Oh, the cat spell in the 50% spot would be great. And we got it. Wow, that's 500. That was lovely. Well, that was a great pickup. That almost put us uh, within shooting distance of perfect, but it's still going to have to be really good through the end here. Four races left, and they need to be 300 or average. They need to average 300. Which honestly isn't that big of an ask. We might be looking at the seventh perfect Chocobo racing I've ever had. If we just kind of finish with, I would say, good luck. Just good luck. It doesn't even have to be great. You often see two out of three, uh, you know, prizes be 300 or above. So we're not even looking for craziness here. Hey, name in red, how you doing? Welcome into Chocobo Racing. Well, the potion's the good one. It's in the best spot. Oh, we got the 500. How lucky. We have lucked into essentially the best prizes for all of S rank, other than that one race at the start. Very nice, very nice, all right. Not only have we lucked into a first-time sneak attack and a first-time enemy away, we've been getting the best prizes a lot of the time here. 
cat spells are the most common and the, the best 500s to get. And they're very frequent, and they fall all the time, you know, for a lot of, a lot of, a lot of BP, GP. If we got another one here, we might just be ready to say, yeah, we have perfect racing here. Unless it ends really tragically. I'm interested in the time save for perfect racing. Quite intrigued at that. Well, at least none of them are good. These are all bad, actually. The Swift Bolt is 50. That's better than nothing. So that'll be 50 points on top. Now, the main problem I'm going to have to contend with is the lack of a step row for the uh, final two hours of the, the step row section. And it'll be interesting to see if I can overcome the lack of a step row with the green lead I have from Chocobo Racing. It's kind of going to be the interesting thing. Can I overcome? the? Um, can I get lucky enough to stay in the green <clears throat> is what I'm going to be intrigued about here. I think we stand a pretty darn good shot at that. These are all good. The precious watch is the best. Got the Mega Elixir. 300. Excellent thing. And so we are one good prize from being done, huh? With one race to go. Yeah. I would probably say yes to 3230, actually, Crimson. And so if this ends up being 300 or above, this is perfect Chocobo Racing today. As I will accept it. Normally I'd say give me 3,200 and... and 50, but you know, 20 points, I think I can handle that. I think I can handle that. What do we got? What do we have? Anything but the Arctic Wind and we're done. We got the 500. Split. Whoa. Not actually a gold split, ironically, because back in the day I could have turbo races on my old PC. How you ranking that one, Crimson? A++++. plus 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 plus. Jeez. I don't know if that's enough pluses to sum up that. That was very fucking good Chocobo Racing. Let's go. And you're not going to see it better than that. Got them both in time. Got all the GP at exactly the 10th race of S. That is the definition of perfection. It cannot be done better. Very nice job. Other than removing Tifa from the party, which I do not do in on purpose. Because Ramza's Chocobo Griever, you know, they deserve to be ridden. By our lovely Tifa's gorgeous thighs. Alright, how are we looking? Looking great. Right on in. For our Rocket Town segment, we do an any percent. This is to take out the Rude fight. And after that super hype, Chocobo Racing Perfection. Holy moly, we get a two to three minute break. I might take it. I might take it. Think long and hard about the very important segment coming up, chat, that has Wu Tai and the return to Midgar and the power hour of the run that's going to be really important today for a couple reasons. Number one, I've lost the step route here. And I'm concerned about it, especially for the source duping section. But with ten and a half minutes, 10.45 in the green, that's a nice little buffer, you know. Let's, let's see how it goes, let's see how it goes. Da, 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 da. 
Tifa could go first. Yep, yeah, nice. You love that sword? Which one? The Apocalypse on Cloud, the red one. It is really cool. Apocalypse. Yeah, I like how it has holes in it. It's like a hollowed out sword. It also has a triple growth. In a hundo, that is why we love the Apocalypse. Kind of like the Javelin triple growth. No, is that the Scimitar? The Scimitar. For Sid, the Apocalypse. I think the only two weapons in the game that actually have triple growth, right? If I'm not mistaken. in the morning. Alright, go get some sleep, Nico. Thanks for hanging out. Appreciate you. I appreciate you. Should get our third huge materia here. However, it's it's safeguarded behind a code. A little hundo trivia for you. Who knows the code to the third huge materia? Who's got a big sexy hundo brain? It has four inputs. What are they? Boob? No. Nice try. Nice try. 8008. No. Circle, square, cross, cross. That's it. There you go. That is the code. Yep. Look at all you sexy hundo runner, hundo viewers out there. Lara, no, no, this is not Chrono Trigger, Boom Daddy. Other, other, other run, other run. That is the uh, password to Chrono Trigger's password, or to where, what is it, the teleportal or something at the very end? Lara. What is Lara? Is that the name of, uh, of Luca's mother? I'm trying to remember what Laura is, what Lara is. Her mom, right? Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen in chat, after, you know, surviving such an epic 
Chocobo Racing segment. We have a two to three minute break. Go ahead and get some water, refill the food, you know, go, go take care of the chores and the kiddos and well, we gotta get the huge materia first, and as Sid, when they blast off into space, that is the uh, that is the nice little break. And then we got a couple little things to do before we've made it to the epic one hour power hour, my favorite part of all of 100% for FF7. I call it the power hour. Patented Petonian name. And it'll be a really interesting one today, as uh, I think it'll be off of steps. And that's always going to be intriguing. Sometimes good, sometimes bad. I'm not saying that's going to be a run-ender, being off of steps. I've had runs where we've lucked into all the things we need and things have gone really well. You think I would enjoy Lost? Odyssey? Is that an RPG? Name in red? How are you supposed to know the code? Honestly, draw it. I don't know. I think you guess it, right? I don't know if uh, you actually do know the code there. How about you guys? Do you remember? Is Do you have to... Do you know the code, or do you literally need to guess it or look it up? Because as I remember it, you literally have to look it up or just know it. There's no lore about the password. But I might not be remembering, right? Fits right in with 7, 8, and 9. Oh, nice. Alright. Maybe I'll check it out. Enjoy your break, chat. I am P-Town. You guys fucking rock. Thanks for hanging tonight. I'll be back in a couple.
Sorry guys, I was muted. Came back just a hair late. Not too bad though. And we go to the Forgotten. No! Oh! I got a little thrown off. Cosmo Canyon first. You know, I probably could have done these in either order. I came back late, got a little, little, little thrown off. Gotta do a Crown Lance fight first. Right her on the beach. And more Fontifa. For our Dream Powder Morph right here, as we kind of, you know, start thinking about Cosmo Canyon number two. Get back and comfy here. Nice, there is our Dream Powder. Hopefully not get an encounter. Totally kind of 50-50 here. <laughs> Though, if you're gonna get, oh, get one or not, probably more than that now. Nice. <clears throat> Couple things to do here. That room to the north is where you would set up the Barrett Date if we decided to do that today. Which we did Tifa. Kind of get our HP and MP pluses here. That's right, wake up. We got shit to do, buddy. Twelve of them. Sid hints as you type it in. and But there's no lore, right? There's no lore about getting it first try. And so it's just trial and error. Kind of funny. Kind of funny is trial and error. Sid calls you out on it in New Threat for not knowing the, your own password. Really accuses you of going to GameFAQs or something like that. That's kind of interesting, New Threat lore. Get closer. Oh, for guessing it first try. That makes more sense, yeah. Last option, go back down and go enjoy the forgotten cities, forgotten capital. City of the Ancients Forgotten. Well, waterfall projector. <clears throat> what is it? S forgotten capital or forgotten city? Kind of forget. How am I feeling after nine hours? Ah, oh, fine. Feeling fine. Forgot to split Bahamut Zero. Still rocking and a rolling. Very interested, though, in how the rest of the step route's gonna go. We got an hour and a half of it, and, uh... 
Ain't no step route left. We're gonna be we're gonna be hoping for good luck here. As I haven't run Gigas 4 in about a year, and something went wrong in the the very end of the carry armor section. So I'm just gonna leave the source stooping section in an interesting predicament. Gonna have to get some uh, some nice luck, luck into the source stooping encounters we need. Especially for the power source, luck into the serpent for Aqualung, the frog for Frog Song, and the Kamara Bug. Those are the less important ones. The the serpent for Aqualung, the green dragon, and the power source dupe will be quite important. So that's going to be really interesting. Three Wutai and return to Midgar. No, actually, no step route in the return to Midgar. That could be time lost too through there. Definitely. Definitely probably will be, certainly. Almost certainly not going to get my Loco weed. So I will probably be farming it outside of Wutai today. That is a little bit of a thing you don't like to say. As I've lost 15 minutes twice farming the Loco weed there. I'm also not going to be on the step route for the Lunar Curtain, where I would have gotten six Lunar Curtain kills, and I'm probably not going to get more than one or two here unless I get lucky. There are 14% drops for the Lunar Curtain. Seven of them are a 70% chance. I might only have a couple. Off of step route, I probably farm it today. I probably farm it when we get there. And I probably farm the Loco Weed too when we get to Wutai. So the Wutai section is going to be super important here. Super important. Like, I think the run pivots around Wutai first. But that's not it. Then, then it's got to pivot around the source stooping well after that. So we got a lot to find out here. As we kind of, you know, wrap up the end of the step route. This is the reality of Hundo. The way it's routed, the step route is the most crucial at the end. So green is good. Step route is better. You really want that step route in there for the final hour. As you lose the most time to being off of it at the end of the route. And it's just the way it goes for Hundo. And so we'll hope for the best. Expect the worst, but hope for the best here. Either way, hope you guys have loved your Hundo Fundo tonight. Been a good time. Definitely, probably will be fine. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's kind of, it kind of sums it up, really. Oh, that chicken pot pie looks divine tonight. Snow Leopard. Ooh la la. Ooh la la. How oh, good. Thanks for the feed me, Kyria. I have a lemon head for you here. A little sugar. To enter the power hour. Sounds like a really nice idea. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love lemon heads too. They're my favorite old school candy. You're watching the Hundo while liberating planets for Super Earth and Hell Divers. Nice. I've heard a lot of good things about that game. How are you liking it? How are you liking it?
You're liking it more than anticipated? Nice. Glad to hear that. Glad to hear that. Sounds fun. That's what you're doing too, True Pixels. Nice. Well, good luck on your liberation. Oh, I did split. It just, I didn't split it in the world record, lady. So it, you can't tell. But I did split the Aurora armor. That's why it has a 902 there. I just missed it in my, in the WR. So it has nothing to compare to. I did split, I did split. We'll catch up on the Rising Sun for Diamond Weapon the next fight we have. That'll be the catch up here. We might as well like skip Submarine Huge Materia. You can see, for example, in the world record, I skipped the Submarine Huge Materia split. It doesn't have one. So when I split it, again, it'll do the same thing. There won't be anything there. And then the Rising Sun has a split, so then I we will be able to compare to the, you know, to the Rising Sun, which is important. Because that is a steal that we need for that fight. So, you know, RNG, good to, good to split, see how we do. I've just been a bad boy. I've been a bad boy. You gotta, just gotta give me a break. I mean, it sounds really cool, Bear. I've, I've seen a lot of people just really hyping up the game, and I'm excited to see, uh, I'm excited that you're liking it. Sounds like a game I might like, too. One I'd never play, but one if I had the time, I bet I'd like it. I bet I would. Well, we're gonna leave our Golden Chocobo right there. And go get the fourth huge materia from the red submarine we shot down after carry armor. Well, am I able to get in the sub? Okay, good. Oh, I did not mean to die. There we go, straight south to the red sub. And then straight back to the page long diamond weapon menu here. It's a big one, it's a biggie. Are the vehicles stored on the map before you can access them? Or just show up after story flags? Well, you get the tiny Bronco for winning the Chocobo race, so it shows up. You get the tiny, I mean the, 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 bron the, uh, the buggy. You get the tiny Bronco for winning the Palmer fight, right? To escape the, the Rocket Town. And then you get the High Wind for, you know, escaping Junon. So they're kind of story triggers is what they are. Hey there, Diamond. How you doing, brother? Strip all of that shit. Go ahead and bring in the real hero, the Yukon, Yuffie. Cloud, you get the rune armlet. Where are the runes today? There they are. Yuffie, you get the conformer. The rune and the protect, uh, the reflect ring, which is there. The rune for Sid, the scimitar, which is on, and the hypno crown. Okay, Sid time, arrange on your armor. HPs and a steel. Yep, cloud time. Steal Knights of the Round and Enemy Away. Go ahead and arrange. Enemy Away. Cloud. Magic Plus then goes there. 
and he gets the HP pluses. Yuffie, strip arrange. You get double cuts. Steal, morph, and a restore. The E skills. Are they the same? They are the same. That's always a good check. She gets four HP pluses. She is tricked and tented. Config is on wait, and we need to steal the Rising Sun. Before Knights of the Round does what Knights of the Round does. Clouds got the uh, KOTR. I meant to hold on Cloud. I didn't. I thought that was Sid. But we might not steal. It's kind of a hard steal. And so, hopefully, we get a steal here. Nothing. Nothing? Oh, alright. If you say so. Not that hard of a steal. There it is. Boy, you're like killing me. Enjoy your K O T R. Love the me the comet, the meteor. And the halberd! Oh my goodness. Not a very good rising sun there. In terms of the steel, but a nice fight, got the job done. And we now have a level two enemy away. So that's gonna eliminate encounters through the rest of the step route. You know, it's gonna be nice, and then the northern crater. You never you never get no encounter in FF7, that's not a thing. Which is kind of interesting as they added that in to FF8. I wonder, wonder if they decided non-no encounter was a mistake, and that's why they added it in to FF8. I wonder, I wonder. Cheers, guys. The power hour almost upon us here. I call it the power hour as it is the half an hour of Wutai, and then the half an hour of the return to Midgar. Maybe like 25-25, but uh, basically the best hour of all of Hundo, in my opinion. 
Get those Wutai vibes run through the return to where the hundo began through the first hour and a half, two hours. Battle music blaring the whole time. It's an epic hour, and my favorite of all of Hundo. No, I agree. This is no FF8 to let tower. Yeah. These were incredible FMVs for their time, but boy, when FF8 came out next, they only elevated how amazing they were. I remember thinking they'll never get better than that when I saw FF8 for the first time. And they still look really good to this day. I mean, yeah, they're a little dated, but boy, they still look really good. They did an amazing job with those eight FMVs. Really? You think 10 looks more like 7? So you think that 8 is the pinnacle? Really? That's an interesting point. You would expect 10 to have the better FMVs. But was 10 on the same engine, the same console, as FF8? Was that the final Final Fantasy of the PS era there? Where they were all on the same? 7, 8, 9, and 10? Or was 10 on... 10 was on PS2. Got it. And obviously the other is PS1. And 9 was the last PS1, yeah. Well, double diamond, or ultimate weapon fight coming in right now. Very important. Uh, enemy away, this becomes fire. Magic Plus goes there, and we are ready to run into Ultimate Weapon for Fight 2 and 3. It's a little bit of risk here, by the way. Cloudfire 2. Not really, but I, I only did 92,000 damage, apparently. To uh, this guy right here for the first fight. He has 100,000 total, so we're now up to about 93,000. We're gonna need a double double cut from Yuffie, I'm pretty sure. Which isn't ideal, but that's gonna be fine. We'll, we'll, we'll be able to be, I think we'll live and not have an issue. Right back in action. For what should be Shadow Flare and the demise of the third fight of Ultimate Weapon here. You know what I might do? I might fire two again. Well, that's what we normally do. I actually now might high potion Yuffie for safety here. As I'm a little nervous about this. I don't think that killed him. It did not. I bet you Grease Lightning is a nice thing here, and that will probably be the kill. Nice to have Yuffie got a limit from that. How much? That's got to be enough to cast Shadow Flare. Yeah, it is. Okay, so there you go. Now we have the Reflect Ring on, so we don't care about Shadow Flare here. It's going right back on our boy as we have learned. As we have learned the E-Skill. Uh-uh. No, 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 sir. Nice trick up your sleeve, but I'm ready for you. He tried to play the ace at the sleeve. Not, not gonna happen in my game. And that is the Ultima Weapon for Cloud. Of course, his ultimate weapon. And we gotta get our Golden Chocobo. And our alls need to be mastered. They should be, should be. Hey, Griever, my golden chocobo. Show me those alls, Sid. Oh, God, they look so sexy. So sexy. 
Yeah, you can reflect Shadow Flare and learn it. We have the Reflect Ring on Yuffie. We'll get the Venus Gospel. Well, we can shop first. That's fine. Where are they? We now have 2.8 million gil and 36 manipulates. Someone ask the question. Who's gonna ask? Who's gonna ask? Someone needs to. Someone has to ask. Or it's not a hundo. And I did get the fourth bracelet. There is the Venus of the Gospel. Why not 37? Oh, well, that's a, that's a new question, actually. <laughs> Why not 37? I like that better, actually. Uh, strip that. Go ahead and arrange. You need a steel down here, sir. A death blow. A long range. And a manip. And then time to go find our adamanti on the beach. Why so many? Why so many? I'm so glad you asked, Lady V. That is so when I go to Wutai and Yuffie, that thief Yuffie, steals my materia. She steals the manipulate, which she prioritizes. As one of the first things she steals. That's why we buy 35, 36 manipulate. And get the adamanti bangle and death force from our big old turtle on the beach here. Who well, apparently is playing hard to get today. He's a guarantee though, so we don't really care. Oh, well there's the Adamant Bengal. Nice. Alright, enjoy the kicking back and relaxing the hundo fundo, my friend. Welcome back, Army. Glad you had a nice dinner. Death Force on the youth. Well, time to farm the loco weed chat. Who knows how long this will take? This can be pretty brutal some days. Can be pretty brutal some days. There we go. As we're off the step route, we'll be farming it right here. Might as well. So 14% chance from every single grass enemy, and they come in packs of four, too. And it comes in packs of four, and here are four of them! Holy cow! Well, this is a uh, like a 35% chance uh, right here. Magic Hammer and Aqualung. And if we're incredibly lucky, thank you Silver Fox for the prime sub for six months. Appreciate you, my friend. And enjoy your ad-free hundo fundo. Any chance this is my loco? Hmm. Ah, that was a great shot at it. Didn't quite get it though. That's too bad. Okay. And looking fine. You know, I could get it later on. Well, shit, I didn't mean to enter. That's all good. I only have one person to kill here. Gotta decide if I want to farm the local weed now or not. Off of the step route, I probably am best off farming the loco weed and the lunar curtain here. But I could get a lucky lunar uh, loco weed later on. There's a small chance I could. Here goes a limit for Sid. His second boost jump of the run. We also had a, uh, a grease lightning off of Yuffie from that ultimate weapon fight. And Sid should get another turn in here. Should have had Yuffie for the uh, for two two people who can kill there. With Yuffie in the party, I mean, should have Tifa. With Yuffie in the party, she runs away, leaving you with two people. So a little unfortunate, but that's all good. 
And Barrett comes in because I, I only have two people and I need three. It's funny how Barrett's your default party member there. Well, I'll decide what to do about the loco weed by the time we exit, I think. Exit Wutai. And we'll, we'll, we'll decide our fate. I might farm it here. And just figure out how bad it might be. And we front row Tifa. And then enter town. Here we go, guys. Wutai time and the start of the power hour. Time to vibe. Complete our Turtles of Paradise side quest. Not yet. We're we'll at the final number six here in Wutai from Yuffie's place. Yo, Fitty Cal. Hey, Ruby Knuckle. Really, you just finished Rebirth and now it inspired you to do an OG run. Go do it. Go do it. More power to you. Missed my magic hammer split there. Wutai is the best, baby. I love it. I fucking love it. Who's with me? Where's my Wutai Woo guys and girls, huh? Hey, Caramel Aaron. Thanks a lot for the kind words. I appreciate you. Glad you've been enjoying the content. Mmm, yep. Ooh, woo. Ooh, woo for woo time. Well, thanks for hanging out today, Caramel. I appreciate that. Sounds to me like you deserve it. Enjoy your ad free viewing. And all of your lovely Petonian emotes, too. Oh, I got all the turtles. How dare you doubt that I did not get them all. I'm a pro here. I'm a pro. Yo, Caramel, gifting a sub as I gifted them a sub to the P-Town community. Paying the gift sub forward, I will return the favor, and that return to Felipe. Felipe Perijo, enjoy your ad-free viewing, courtesy of Caramel Aaron. Thanks a lot, my friend. I appreciate you a lot. Glad you're enjoying the content. As I run around, which I always do, <laughs> run around that silly table in a 360 fashion, that's just how you do, Wutai. How you do, Wutai. And thanks a lot, Caramel. Appreciate you. Oh, I have the turtles. I've gotten them already. I've collected them. I have. We're good. We're good. Just gotta do a little banging on the gong. You know. You know how you do, Butai. Look at that deep V cut on the V neck from the Don. He likes to really—he likes to really show off some skin, doesn't he? Oh, look at my sexy Don chest hair. Cloud has a triple growth apocalypse. He can't kill. He sucks. Cloud sucks here. Just saying. Although he actually would kill with a limit, obviously, but... 
Tifa Cantu. Well, it is time for the Chao statue. I am quite confident I'm off of the step route, but I have not decided to, to ruin it completely by farming because I'm interested to see how this fight is. I want to know this formation. I got an extra counter and counter in the Gelnica, and it leads me to believe I, I lost the step route here. I haven't run Gigas 4 in a long time, so something went awry around hour 8. And I've been paying for it ever since. But I do, I'm just wondering if it might have just been an extra encounter. I really doubt it, though. That would be unlikely. And uh, I will be quite confident after I see this not be a Foutlander by three that I have no step route left. Which is not great to hear, but you know, that's how it goes some days. So theoretically, this is a Foutlander by three. What is it? These guys have three 14% chances for uh, for the Lunar Curtain. That's why you want to be on the step route, right? Well, it's a Foulander by three. Intriguing. Intriguing. Am I on the step route, actually? I might be. That might have been luck, though. The next one should be a Foulander by two. For another two 14% chances. That might have been luck. And we did not get the Lunar Curtain. Run right one screen, and then up... It had to be luck. Had to be. And force two fights, huh? What are they? Is this a Foulander by two? There's no way. That would be very surprising to me. Oh, it is. Wow, really. Well, am I going to get a Lunar Curtain now, apparently, is the better question. Apparently, I'm on the step route, and that was just an extra encounter chat. Wow. Oh, go us. Okay. Uh, I just flip-flopped my entire viewpoint on the run now. However, I don't have a Lunar Curtain. Is this a Foullander in Triple Bizarre Bug? If it is, I'm fine. I am still on the step route. Oh, it is! Why is it a preemptive, though? That is strange. Is this supposed to be? What on earth? I've never had a preemptive here. These are all the right formations, though. That would be incredibly unlikely to just luck into the, all of them identically. But no Lunar Curtain on the step route. Oh, you don't love to hear that. That is bad news. That's a 70% shot in this route to have gotten it. And we didn't. I've lost 20 minutes twice to that farm. And it's a nasty one. We're going to have to come back and do it. Doesn't have to be nasty. It can be nasty, though. That is, that's one of the drops that you're the most excited for. And it's funny how it's at the 9.5 hour mark, right? You're only an hour left of the step route. Maybe not even that. That's a biggie right there. Didn't get the Lunar Curtain. Also don't have the Loco Weed. But I'm glad I didn't farm the Loco Weed because that if I'm on the step route, I have two more shots at it. That's why I decided not to farm it. Was in case the step route was still holding in there and luckily I made that decision. I was quite fateful. As if I... Well, I mean, farming would have been okay. It wouldn't have killed the step route, but like I could, I could still get a loco weed, right? So farming it would be a bad idea until we find out if we get two 14% shots at it in the return to Midgar. So all of that was just to say I'm glad I made the right call and didn't farm it, as that was important. Too, Cause I could have farmed that for 20 minutes. Like some days it takes that long. And if you got two more 14% shots left, you better not be farming it, right? Because you can get it just normally. For zero time loss. And we should have two more. In the raid on Midgar on floor 64, specifically. Oh, arrow! What a cool move. What a cool move. And there is Mr. Raps, down and dusted. 
He's not that nasty in a hundo. You know, you can do Wutai really early, right? You can do Wutai after Palmer. When you get the Tiny Bronco. And so they make it so Raps doesn't have a ton of HP. So we take him out nice and fast. Very, very easy. Oh no. Tell me Oregon lost. I'm actually, uh, I'll be happy if you say that. Because I, I had them losing second round. So how did they do? Did they go down to Creighton? I hope so. Love you, ducks, but quack quack. I I did not I did not expect you to win that that round. <laughs> I decided to think with my head, not my heart. They almost pulled it out. I'm glad to hear almost. I mean, that's music to my bracket. Fan of that. Big fan of that. Seventy to sixty-eight, Creighton in OT. Huh? Well, as much as I love my ducks, I love my bracket too. So I'm kind of glad to hear that. Wait, wait, wait! It's tied up now. <laughs> oh, so the game's not over. So you're you're just like teasing me here. I see. So it's still going on. I got some bad news there. This guy, Cousin Art, is insane. Is he a duck? I don't. I literally don't know who's on the ducks this year. I haven't watched a single game. I just voted for them to win the first round because I'm a duck. And they were number 11, and I felt like I had to. How, uh, how we doing? You get the silver armlets, strip that shit, remove everything, and arrange, and bring in the teeth. All right, Tifa, we have not been tried. We're good to go. He's the guy who scored... Oh, he's the duck who scored 40 the first game. I remember his name, yeah. He made headlines for that. Cousin Art, yeah. Da Is Dana Altman still coaching the ducks? I like Dana. He's been a good coach for them. I hope they haven't fired him. They've had a couple downer years. He's a good dude. I like Dana Altman. You'll know him if he's standing on the sideline. He's white, tall, and really skinny. <laughs> it's not like you. He looks like a Dana Altman. Here is the fruition of our Turtles of Paradise side quest, by the way. Mm -hmm. He's still the coach. That's good. I'm glad to see that. Glad to hear that. Well, let's make sure we're... Yeah, tents were good. Uh, we have one of each of those. Okay. All flyers collected, turned them in for all of our sources and a mega elixir. The fruition of the Turtles of Paradise side quest right there. Yay, 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 yay. And now to do the epic pagoda climb with our ninja Yuffie to her father Godo at the very top. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Dane Altman's been around for a while. He's been a good coach. He's been a solid coach. Been a good guy for Oregon. Wow, it's going into a second overtime? I feel bad, but I'm rooting for the Ducks to lose. 
<laughs> I think I'm, I'm more in favor of my bracket not being busted. If they win, that's gonna really hurt my bracket. And so I'm kind of, kind of sneakily hoping they lose in overtime. I feel a little guilty here, to be honest. Speaking of coaches, were I a Chip Kelly fan? I mean, I was there when he was there. Was I a fan of Chip Kelly? Look, I mean, the high-octane offense was a lot of fun to watch. Do I think Chip was a good coach? Not really, no. Not really. He had some problems. Chip had some problems. That's why he didn't last. But man, that's a long time ago. That's a long time ago. I haven't thought about Mr. Chip Kelly in a long time. That must have been, what, 15 to 20 years ago? 15 years ago, I think? I mean, Chip had some of the best success as an Oregon Duck coach, but he also had some, like... He has some black eyes. You gotta remember, Jared Blunt punched, punched a fucking guy at the end of the Rose Bowl and got suspended, like, for life from the NCAA. And then went to the NFL. Chip got fired after that season, I think, or he, he went to the NFL because, like, there were some major NCAA violations that I think occurred under his watch. And he kind of bailed on Oregon. But, you know, I, I, you gotta credit Chip with a good offense. He knew how to put an offense together, but... Did he run a good program that was a solid, upstanding program? I don't know about that. I don't know if I can say that. Chip had his problems. Mm, Tennessee got through, so you're happy. Yeah, they, uh, they went- they beat Texas today. The Battle of the Tees. By the way, we've had a first turn every single fight here. Nice to see that. Nice to see that. Well, by the way, I went to Portland State Moose Mesh. I went there for about a year. And so I actually am a Viking. I did the full tour in Oregon. In college, I went to U of O. I went to OSU first, Oregon State. Then I went to U of O. And I also went to Portland State. I, I did the whole damn thing. First I went to Oregon State because I thought that was where I would prefer to go. And then I decided to pursue business. Oregon had a top 10 business school. So I transferred there. Eventually I went to Portland State because I wanted to move back to Portland to finish up my business degree. And uh, wrapped it all up there. Did the, did the trifecta. And here is Papa Godo. That's why I call this the power hour, my friend. Are we going to be trying first try? Nope. So we, uh, big guard Godo and, uh, guys, I hope you have a drink and some snacks. You have now entered the trying waiting room. Yeah. I have lost 10 minutes twice in hundos here to this man casting Trine. It is somewhat manipulatable, actually, if you didn't know that. The reason why I have the, the Reflect Ring on Yuffie here is because it eliminates some of the turns from Goto that are not Trine. However, there is nothing you can do here. There is nothing you can do here. You are required to sit here patiently and enjoy your your trying pain or your trying game. Well, he does the drain for time loss, and uh, here we go. Time's a tick, 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 and world record gets it, I believe, first try. I, I I remember it did get it first try, and I I swear. I mean, I've said this a lot today. We haven't had a segment like it yet, but you know, you can totally lose ten minutes here. 
And uh, that is a Demi-3. I'm gonna be a little safe after that. You can see how bad that is. Alright, Godo. Alright, Godo, stop- Oh, wait! We oh, no, no, no! We have the Reflect Ring on! I'm an idiot. Just remember that. <laughs> Where is my X-Potion? This is what my X-Potions are for, P-Town. There we go. That was funny. That was pretty funny, actually. <laughs> I haven't had to cure on Godo in a long time. I forgot about that. Nice little drain there. A nice little beastie sword. You can see my splits. We have nine minutes and counting. We're losing time currently. So you're waiting on trying. It's kind of a helpless feeling as a hundo runner when there's nothing you can do here. You are literally dependent upon a 5% chance. I mean, have you not been listening, Reservoir? I've literally described the whole fight. I'm waiting on trying. 5% chance. I, I, I summed it all up. Where the hell you been? You've asked it like three times tonight, right after I've literally summed up the whole strat here. Yeah, it's waiting for trying. That's all you gotta do here. Well, that's it. That's it. I know it's painful, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Yo, Mac, thanks for the tier one sub for 15 months. Oh, you've had very bad muting times tonight, Reservoir. You've literally asked me what I'm doing, like, like, ten seconds after I summed up what I'm doing, like, multiple times tonight. You have very bad luck. You have very bad luck, apparently. How are we looking? I mean, I'm not gonna heal yet. I'm not gonna heal yet. Oh, trying. Alright, well... I think I'm going to X Potion here. Yeah, that was probably a good call. And go ahead and uh, get the job done there. Well, you know, significant time loss here on the uh, trine, but, you know, we're going against a first try trine in world record. It's a 5% chance, I mean, we're gonna lose time, right? That's just how it goes in that situation. But yeah, not 10 minutes at least, right? At least not 10. He's gonna cure here. I think we win, though, right now. But thanks again, Mac, for the tier 1 sub. Appreciate you, my friend. Well, there you go. Three minute time loss on Godo Trine. Okay. Couple things to consider that I'm thinking about as a runner. Two things in particular. What do you guys think those two things are? If you were a hundo runner, what would you be concerned with right now? There are two things and two things only that I have on my mind that in the next half an hour will be answered. I've already answered them. The answer will be uh, how, how long they take to farm. We got two things to farm. And in a hundo, your cleanup is like everything. So we got two important things to clean up no matter what. What are those two things? One of them doesn't have to be the case. I'm going to be interested to see if we get. We have two chances, yes, for the Loco Weed. Two more chances at it. In, in the return to Midgar, because I am on the step route. And so we'll have two more chances. To kill a Hammer Blaster, who each have a 14% chance to drop the Loco Weed. So this is where you, it pays to be on the step route 10 hours in. You know, now I'm not going to farm it. I got two more chances at it. And yes, army. The other one is the Lunar Curtain. That's the more 
That's the more interesting one, really. The Lunar Curtain I have to return to Wutai to farm. Tonight. Now, those were not things I farmed in World Record. We just get those. We just get those, right? And so how those both go will be pretty damn important on uh, the rest of the run. Da -na -da -na. Yo, Magical Leo! I am so happy to see you. My fellow participator in all things March Madness, it is lovely to see you, and congratulations on your nice bracket you've been running. You were in one of the top spots for a long time there. How you doing now, Magical? How you doing now? And thanks for the 10 months of subs. Hey, Zero Blade goes phenomenal. How are you doing? Go ahead and get that curse ring on you. There we go. Remove any good e skills. Those two. Sid time. Uh, go ahead and uh, strip all that shit that we don't need there. Arrange. Okay, Sid. You get an e skill. A steal, a death blow, and added cut. Okay, added cut. Long range, a manip. And an enemy away for the return to Midgar that we were about to do. Extremely exciting. Arrange. Cloud time. Okay, you get steel and knights of the round, and then this is the magic plus. Yep, this becomes your e-skill here. Go ahead and tent it up. ATB is on wait. You're still top five? Hey, congratulations to you. I'm glad to hear that. More power to you. How am I doing? Tell me how I'm doing. I haven't looked all night. And I've, I've had a pretty decent day, I think. Where am I ranking? And who's in the lead? Is it still that damn son of a gun AIM picks? I'm in first? No, you're lying to me. You're just blowing, you're blowing steam up my booty. Don't even do that. Stop it. 380 to 360? Wow. Too, too lazy to lie. <laughs> wow, guys, P-Town is in first out of 30 people in our March Madness tournament. More power to me. And apparently I have overtaken AIM Picks, who we'd named as our hero, as they started the day in first. I, I got this. I do. I got this. So. And so Pine dropped to a tie for second. Well, sucks to be AIM picks. Rocks to be P-Town. Who gets the gift subs if I win? I do. I get to keep them, of course. What do you think? I get to not spend six gift subs. That's my victory. Not losing money. What do you mean, what do I do if I win? All of chat has to gift six subs. You know what, Pine? Can you be my agent? I should have thought of that first. That is a much better idea. That is a much better idea. Yes. I think I'm, an, I'm, I'm on that. I'm on board of that idea. Everyone in chat has to gift six subs if I win. Yeah. How you doing, AIM Pine? Good to see ya, my hero. My cloud tonight. Very good to see you. Hope you've enjoyed your hundo. You won the nobility of being cloud for your prestigious position in first place of our our March Madness tournament. I'm very proud of you. 
Um, Icicle in time. Where is Chocobo Sage? There he is. <laughs> Finally not Tinny Bell? Yeah, I know. Right? About time. You're in 25th? Oh no. Yeah, some work to do there, army. Good luck to you. <laughs> Such is life in March Madness, right? Hey, JJ. How you doing, my friend? My VIP? Good to see you. Hope you're having a good Saturday. Just in time for the raid on Midgar. smacked in double OT. Oh, did you call the Ducks to win? You fool, you. Should have been like P-Town and pick Creighton. I knew that would happen, obviously. Obviously. I called that. I'm a smart person. <laughs> oh, Oregon got smacked? Yeah, but I didn't pick Oregon. I only picked them to win the first match. I looked at that one, the second matchup, I was like, yeah, uh, no. <laughs> They're not winning versus Creighton. No way. No way. Uh, funny enough, they came close. They came close. Enjoy your barrel rolls, chat. To the left. To the left. To the right. To the side. Oh, you picked them? And that is why I am ahead of AIM picks. You know, I pay uh, for lessons. If you'd like, uh, AM Pine, I charge for lessons. Uh, if you'd like, I can help you out on, you know, your future picks, if you'd like, for next year. If you would like some some help on, uh, you know, how to improve, I could I could help you out. But I, I charge by the hour, and uh, it's a fair rate. But if you'd like to reach out, I could I, I could I could offer some advice. Obviously, you might, you know, it seems like you might need some help. Da, 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 da. I will pay you consulting fees for second round only. All right, all right, that's fair, that's fair. <laughs> yeah, for, I need to come to you for my first round picks. <laughs> I know, it's all going to my head now. All of a sudden, I find out I'm in first, and I'm just... <laughs> I think I'm God's gift to picking. But that's always how it goes, right? That's always how it goes. You're like, oh, I called all of those. I knew they were all going to be the case, right? <laughs> I am Nostradamus, and uh, I knew that was all going to happen. Been a pretty fun tournament. A lot of upsets this year. A lot of them yesterday. A lot of 12 versus fives going down. Been a fun tournament. I'm glad we did it. I almost uh, forgot to do a March Madness tourney. I'm glad I did. Glad I did. Now we should have a chance at the War Gong from the Behemoth coming up here. He's going to be at the end of the platform here, theoretically. I could force it to... Uh, oh, good. So there it is. Okay. Perfect. Can I help you with picking the Mega Millions numbers? How many numbers do you need, So Sweaty? Give me, give me how many, I'll tell you. Oh, he got the War Gong! Well, hallelujah. Well, I was quite lucky. Lay it on me. How many numbers? What is my range? I'm going to give you the numbers. 
I almost bought a lottery ticket yesterday, sweaty. I'll help you out. Six? And how- what am I dealing with? One to ninety-nine? Like, what is the- what is my range? What is my range? I forget what, uh, Mega Millions has for your picks you can take. The Mega Millions is over a billy dollars, by the way. No one won it yesterday? I was kind of mad, so sweaty, I didn't buy a ticket. Are you telling me no one won it? Yesterday? Really? So it's well over a billion dollar jackpot now. It was $977. As of yesterday. And I, I, I kind of regretted not buying a ticket. I only buy tickets when they get close to a billy. And uh, it almost lured me in. Almost lured me in. Gotta get the Starlight phone here. Why is this here? This should not happen. What? Enemy ways on, right? What the heck? That is not in the notes. That encounter is not in the notes. What the heck? Oh, I have the wrong notes up. <laughs> Shit. That's probably... Probably supposed to happen. Alright. I got my Gigas 3 notes up. Uh, forget what I said. Let me investigate the actual route here. And... We uh, do not need to steal the Minerva Band. I already have it today. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Right on Midgar, we get a Cromwell... Oh. Those were not the right formations. Oh. We are off the formation route. I take it back. I am incorrect. We are off the formation route. That is so interesting. We were perfectly following my Gigas 3 route. We're on Gigas 4, and I was not looking at Gigas 4. So I am on the step route. I'm off the formation route here. Interesting. Okay. That's still that. Oh boy, I'm not loving to hear that actually. That means now I still have big risk in um, in the upcoming section for the source duping, the aqua lung, and the power source. Yep. All right. Well, all right. Recalibrating my expectation here. We got problems potentially here. I thought my formation route was perfect. Just found out it's not. Well, that's all right. That's all right. We can we can do our best here. See what we got. Wow, Sid has missed twice. Come on, Sid. Is that the end of the fight? Oh, wow, it is. A gold Turk? That is a gold, because I didn't have to steal the Minerva Band, by the way. That is the Y. And nice. Turk's fight? Okay. Right at the first Y, left at the second, to go back in headquarters. Hi bye, Tifa. Enjoy your, your shower there. Time to run through Shinra headquarters. Always a ton of fun to do this. Da da na da na da na. So it's up to 1.1 billion, huh? Starlight Megaphone is the prettiest sounding weapon. Well, that's not a weapon. There's the Starlight, and there's a Megaphone, but that is a nice sounding. That is a nice sounding weapon, I agree. You guys want to see a mindfuck of manipulation of uh, developer software programming? Check this out. Check out the stairs, how they can be manipulated. This is a manipulation. I'm going up one floor. I'm going back down to the very bottom, right? I'm going to the very bottom. So we ran up one floor. Now we're going to go back down and go up the elevator, right? Very interesting manipulation here. So we're going to exit the bottom, obviously, and then go back to the elevator. We're on the bottom floor. Okay. And we're coming out to the stairs. Wait a minute. 
Wait a minute. Hold on. Something, something weird is going on here. Why am I still running the stairs? Why am I still running the stairs? What the heck? I should have been on the bottom floor. Oh, that's so weird. Oh. 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 Really? Look what happened. We went up one floor, down one floor, and manipulated coming out at floor seven of the stairs. <laughs> because we ran the stairs at the first hour of the hundo, that is allowed. I'm a wizard. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoy that little manipulation. It's a 35 second time save to so just getting it the, uh, the normal way. Stairs Manip. Top floor. As we complete our epic run through of the headquarters here. Oh, shit. Down to floor 64. And what is this encounter going to be? My formations are off, so I was expecting this to be a hammer blaster by two for my double loco weeds. I'm not going to have it, I don't think. This is why I didn't farm the loco weed. I expected to have two more shots here. I don't think I'm going to have now. But that's okay. What are they going to be? And maybe we get lucky and they still are. Who knows? They're going to be right here. What are they? What are they? It's a sword dance, yeah. Bummer. Alrighty, we're gonna be farming that loco weed. Me farming that loco. Stay on the step route, the most important thing though. Keep on trucking, first floor. So I'm going to write the loco weed under our things to clean up. That was our last shot at it. Not a big problem, but that's a tough cleanup. I've lost 20 minutes a couple times to it, so. You don't love to hear, you gotta clean up your loco weed. Pile bunker, master fist, couple chests we gotta get there. And on this route, do we force a fight here? No, we don't, okay. And we don't remove enemy away? Really? Hold on. Yeah, we don't. Interesting. It's a natural fight for the Shadow Maker. They have your Graviball Steel here. Oh, it says Force. Force at the end of the sex. Oh, I know where that is, but uh, interesting. For, I haven't run this route in over a year now. Kind of learning a lot about it again. It's a nice route. I like Route 4. It has had an extra encounter that really surprised me and threw me off in it. I wonder if the notes were simply incorrect. No, because my formations went off, so... They were correct. Something went wrong. However, here is the uh, Shadow Maker Force for the Gravaball. With the enemy away on, so kind of a long, long force there. Got it. It's a, they have really long attacks here. I was trying to flee before they got a turn. No oh, double turns! How dare you. How dare you. Wait a minute, they got three turns? Wow. Wow, these guys are very needy tonight. They have the longest turns ever, and they just got three of them. Holy cow. <laughs> However, we now have Proud Claude coming in, and another Knights of the Round. Epic throwdown of KOTR here. I'm excited to see Proud Claude in, in Remake Part 3. Be very exciting.
Hmm. Well, my sore stooping now is still in jeopardy, and I might not get my Shinra Alpha coming up for time loss. Okay. So I'm kind of back to being on, like, unsteady footing. I got a lot to clean up, and I got a lot on the step route to get through here. Well, not a lot, but the important things are remaining. Well, enjoy your KOTR. I'm gonna go refill the water real quick. Town and my Gandalf the Grey or Gandalf the White. I mean, who would ever sign up to be Gandalf the Grey when another option is Gandalf the White? That's a silly question. Gandalf the White is cooler and more powerful. Why would I not? Why would I ever not pick Gandalf the White? Have I fought a Balrog? Uh, no, I have not. No, I have not. No, I have not. Okay, here we go. So, number one. Go up and get the Mistle. An elixir, apparently. Go to the save point. Go ahead and tent it up. Okay. You get that mistal, sir. You get the mastered steel for the brand Bebe Steel, which fell down here. Nice to see that. And now Yuffie for Barrett to get the missing score. Upstairs, get the missing score. The Graz Panzer should be after the chest for Barrett. Okay. If the step route is hanging in there. The Graz Panzer we uh, we kill for a guaranteed drop, the 8-inch cannon. This is his ultimate weapon, the missing score for Barrett. That's why he put him in the party. And now we'll... Uh, hold on. Okay, we get the Graz Panzer first. Should be natural. Where is it? Really? What? Wow, okay. Quite a head, I guess. And Sid does the whole thing here with death blow, nothing else. Or else you actually risk the 8-inch cannon might not drop. It might not drop. Because it uh, only drops if you kill the, the Graz Panzer in a very particular way here. Well, says enemy way off. Alrighty. If you say so. Uh, save point first. Bear it for the youth. Okay. Save point. We're gonna store it right there. I don't know if I did that, actually. Uh, looking fine. Okay, EA's off here. Should be an X cannon. It's not. 
That's not good. Well, it's, I should I would have known it's not an next cannon. So we need to get our, our Shinra Alpha Steel here. I did get the Barrett stuff, yeah. Look at these tiny little toy soldiers. They're so cute. Oh, look, they cast magic. Oh, they're so cute. They're so cute. Look at their magic casting. What a neat little trick. Uh, oh, nothing to steal. Wait, I already got it? What the hell? Well, that's a very hard steal. Jeez. All right. And then another one just before Hojo. Yep. Okay. This will be my uh, be not what I wanted it to be. Wow, a harpy for Aqualung? No, I fled. Wait, this is not a harpy. I bet he doesn't have Aqualung. <laughs> I didn't know this guy's here, but I bet you he doesn't have Aqualung. If he did, I would have very much wanted it actually off of the step route. Okay, and then right into Hojo time. All right. And we're looking Gucci. Alright, Mojo Hojo. Time to end disc two here. Yes, cute tiny soldiers. I know, they're so cute. And the uh, conclusion of part two or three of the Hundo. In ten hours. Very nice tonight. Final break for a while afterwards. And then we conclude the step route. Half an hour of source duping and the end of the step route. We're going to clean up the Lunar Curtain, clean up the Loka Weed, and find out how bad it is for the cleanup. And that is what we're doing next here. So we're going to find out a lot about this hundo. We're going to find out a lot about this hundo here. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the feed me, Kyria. I got a lemon head right here for you. I hope it does too, but we got some cleanup, and there are two things you don't like to hear. Loco weed, lunar curd, and not good things, but, you know, we can hope for the best. World record has them both already, by the way. They already got them in hand. That gaping mouth. Man, he's looking about like he is in Rebirth, Mac. Hojo's an ugly mofo. He's one ugly mofo. That dying animation, so weird. And he blows up. So strange. Very Hojo, huh? Very Hojo. go. Down goes Hojo. And the end of the disc three of Hundo. Done. And the final third of the run ahead of us. Hundo is divided upon discs very nicely. Every disc is about a third. Six hours. Eh, honestly, about four and a half hours. Well, four hours, yeah. And then five and a half hours at the end. I got a two-minute, three-minute break here. I'm going to take it. Kind of honestly the final break, other than one other for the hundo. Unless you're using Knights of the Round, this is kind of it. So I'm going to be back in a couple. Thanks for hanging, guys. I am P-Town. Cleaning up is next, and it's going to basically be the hundo is good to go, or the hundo is dundo when I come back in the next hour.
I am back. And I'm excited to see how this goes over the next half an hour. <clears throat> Very excited. A lot to find out here about this here hundo. As we have now entered the final disc of FF7. Disc 3 awaits. Let's go see how it goes, chat. No, no, no. We're not ending yet, bud. We got five and a half hours to go, sir. Before this runs over. Sure would love to go down there, but not the case. We are going to Bone Village to dig up our W item, Sector 5 key, and the mop, a weapon for Sid. Alright, start a diggin' for good treasure. Let's do the top first for the key to Sector 5. Three things to dig up here. Uh, actually. Faster that one. We are key to sector five. And so it is. For good treasure, all of them. Now for the mop. And the... There we go, right there. W item in the mop next. Is the mop now for the W item? Nope, there it is. Nope, 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 there it is. There right, we go on three for three on the dig up. Nice, got the W item. There we go. Alrighty, well here we go for Saurus duping chat. <clears throat> a very important and stressful segment. Uh, we are off of, off of the formation route. We're on steps four. And I got one extra encounter today, and it got me in trouble. No emerald weapon, good to see that. Okay, well, important section here. Here we go. Number one, trank everybody. Go ahead and use all power and speed on Cloud. Okay, where are they? Okay, arrange, customize, our, Maiden's Kiss, Cornucopia, and our Soft. Uh, wire grenades top? Maiden's Kiss? There we go. Okay. Better. Sid. Remove enemy away. It's off. Okay, it should have been off. Uh, W item here. Uh, hold on. Arrange. There you are, W item. Okay, what are the route notes for this, for the Gelnica? Bad raps, theoretically, would be first. Are we on wait? We are. Okay. Well, what are they going to be here? They're not going to be correct. Time to source dupe by two for our 99 speed sources. Yeah, not the correct formation. Okay, is this gonna crit? 
non crit. Okay. <clears throat> Well, here we go for 99 dupes. Can't fail it, or we're in big trouble. Try steel? What? I'll take it. That's a hard steel. Okay. Now for the second source dupe, go ahead and use all of those on cloud. <clears throat> Second set in 99. Hmm. More uh, crit, non crit. Okay. Oh, I didn't kill it. Get out of here. Can flee too. Well, okay. Use them all. But one. That was a great sort of stooping section. Customize that. Just give me like tents there. Just something extra. Enemy away goes on for the next section. And uh, walk three steps. One, one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, the step route is going to remain intact. This is probably not going to be a serpent though. And I sure would have loved for it to be. He's my... He is my... Who has Cure here? Yuffie does. He is my Aqualung. It's a serpent! Holy cow! Should be an instant Aqualung. Yep. Well. There it was. Happened to be the fight. Interesting. Is there any way my formations have resynced? That would be incredibly unlikely. And very lucky. Should not get another encounter until Mount Nebel. Do I want a tent here? No, it doesn't matter. Okay. That was very good. However, I was just gonna go.
This is the more important section. That aqua lung, though, was not... I was not expecting that. And we got it. Interesting. Okay, enemy way off. Should be a dragon first. To force it the very- Oh, what?! No, this is not in the notes to be here. Ah! Ah, the next fight was supposed to be my dragon. Force in the MK room. Is it just not telling me about that encounter? These notes have been a little interesting at times. Hmm. Uh, maybe you don't take it off until you're in the room. It says to take it away off but instantly at Mount Nebel. I'm gonna hope... God damn it. Alright, that was not good. Uh, arrange. Be my cornucopia. Up to there. I'm going to assume now I'm farming the next fight. Uh, Sid gets the ribbon? Yeah, okay. Ah, that was nasty there. That was not good. Fuck. It's a screamer, though. It is. Wow. Uh, okay, uh, where's my more? Wow, we got the fight. Alright. This is the right fight, actually. Uh, morph. I did lose my dragon fight. Got it. Well. Okay. 98 power sources. Alright. Interesting. Give me that for just something tranks or something we don't like burn through. Okay. Now for the Sonic Speed Fight. I need to morph a Sonic Speed next. What is this encounter gonna be? it. Okay, there's my sonic speed. I mean, my, my speed drink from a, a sonic speed. That's the speed drinkerino. Hmm. for the right encounters but I didn't get my my dragon I took it off at the wrong time I just realized this is the this I haven't run this route in a year I took off enemy away early that was my fault it was my fault I'm gonna have to come back now and clean it up so that got me in trouble however now we are going to Junon okay so I'm gonna do some shopping now and then we finish up the route then it's time to do the cleanup. But first, a little shopping. Here we go. Okay. A little Black Friday time. Eh. 
I might put enemy away on to run through Junon too. Probably a good idea. Oh, you can't menu in that screen. Interesting. Didn't know that. Yep, go ahead and be safe, put it in. Do our shopping here. Seal, heal, and revive. Gotta go fast, gotta go fast, indeed. First screen with a light. All we do here. Right back into this store, which we, you know, shopped at the very start. Of Juno. That is the beginner's hall, nothing in there we care about. Exactly, that's our motto here, Rhett Maverick. I will have one of everything, please. It's about right. Second shop, left side. That is the inn. These are our lovely ladies here. I will come in. I will. One of everything, please. Robe dude up here. Thirty-fifth soldier is in here. The one thirty-fifth. Ah, uh, there is no disc for Final Fantasy VII. Only has three discs. This is the final disc. This is the cleanup. What do you mean, sorry? I picked them to lose today. I was very happy about that. I was extremely happy about that, JC. Down the ducks! <laughs> I prefer my bracket to be in one piece than my ducks to win, if I'm being honest. Yeah, thank you, thank you. I'm very happy about that. Very happy about that. <laughs> Well, gone Gaga time. For our touch me frog, some shopping we gotta do too. I got a little squirrely here. Okay, enemy way off. Um, Yuffie needs every E skill for this. Uh, I thought about that. There for Frog Song and Touch Me. Okay, E skills looking good still. Also, you should probably have the Hypno Crown on in that case. <clears throat> Alright, JC. I will keep on keeping on, my friend. An accessory shop here. Another thing we gotta get up here. Our shrivels, our molotovs, our impaler, and our hard edge. Uh, it says to do 91, oh no, uh, one impaler. <laughs> 99, 91 shrivels, 11 molotovs, okay. 
I don't know why we buy 91 there. You don't need any more than probably 41 or 51, but might as well be safe. Recoup our Maiden's Kiss, Cornucopia, and Soft here. Anything else we need? Looking good. Should be my frog song. Yep. Kamara bug at the upper exit, and then we do all the cleanup, I guess, chat. Okay, well, here's the final fight of the entire step route, and then we do the cleanup. Oh, didn't. Oh no, I loaded out. Well. I didn't make it back to that screen. Oh, good, it's still a Kamara bug. Okay. Gotta steal, and also manip. Or no, no, we just steal and morph, my bad. Although that would actually stop it from doing anything. So we got the spider web. And then we got that. Okay. So that is that split. Okay. Uh, you know what? run out of here. Okay. Well, it is fighting time. Hmm. I gotta do my cleanup, guys, and I wanna do it early today, not late. I'm gonna do the battle arena first, though. Okay. Go ahead and trank everybody. Looking good. Um, da -da 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 -da. Oh, wait, I'm way off of my notes here. Okay, down, 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 down. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Okay. Tent time, item, and arrange by type. Uh, go ahead and customize here. Okay. Number one, Mega Elixir to the top. Number two, Smoke Bomb. I didn't get a Smoke Bomb because we didn't get one in the route. Oh no! Oh, that is going to hurt here, because they were not the formation. Yep. Okay. Hero drink. Vaccine. Ooh, that's going to hurt. Dazers here. Where are my dazers? Okay, spider web. Spider. There is the spider web. Give me my 8-inch cannon now. Okay, vaccine, dazer, spider web, eight inch cannon, and then the shrivel. Uh, there they are. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven out of eight. That's all I'm gonna have to do today. Okay, you get the ribbon then. Ooh, I don't like this at all. Save and hard reset. Okay, for the speed square, Manette. Hey, Halo, how you doing? Good to see ya. Okay. Time to do some dupe in here. Without a smoke bomb, though, that's not a good thing to hear. But glad you made it back, Halo. Hope you're having a good Saturday, Sunday. Just in time for the battle arena. Grind and the speed square grind once we do our manip in here. Okay, where's my W item? Mega elixir. 60. Okay. 
We're basically situating our inventory for the entire finish here. Manipping, you know, duping all the things I need for the rest of the run. Hero drinks by about 20. Vaccines by about 40. We're using W item. We're abusing the W item. That's what we're doing here. Couple dazers. Spider web. Couple spider webs. Couple eight inch cannons. Try to steal the right arm and then morph the shrapnel here. There is the shrapnel and dupe. Well, no smoke bomb. I don't love to hear that. That saves the final fight of every single round of the uh, of the battle arena. I had not considered that fact today. That was a mistake. That uh, the formation didn't drop in. And we buy it from the battle arena that uh, that formation didn't occur it was a it was a sword dance and i just said okay let's continue i didn't think about the fact i morphed my smoke bomb from that guy and that's unfortunate we're gonna be we're gonna hurt from that but it'll be what it'll be here speed square time okay Well, we are here for... Oh, don't do that. For uh, three things. The Masamune Blade should get a first. If the Manip worked. Super Sweeper second. And then the Flare for third. I'm pretty concerned about how much time I might lose through the uh, Battle Arena. The main reason is, in the battle arena, your smoke bombs are used to flee the final fight every fucking time. Now, the reality is, you kill that final fight in like, one or two hits most of the time. And sometimes in one hit, but... I... I'm not... I, I really need those smoke bombs, and, um... And, uh, I don't have them here today, so that's not, not what I wanted to see there. Now, for our three rounds of Speed Square, we only have to do 3,000, 3,000, 5,000. So the first two rounds are kind of free. You're just chilling like a villain here. You're honestly not even caring about Speed Square. If you can't get 3K and you're at 11 hours of a hundo, you're not trying very hard. As this is child's play to get 3,000. If you're a, a veteran hundo runner. Then you can just kind of have fun with it. Oh, Propeller, have some fun with you. No. Oh. Oh. I could miss, like, everything and still be fine. 3,000 is not a lot. Not a lot. Not a lot. Should always be able to get that. Normally I'm at, like, 2,000 here. You know, out of how hard I'm not trying. Maybe we can clean up all 3k right here. Maybe, baby. Maybe a 70 right there. And there you go. 3,000. Time to chill out. Enjoy PBR time. This is your regularly scheduled PBR break. Well, I want to go through the battle arena, and this is a major segment, at least a half an hour. The battle arena grind, where we take our 3,200 and now 30 points today. It might have been 20, actually. 
that we got through that segment, and we have to we have to get the Omnislash, the W Summon. Those are a hundred thousand combined at least. Uh, we got to get a bunch of enemy lures, preemptives, a right arm, a championship belt, a bunch of other stuff. For our points, we win from the battle arena. Most importantly, obviously, Omni Slash for Cloud is ultimate limit, and then the W Summon, you have to have that. But without the smoke bomb, I'm going to be losing time every single run that I finish. I don't have an option here, and it reminds me I need to look into where to get a smoke bomb. I've never actually looked into this. I'm going to write this on my notes. Look into the smoke bomb, as this is enough of an issue. I've had it in a couple runs. I should know, I need to know what the backup is, and I've never bothered to look into it. There is a way to get a smoke bomb, but I think it's not easy. I think the answer is there's nothing really good that comes out of that. And the Masamune Blade, very nice. My nip looks like it's holding in there, as it should be. Next one should be the Super Sweeper. And cheers, Maverick. Yeah. I have a visual cue I kind of start with, you know, that, that spot right there. And that gets you the first little ghosty there. That's why you kind of have a spot, you know, to set up for. KKK, KK, KK. Over our lovely little propeller. Dungeon. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Get the 3,000 on the balloons and chill the heck out, huh? <laughs> you gotta get 5,000 on the next one, though. You, if you get 5,000, you always win the flare. And so you don't want to accidentally win it on the first or second round, or you actually break the manette. You break the manette. So you want to make sure you chill out. Do not possibly get 5k. It will kill it. And every round of Sweet Square is like a 5 minute time loss. It is nasty. You don't want to do extra of these. That's why we manip it. Trying to get the, the Masamune Blade, the sword, what is it, the Super Sweeper? Back to back. Because you can get the flare anytime you want for 5k. It is a uh, pretty maddening thing. You can lose hours to it if you just get unlucky. Because every single speed square takes so long, right? It takes a long time. But luckily, everything in uh, Gold Saucer is manipulatable. It's based on RNG, so we can actually... We can do a manip to make sure we get the right outcomes for all three fights in a row. Or at least the first two, and then the third one we know we... We just gotta win. Just gotta get 5k. It is nice, it is nice, yeah. Well, I have a split for Speed Square. We'll get to see how it went. That was a really good dupe, but, you know, I didn't dupe the Smoke Bomb. So, again, I'm mostly concerned. <laughs> nice, my Manip throws up here. <laughs> yes, it does. That's part of the Manip. 
Cloud, if it's not a- if Cloud doesn't go UGG, it's not really a hundo, right chat? That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Gotta throw up once in a hundo. For it to be official. Alrighty, time to rise to the occasion. We have to get 5k here. Have to get 5k here. Hmm... How are you doing, Kyria? You've been here for the entire hundo after, like, the first hour. You still feeling strong after 11 hours now? How are you guys doing? How many of you, hands raised, have been here for the entire hundo? How many of you can say that? That you've literally been here for the entire thing? As I promise you, there's more people than you think who've been here all day. I promise you, there are a number of people to have. Hey, Peabop, how you doing? You've been here since the end of Disc 1, Caramel? Nice, more power to you. Must mean you're a big lover of hundos. I'm glad to hear that. It's always interesting, you know, how many people enjoy a 16-hour run in one sitting. You'd be quite surprised how many people actually watch the entire thing. Pretty admirable. I don't know if I could do it. I have done it. I've watched many a full hundo, but... Would I, would I want to do it these days? I don't know. It's a big ask. It's a lot to do. There's a lot to do there. Thanks a lot, Maester, for the sub, my friend, for Prime for five months. I really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm just destroying Speed Square here. I'll go for the propeller. I got it. It's kind of a cheese. I don't need it. I never need it on PC. But, you know, just for fun, I kind of go for it. Alright, P-Bob. Nice. Glad to hear that. Oh, I'm glad you made it in tonight for hour 11. Look at that. 10,000! Definitely did not need the 5,000 points. Easy... Easy points. Easy life. When you're as good as P-Town as Speed Square. You prefer the marathon runs like this? Other runs tend to be restart farms. Yeah, I mean that's a lot, lot, lot of a lot of reason why people love a hundo. You know you're going to be here the whole day, right? I can't believe I lost time there. It's funny that is a goal. <clears throat> Probably indicating I split the last split wrong, but lost time, but golded. Interesting. We got to go to Wonder Square here to get our two items: the uh, EXP plus and the Gill plus. And then it's battle arena time, which I'm 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 nerv I'm very nervous for here. This could go very badly with no smoke bombs. Okay, give me the very bottom, the EXP, and give me the Gill Plus. Okay, got those. Now for the half and oh, I almost went in. <laughs> well, it wouldn't have mattered, but battle arena. Okay. Ah, uh, shit. I thought I was coming out of the other side. That's what happens when you're, you're like, used to any percent. You come out of the other side. Alrighty, here we go. Sid, you get the rune armlet. Cloud, you get the ultimate weapon. A mistle. And the ribbon. 
Oh, he has a ribbon. Okay. Sid time. You get an E skill. Uh, you have both, I bet. Yep. Strip those. And E skill. <coughs> Steel. Boom, boom, boom. Send me away. Okay, cloud time. A steel, nice of the round, magic plus long range. A double cut. Uh, a death blow, I mean. An added cut. Not a nada, a slash all. All the HPs. Okay, looking good. You are not at max health. You should be. We are on A to B weight. Yeah, this is a super fun section, P-Bob. Also very important, like super important. And the run's gonna live or die around this section tonight. Um, this is the run, really. I do not have smoke bombs tonight. Smoke bombs mean I cannot have to kill the final fight. I can flee from it. That's gonna be a problem here. That's gonna be a problem here. So here we go. There's gonna be at least a half an hour segment as I grind for all of the things we have to get from the victory here. Ooh, that is a troll, I believe. We have to bail. So that was a troll wheel. Lucky seven and cure. Nice that it happened first, I guess. Just right in, right out, right back into it. There are three troll reels in particular that you cannot get a good final reel from. And so the way the battle arena works is you need enough points here to buy all your shit, right? Well, how do you get points? Well, points in the battle arena come from your final reel, getting a materia on it. That's how you get all the best of the points, the materia. So our goal is to get a green or an all materia break on the final reel, and we like it if we can try to not, you know, try to get like another materia on the second to final. They end up being about 30% and then 70% of your total points, like roughly. It's a very basic breakdown there of it. And so your final reel is everything here. You don't want to break a lot of stuff. Your weapon, never want to break. Never want to break your armor accessory if you can help it. Never want to break materia until the final round. And you have 8 inch cannons that you uh, got from the Graz Panzer for these guys right here. Now, I'm not going to take two of them out like that. I'm going to go again. Okay, good. Zero MP is a good outcome. You would prefer to avoid things that cause animations, like poison, right? Poison is time loss. That's a two and a half second animation. This is a death blow. You need to know your death blow enemies. Here's the final reel. Hard one. Did not get it, either. And we don't have a smoke bomb. So, what that means is, I could flee this normally, now I'm gonna have to kill every final fight. Now, you can see it's not that bad, right? But then there's the victory menu, the victory sound, right? And I got 4,000 from that, because I failed the, uh, the materia. So that's, you know, that's the importance there. If I had gotten the green materia, that would have been 10,000 GP. Or BP. So that was a fail. That was a fail. And one reason why Battle Arena on PC is a real headache. You're dealing with uh, 15 FPS reels. They're really hard to buffer. On console, it's way easier. It's almost almost free on console. On PC, so not free. So not free. And I would have preferred to get the MP half. You know, that wouldn't have had an animation, right? You gotta consider that. If those, you know, those happen a lot, that'll add up to minutes over a Battle Arena. And we don't... Oh, well, the summon we can handle, actually. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, I wanted the frog there. So I nailed what I wanted. Good. Could have broken my green. That would have been fine, too. Might have preferred for that. Is that my final reel? No. This is. Do not want to break your item. Well, that's your smoke bomb. Without a smoke bomb, I don't... Oh, no! Damn it. Mm. 
My uh, elimination of my summon changed my placement of my death blow in my menu. It's fine, but I, I, I did not attack uh, like I should have there. You should buffer right and confirm to death blow. It, it went into my third spot on my battle menu instead. That's where you gotta know though. You gotta know that's the case. Oh, that was my final reel and I blew it. Oh no. Then we'll have to death blow here. She has to kill. But for a bad round. So I'm not a big fan. I'm 0 for 2 now. I'm 0 for 2. That's bad. That is bad there. That is 7,000 points from two rounds. You know, you should get 10,000 per round. And every round's a long time. <laughs> so this is really where you make your money here. And uh, you can lose 10, 20 minutes in the battle arena. It's a rough one. Not a great start, but, you know, long way to go here, long way to go here. Hey there, angsty American, thanks for the good luck. Right back at you, brother, glad you made it for our battle arena. Okay, didn't break the summon, I'll take that. Hi, squirrels. You guys were so nice today. We got a first time level 4 suicide. What a bunch of nice guys they were today. I was so happy about that. Our very dexterous jumpers. Not very dexterous, okay. Do not want to break the item command. Ever. Well, I mean, today it wouldn't matter. Normally it would matter. Do not want to break the weapon. Okay. Death blow to the right now. He got a turn! Instant. How did he get a turn? Must have had terrible ATB. He must have had great ATB. The missile we have on our armor is a 60% miss rate, by the way. Final reel. Excellent. Got the all break. Now we're back on track. Oh no! I forgot I broke all my materia! Oh no, how how is this guy gonna be to kill? I bet he dies in one hit. No. Okay, so here's the time loss, guys. This would be a fight I would flee. For no time loss at all. Just saying, the smoke bomb is a big deal here. Oh no! You jerk! Oh you motherfucker! You did not just do that to me. I just hit my final reel, you jerk! <laughs> oh, that was so good. That was so good. You know how rare that is? You know how rare that is for him to do that? <laughs> he just threw me out of the fight. Oh, what an asshole. What an absolute asshole. <laughs> And that is why the ship is the most evil. How you doing, Envy? Good to see you. <laughs> Very final fight. Throws me out. All of it for nothing. Because of that. Oh, that was hilarious as it was terrible. Oh boy, oh boy. Battle Arena, not going very well here, I'm being honest. Not going very well. Broke my command, too. Uh, I think I have to flee, actually. Well... I might try to suck it up. This is not good, though. Okay, killed them both. Oh no. Had to get that. This is a- oh no, don't have Slash All here either. These guys have really high dexterity. I'm gonna go Agent's Cannons on them actually, because their dexterity's so high. That's about what he said, Solitary. That's pretty fair. Yeah, that's pretty fair there. That's pretty fair there. I deserve that for what I said. <clears throat> right back on track. No, you're not, sir. Yeah. Okay. Boy, my breaking of my command slash all has been problematic here. 
final reel. I mean, a nice one. <clears throat> We're gonna have to kill, but... This will be 10,000. This a long ass 10,000, to be honest. It is the reality. That's a long ass 10,000. Alright, 18,000 of the way there. Oh, I hate that. I hate hearing that. Should already be at 40. Double it. You know what this battle arena needs? A lemon head. It has to have it. It must have it. It just needs it, you know? It needs some sugar. I think that's the whole problem here. I need a little a little sugar rush to uh You know to get through the rest. There we go. Got it. Okay. Lemon head acquired. Now, now I'm now I'm totally cool. It's gonna be perfect reels the whole way now. I'm confident. Oh, eight inch cannon time. Uh, don't want to break the command. Time is totally fine. Nice, got the HP. Mm-hmm. P-Town rocks now. Lemon powered. Exactly. Oh, that was lucky. Could have broken my weapon. Death blow the Tonberry twice, I believe. Might even be four times. He has a lot of HP. Hey, Kyan, how you doing? Twice. Go. Easy one for 10k. Right back on track. Right back on track. Very nice. That was a good one. Okay. You worked a beer fest the last two evenings, so you're bagged. Never heard that term before, bagged. Don't want the weapon. I would assume mean you're tired. Ooh, we wanted the MP. Nice. Canadian for exhausted. God, learning about Canadian today. Foreign language, obviously. Do you guys know how to speak Canadian? I'm learning. Oh, I broke my weapon! No! No, 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 no. Oh, I still killed him. Well, shit. I got MP. I'm gonna need a death blow here the whole way out, I think. And uh, we're gonna have to get a little lucky. Okay, level down by 10, not ideal either. I should kill a Stilva. Oh my god. No, dude! I have to break my armor. Holy crap. Frickin' A. This is gonna be a tough kill. This guy takes two normally without a broken weapon. This will take four at least, if not five or six. Oh boy. This is where we're getting in trouble here. I'm just nervous about the lack of a smoke bomb and these mistakes. This is going to be a rough battle arena. Oh boy, Great Gale. What a long turn. Alright, got him out of here. Final fight. 
Well, got the all break. Got what we needed to in there. Now we need to kill, though. He's gonna. Oh, wait, 800! Oh, no! That is. Do I have anything in my inventory to kill this fucker? He's gonna throw me out of the fight again, isn't he? You know he is, and we're dead here. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're gonna get thrown again. Phoenix down him? Is that a thing? You can Phoenix down a ghost ship? I didn't know that. I don't know, can you? Really? You guys sure? You guys are crazy, right? Yeah, it missed. Yeah, I, I thought you guys were wrong. Why did you think that Phoenix down is the killed? What made you think that? As I sure didn't think that. Oh god, I'm gonna get thrown any moment here. He's gonna throw me. Oh my goodness. How much HP does this fucker have? He's got a shit ton. No! No! No, you jerk! No, no, no! <laughs> Fuck you, buddy. You are the menace to my battle arena tonight. <laughs> Alright, god, the fucking ghost ship is gonna win the day here. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I mean, it's my fault. I broke my weapon. What do you want me to say? It's my fault. My fault. I'm seeing my run burn down here before my eyes, to be honest. I'm seeing bad things occur here. The battle arena can be very punishing. And it is not going very well tonight, it has to be said. Da -na -na, da. <laughs> I mean, I'm dying too, Sugar Toast. It's pretty funny, honestly. It's pretty funny. I I I'm not mad about this at all. <laughs> Gotta death blow it. <laughs> I'm kind of seeing my hundo, like, literally turn into a dumpster fire of, like, Mount Nebel, you know, calm flashback here. For my battle arena. Wow, he has 13,000? I must have been so close to killing him, JC. That's the funny part. He must have been so close to death. And this is my Aegis Cannon guy. My Egyptian warrior. No, we don't want the item. So White Wind might have worked? Interesting. So White Wind would have worked. Okay. So that's the thing next time. Maybe White Wind it. Gotta death blow the Dragon Rider. Well, that'll be a nice one. And BOOM! Look at this jerk, gone in two hits. What a fucking asshole. I mean, maybe Nerdad, yeah. We gotta get 50,500 before we get W item. Or... Never mind. Everything other than W summon here. But alright, back on track. Nice finished round there. Frog me, baby. Down five levels, probably the best outcome there. Down, 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 down. Don't want to break the summon. Give me the frog, sure. Oh, our jumpers. These guys are so... so dexterous. Oh, oh my, what? Okay, okay, okay. They're dexterous, but don't give them that much credit. That's not fair. 
Hold on, that's not fair. I shouldn't miss all of them. <laughs> it's been a funny battle arena. Well, we don't want to break the item command here. Okay. Down 10 levels might mean I don't kill. Yeah, see, the Iron Knight didn't die. And that guy, wow, 47 healing? What a big guy, what a big guy. Yeah, this has been a, a rough battle arena, Sugar. It's been a rough one. I'm not gonna lie, I think we're seeing the run die here. My, my WR has a good battle arena. I only ripped one reel in WR. Yep, I only ripped one of them the entire time. And I had Smoke Bomb, too. To be fleeing these fights right here. Now, how many points is it? We have... Ah... Well, we're almost only 1,000 short from uh, where we want to be. That's not a big deal. The points we can, you know, keep for the next, you know, 64,000 round. But after this round, no matter how it goes, we're going to get everything but the W Summon. <laughs> and then it's just W Summon and we're done. That is it. Now, the W summons the biggest, it is 64,000 uh, BP. All of this stuff, we're gonna buy a lot here, is uh, only 50,750. So, we've gotten that much done. We're gonna have to do it all again, hopefully, better. Oh, nice. Lucky you over tap there. Hmm. Over confirmed. Could have broken my weapon, didn't. Thanks for the raid, Aratima. Thank you, my friend. Final reel. Should oh, I got the frog? No, I did not. I didn't. That doesn't matter, actually. We'll be fine. We'll get enough points here to be okay. And uh, that's too bad. That's too bad. That should have been a uh, easy final reel. I just got a little careless with. And uh, you know, another example of a fight that uh, I could flee immediately with that smoke bomb, right? Mm, every one of these makes me mad. But all right, time to go buy everything but the W Summon. So, number one, give me Omnislash. Okay. Give me Enemy Lure by three. Number one. Number two. Number three. Preemptive by three, two. One. Two. Well, by five, three, four. Uh, the right arm we had to get, okay. And number five. Uh, go ahead and get the speed plus here. Yep. Uh, do we have enough for the Stardust? We do. Let's go ahead and get that. And we are back in it for the W Summon with how long? 11 minutes to get the W7 and 64,000 points. Do I think that's likely? Very unlikely, but we're gonna find out here. Da -na -na, da -na. Well, thanks again for the Raider Rat. I appreciate you. Try to go as fast as I can through this final section. I was lucky. I could have broken my armor there. Breaking your armor is okay, but you prefer to <clears throat> keep 
keep your mistal. Excuse me, prefer to keep your mistal intact. That's your 60% miss rate. And we've already broken the weapon, let's not do that again, huh? Well, it's a good question. Why do you have to buy that before farming more? Very good question. Who knows the answer? Why did I have to go buy all that instead of getting all the points that I need for the battle arena? It's an interesting answer, Sugar Toast. And it's a good question, too. Why did I have to go purchase all that shit instead of continuing to grind? Yes, the cap. Your wallet only- oh man, bad outcome here, okay. Got it! Got the green. There is a cap on your points. There's a 64,000, no, 65,000 cap on your points, yeah. On your BP. So you have to go spend it. No, it's a good question. Doesn't seem really obvious at all. Very good question. So that was a good fight, but again, I had to do the final fight. I don't love that at all. <clears throat> but we got 10,000 points out of it. Our mirror grind is coming in after this, by the way. Hmm. Well, that's interesting to read about the ghost ship. Oh, troll reel, troll reel, troll reel, guys. Right back in it. No harm, no foul. Time loss, but, you know. That's our second troll reel. That's that's not like, un that's not uncommon. I mean, two is kind of normal for, for uh, your battle arena. Three, maybe more than average, you know. Two is pretty standard, though. Accessor, we broke it. <clears throat> All right, well, lost my ribbon there. Cannot get a status effect. That would be a big problem here. Okay, that's fine. Speed's all right. How about the uh, dexterous jumpers here? Oh, you jumpers. Yeah, you would do that. All right. Don't want to break your item ever. That will kill the Stilva. Nice! Avoided any problems with the, uh... With the lack of the accessory, not an issue at all. Very nice, very nice. Lucky us. I very tactfully avoided any, um... Any, uh, any, you know, poison, mini, that kind of thing. Well, this can put me to sleep, but I have the ribbon on. I have the ribbon on, yeah. No, I don't have the ribbon on, yeah, of course. That could put me to sleep. However, we're gonna have some nice uh, points out of here. Okay, 24 thou on the road to 64,000. Okay, lucky seven. I don't think this is a good reel either. This might be a troll one. Didn't see that very clearly. That looks like a troll to me. God damn it. Again? Well, that is unfortunate. So third troll here. 
We're gonna have to flee, and uh, there's no good reel on the end of this. Whoa! Am I, why can I not escape here? Whoa, what on earth? Alright, ugh. Kind of insult to injury there. Got the MP. That's a toughie there. Didn't want to break the accessory or the ribbon. Oh my goodness. Ah, got the HP, I think. Boy, really a tough, tough reels here. Oh my god, these are both awful. Got the MP. Holy shit. Our, our, our Egyptian guy, gotta, gotta have the Aegis Cannon 